Okay. Uh, let's get started. Hey, Pink Baby. Okay. <clears throat> get these off screen. You can see down there, bottom left corner, 1.4.4. The time has finally come. Uh, and we're going to do the new Zenith Seed. Uh, let's make another character. No, no I'm going to name it differently. Uh, Turbos. Hey, Quiddle. Uh, oh wait, no, not female. Randomize. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, shit! Pets show up on the, um, the character screen now. And they're animated. There's the Hornet, the... I guess he doesn't have a pet. Night Sword Bay doesn't have a pet either. The Volt Bunny. A lot of Eucalyptus Spiders. Okay. Uh, and a green aura for, that must mean the game's done. That must mean that I've killed the Moon Lord. That looks like it. Makes sense. I don't know either, Mia. Okay, large world. Uh, get fixed, boy. Should be the seed. Uh, fixed. I don't know... Uh, I'm not streaming on Twitch because I was having some upload issues, Electric Essence. Uh, so I'll just be doing it on YouTube for today. Or at least for now. I I was getting... Uh, I don't know why, but my internet was, was struggling with doing both today. Uh, okay. Hopefully it... Okay, that seems right. It's got the For the Worthy thing. It's got the Drunk thing in the background. Everything's upside down. Oh shit, is it going to be the upside down seed too? Because there's the drunk thing in the background, the face. There's the Fourth Worthy thing. It's taking a very long time, too. I think Not the Bees is in here as well. It's like a very long time to make this desert. Uh. It. I might have to, like. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sometimes world gen gets stuck, and you have to wait for a really long time. Okay, creating the underworld. Can you send your favorite change log line? I'm not going to be looking at the Discord server, unless you mean send it here. Uh, if it's like a spoiler about things, I'd prefer you didn't show it to me, because I'd rather find it, and then you can tell me what it is. Um... Hold on, I can hear a cat. There's the, the Meow Meow and the uh, Neon Minecart thing. I'm pretty sure. Hang on. Yeah, there's a cat. There's a cat meowing in the background music. I wonder if it's gonna... Because doesn't Not the Bees, like, generate the entire world and then do another world generation? Unnoticeable without specifically looking for it? Uh, Sure. But if it is something I, I would have found, I'll give you a, a slap on the wrist. Is it going to do another, like, replacing everything with bees? Or is the meteor shower in the background? I don't know. Smashing altars no longer generates random blocks of infection in the world. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not something I would have discovered, but that's an interesting choice. Um, what the hell did I call the name? Zenith, right? Fixed. No, no, no. This is... Okay. I have no idea what the hell is going on. Ashwood? What was that achievement I got? Some very special seeds can lead to unique and rewarding experiences. Can you find one? Okay, uh, Amethyst Bunny's on the surface. Am I? I'm in hell! Oh, this must be the, um, the Upside Down World Seed, right? We start in hell. Uh, there's a pouty girl, so it must be drunk. Uh, Tax Collector... Okay, it's Celebration Mark 10 as well. Let's get to other world. Okay. I don't see a Demolitionist. Which is interesting. What is that? Slime star? Slime NPC? Hang on. 
I need to, uh, this is master mode. Aha, uh -huh. lava slimes don't drop lava. What is the seed? The seed is get fixed boy. I think I put it in the description. Okay, uh, what is Ashwood? Uh, sure, let's see what it looks like. That's a pretty dope armor set. Okay, uh, pink grass, red grass, blue mushroom grass. There's a lot going on here. Okay, yeah, we start at the bottom of the world here, instead of the top. This is the Zenith Seed, uh, which means it combines a bunch of... Oh, it's combining Don't Starve together, too. I have hunger. I was wondering if they were going to combine that one. You can generate secret seeds before they became secret seeds so you can compare the worlds. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there is Don't Starve uh, in here as well. Which means we need to be careful about darkness. Yeah, the NPCs are suppressing the spawns. They might also, like, it, it's possible they might just be lowered in general. Like, they might flip surface and underworld spawns. Uh, so we've got some food. Um, what do you guys sell? Uh, slime Staff, she sells Heart Lanterns, Flask of Pody. Uh, and all the princess stuff. Okay, we gotta make some houses, I think. I need to find out what is edible and what not. So I noticed it seemed like lava slimes didn't drop lava. What do you do? Oh, you just did the, the, the pet. Okay. Um. Alright, we need to get a house. Lava slimes can jump pretty high. Let's... Maybe they just jump really high out of water. Get some legs. Yeah, I'm thinking it treats the underworld like the surface. In the sense that lava slimes are the only slime showing up and everything like that. Uh, I'm not noticing any for the worthy yet. Okay. Uh... gonna make a man. You hate me? What is wrong, Mia? You got a problem with this house? Okay, so there's, there's some kind of grass stuff growing on the ash blocks. And there's glowing mushroom trees immediately. Ah, no, this is, this is for the worthy. I can see the, um, yeah, yeah, the ash block is falling like it doesn't for the worthy. Uh, and there was some lava that came down here. I'm gonna have to deal with that. But we gotta be careful digging up. What is that? Oh, crispy. Ah, oh, because it's it's not the bees. Yeah, crispy honey. Okay, we'll have to deal with that lava. Check how many hits it takes to mine blocks. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head copper short sword numbers. But it, it's definitely for the worthy. You can tell by the ash block behavior. Ash doesn't do that normally. Okay. Uh, let's get that lava out of here. some legs. So we're gonna need a good supply of food, because this is the constant. Alright, uh, let's get some stairs on this legs. Oh, 
come on, let me... Yeah, it seems... Why is this not getting placed correctly? There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna, you know, happiness isn't gonna be ideal, but I think I just want a bunch of houses. So I'm gonna make each section of this guy a different house. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I already had another workbench. Need some, I don't understand what your problem is, Mia. This is a perfectly fine house. Okay, uh, let's eat food now. Uh, I don't have a way to get sand. Food's gonna be tough. Uh, we'll have to... I don't have a dryad, and it doesn't look like there's actually a... Oh, I did get acorns. Good. I'm gonna need to plant those seeds. Let me plant those acorns right now, I think. So I am interested to see... Oh, is that a new Fire Blossom? Oh, no, no. It's just a regular Fire Blossom. I saw the plant... Oh, oh, right. This is for the Worthy. I don't know why I forgot that. This is for the Worthy. I do have to watch out for bombs everywhere. I feel like there's a decent chance these are going to drop lava. Just by virtue of being underworld trees. Um, I don't have any stone. I can't actually really get arrows. Uh, it's late in the day. You can tell by the fire blossom. Well, the Willy Bombs don't insta-kill you. I think it's close, but it's not guaranteed. I just got lucky. Uh, it also looks like I have... Well, I have some defense from... Oh! Reduces damage from touching lava. That's cool. I don't really know... <laughs> What's going on, Mia? Uh, but I don't think it's a guaranteed death. I think it's just very likely. I do wonder if it's going to get dark out when night comes down here. I can't imagine it will. But it's the underworld. Mind if you join? Uh, I'm not doing multiplayer, Zach. Uh, so unfortunately not. Although I wouldn't mind doing multiplayer with some of the new seeds uh, coming soon. I want to do this one by myself, though. So, I have two gel. Uh, I need more gel. Are they going to... Are the underworld enemies going to be coming out when nighttime comes? I feel like they will. Okay, let's finish up this house. At least as much as I can. So we have the Pody Girl, the Tax Collector. You love the aesthetics? This is gorgeous, yeah. So I think I'll get a message that Pody time is over when nighttime comes. Right, I need two more doors. And I take it that's... I'm not even sure what this is. There's some kind of grass. You like reading boss changes? Don't spoil any of them. So, I, I just wanted to check, because I heard, had heard this. Uh, there aren't any new bosses, right? There were, like, changes to existing bosses. I, I know things like that. But are there any just straight-up new bosses? Just yes or no? Um...
What? I, I just built the house. I just... The, the house. But they could have... But... But the house! <laughs> uh, I don't have any way to get a weapon. Uh... I can't kill these slimes. This is for the worthy. I have a copper short sword. What is that? Greens? Why is there greens? The green slime has a falling stone in it? I get it. made for the upside down world to get some stars. Yeah, I imagined. Kind of seemed what it was like. Okay. Oh, damn it. Go open. So it's going to be really difficult for me to get arrows without a merchant. This is going to be tricky. Uh I feel like these lava slimes aren't going to drop lava, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, we still have enough food. Did the NPCs drop weapons? Oh shit, they did! I didn't even realize the tax collector dropped his cane. Damn it, this is for the worthy. I need to get past this lava slime. Come on, big jump. Big jump. There we go. Go back. Oh, these lava slimes do no damage. Hold on. Alright, let's see if they, uh... Is the seed the zenith? Yes, it's the seed is called Get Fixed Boy. Uh, okay. Uh, problem. I should not have used Ash. Uh, okay. They're not dead, so that's something. Uh, I need to replace this Ash. Okay. Is that a thing that happened in Celebration Mark 10? Did the slimes just all die? I, I've i never played Celebration Mark 10, I'll be honest. Uh, you got the guitar, though. Oh, it says the notes. I shouldn't have hit that tree. If that was a bomb, I would have been screwed. Okay, this is not going well. Uh, I can't dig my way through, and I don't know if I can really fight. That's a lot of slimes. Um, I have no way to heal. If I time this correctly, I can... I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Convert walls to blocks? I do have a workbench, yeah. That's what I was thinking, is... Uh, build my way up here. So we're probably gonna have to do some fishing for food, I feel like. What is that place? That's a guy. Okay. We have a safety wall now. They can't get to us. Only I had any ranged weapons. It's interesting that the demolitionist didn't spawn, despite being for the worthy. I was kinda hoping I'd have grenades. 
Uh, I don't have auto swing. I can probably take on some of these slimes. I need gel is the thing. I can't explore the world without torches because the constant and Charlie's going to attack me. I think I have an idea. Alright, let's just go. Please, no lava? Okay, no lava, good. Man, if lava slimes drop lava, this would be miserable. Let's see if we can get some, uh, some more wood. Alright, I'm just gonna sma- oh, whoa, okay. I, I just, it just fell from the ceiling, man. I'm glad I got this classy cane. Actually, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna smack these trees to try to get food. And then I'm gonna smack them up. Uh, okay, good. There's a bit. I wasn't sure if I got that timing right. I wasn't sure if I'd have time to run back. Let's see what's going on on the surface here. I really gotta get food. Ash grass. Okay, another pomegranate. Good. Okay, ash grass has its own seeds, it seems. Man, imagine if that was a real sword shrine. That would have been incredible. Uh, is it dead? No, there's still falling stars. So it's nighttime. I'm gonna eat now. going. Okay, plenty of peppers. That's good. I need glass. I would need glass to turn these into better food. Oh, interesting. Falling stars drop out of pots. Jump into the bomb. Damn it. Too slow. It's hard for me to keep an eye on the bombs. I'd really love some recall potions out of these pots. I'm thinking there's got to be like surface chests, right? Or something? Like it can't just be these these trees and the pots the whole way across the world. There's got to be something different. Uh, is it daytime yet? It is daytime. Okay. Let's loop back home. Oh, there's a gold. That's a merchant. Assuming that everything still works the same way. Okay, merchant is arrows, arrows is ranged weapon. Alright, I'm gonna hit these trees again for more food. That's why I didn't cut them down, is because I wanted the second hit on the way back. We got a good amount of food. If we can get a snow biome, we can solve our food problems with, the, with marshmallows. Uh, well, assuming it still works the same way as in 1.4.3.6. Uh, okay, how much gel do we have? 20 gel. Uh, that's... That should be enough to get somewhere, I feel like. Yeah, hell is... Hell is looking a bit different. Uh, Spore Bat. Uh, I can take that out with my cane. Am I gonna have NPCs show up? So, is the NPCs dying, is that something that happens in the- one of the seeds that already existed, that I just didn't know about? Like, is that what happens in Celebration Mode 10? I didn't think it did. That you cheese you dislike the most is nerfed? Okay. Yeah, I imagine they did some balance changes like that. 
I, I've never played Celebration Mode, Ken. I, I don't know if that's like a thing that happens. I didn't think it was. I mean, these are all valid houses. It's the right time of day. Let's go explore up. We gotta get somewhere, right? We got plenty of rope. It's crispy honey, because it's not the bees. Is this ash? No, it's mud. Good. Oh, this is glowing mushroom stuff. They are valid, yeah. Oh, uh, it's not fall to my death. Uh, demon eyes underground and zombies underground? Let's get some arrows. We need arrows. Because we can't get stone. Oh, let's get a bug net, too. Cooking pot's gonna be a high priority. Uh... If I get an anvil, I can't make anything with an anvil yet. Uh, I'm gonna sell this guitar and use it to buy some torches. Okay, let's make some flaming arrows. Oh, what is that? Mushroom torches? Anything cool? I oh, I guess I don't have a guide, so I can't even... So an enemy we all love spawns more. Deer plops? Hey, Demo. Okay, let's try going up. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead. I didn't realize Crispy Honey did that. No, I crafted 100 copper coins, Mia. I didn't realize Crispy Honey burned you. I didn't know that was a thing in Not the Beast. Alright, there's nothing I can really do about that once I got into the mess. Uh, can mobile and PC players join together? Uh, I don't think they've in implemented crossplay yet. Okay, well I guess that's good to know that Crispy Honey does that. I had no idea. Give me back my money. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's see what's going on. The whole place is lit up really well. What? God, this crispy honey, man. This is a real issue. Oh, the crispy honey doesn't drop lava anymore. I guess that was just a underworld thing? Uh, I don't want to test that right now, Mia. This whole place is lit- this whole place is lit up really well. So I don't have any healing potions. So I can dig through crispy honey and it won't drop lava. Oh, no it will, it will. I guess it's just random. Some crispy honey has lava and some doesn't. There's some zombies. They're probably gonna one-shot me though with for the worthy scaling. The the one with the arms at least. Uh falling star slime down there. Uh is this gonna put me in contact with the honey? No, it's not. Okay, good. God, I just can't, I can't, I'm gonna die. I, okay, no, we dodged it, good. I can't even tell where the crispy honey is. I, yeah, that's gonna kill me. Yeah, that crispy honey is by far the worst part of this so far. It's very difficult to see where it is, and I don't know which ones are gonna drop lava and which ones aren't gonna drop lava. 
So that's making it real tough. Is there anything to do with these? Nah, just a mushroom campfire. Alright, I want to get out of the part of the world where the crispy honey is. Which I think just means go up. Up seems the right way. Put down these platforms here. Probably would have helped if I had actually like ever played not the bees. I I I haven't really done it very much. So I don't remember a lot of the nuances of it. Uh, it's a duck statue. Okay. So this is crispy honey. We can dig up there. To get around this. Oh, the tax collector's back. That's a good source of money. Hopefully. Uh, let's break this so I don't... Uh, fuck. Okay, still good. Interesting, that blue slime didn't make no noise when it got caught on fire. Interesting, the slimes are not taking lava damage. Oh, we're up to jungle. Hopefully that means out of crispy honey into the jungle. I'd be excited for that, because <laughs> I don't like this crispy honey at all. Come on. One more. There we go. Oh, this is dirt. Interesting. Do I want to dig straight up? I don't know if I do. I'll give it a shot. Oh, there's stone. Oh, this is like a surface area. I see. There's day bloom. Um, kill this slime. There's also a doubt trap. I see that one. Okay. Cobwebs are going to be good. Danger sense potions. We need to get to an ice biome, though. Hoping the tax collector will give me the ability to get, um... Oh, and this is a drunk world, so we have both, uh, both things. Change logs back then and change logs now are completely different. How much is different about them? Like, uh... Are they more info now, less info before, or the reverse? Okay. Uh, well, we can get stone, so we can get the stuff for a, um, for an anvil. I think we have enough for a lead pickaxe. If we were to buy an anvil from the merchant. Much, much, much more info. Okay. What's the seed code? Uh, get fixed boy, B-O-I. Nah. What is the zenith seed? Uh, Okay, so you know how the Zenith is, like, a bunch of different swords combined? The Zenith Seed is a bunch of different World Seeds combined. Right now, uh, I don't have a, a reinforced fishing pole, though. But there is water here. Uh, so I could potentially make a lake to fish up uh, bass for food. Yeah, so this is... It's Celebration Mark 10, I think, based on the fact that the princess spawned at the beginning. Uh, it's the Upside Down World Seed, it's for the Worthy, it's not the Bees, it's the Constant. Um, it's probably good the other seeds too. Uh, that's just the ones that I noticed off the top of my head when it happened. Ooh, Minecart! Uh, that'll take us somewhere. That's... <laughs> okay, that's gotta be the Trap Seed, right? That's gotta be the Trap Seed.
the fact there's just a boulder sitting on the ground. No, the seed is get fixed, boy. It should be in the description. Uh, I didn't even see there was a slime. I must just be blind. It had a stone inside of it. And I still didn't see it. Okay. Uh, does tax collector have money for me? Yeah, get fixed, boy. Twelve. Thank you. That's very helpful. Um, okay, we have the cavern. That's interesting. He's selling the cavern pylon now, even though he's not happy. That's just the flat 10 gold. They change pylons again. Okay, um, let's... Let's make a furnace. So, it... It just combines a bunch of other... Yeah, yeah. No, it's called the Zenith Seed. Like how... Celebration Mark 10 is called Celebration Mark 10, even though the seed is like 0, 05, 20... Uh... 5, 6, 2021. 20, or like the Drunk Seed is called the Drunk Seed, even though it's just 5, 6, 2020. 20. Uh, the seed is Get Fixed Boy, but it's called the Zenith Seed. Okay, uh, let's sell these falling stars and buy an anvil. But yeah, what it does is just what all the other seeds do. Uh, we could also make a cooking pot, which is tempting, but I would really like a pickaxe. Paste the seed in chat. It should be in the description of the video. Get fixed, boy. 5-16-2020. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is... It has the drunk seed in here. It has... It basically just combines all the other seeds. Uh, it's also, as a result of that, extremely difficult. Uh, because it's for... I mean, for the worthy and not the bees alone is enough. Uh, be really hard. Okay. I'm gonna try to get to that minecart, because that's probably gonna lead us somewhere. It's also got the constant. Can I get... Man, you catch on fire even underwater? Damn, an obsidian rose would be really helpful. Um, I can make one pretty soon. Is... I destroyed the pressure plate. I'm pretty sure I destroyed the pressure plate. Okay, I destroyed the pressure plate. Regular wood. Yeah, no, no. This is not like... There are other seeds that are not like challenge seeds. This one is very explicitly designed to be very, very hard. Uh, and just combine everything else to be pure chaos. But there's like the upside down seed, which I think is a lot of what's going on here, at least at the beginning. Uh, I don't know what the, the exact seed code for that is. You can check the change log. Okay. Uh, I'd really like to find, like, some surface chests, or even just, like, some potions. Glow sticks would be nice, too. You spawn in hell? Yes. That is the upside-down seed. At work. Okay, sunflower. Dribbler statue's not bad. Uh, that is potentially a money trough and a shark tooth necklace. Uh, excuse me? What the hell is that? Is that a slime boulder? I hear the worm. Where is he? Where's the new seed code? It's in the description. There are, there are several new seeds, though. Did I hear a coin get picked up? No, I think that was just the falling star. Okay. I I don't want to trigger this trap because I don't know what this thing's gonna do. I'm just gonna have it fall down. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay. That is what it does. 
Good to know. That is that is what it does. Now I know. <laughs> okay, you know, it's a learning process. Uh, so, I, I requested that Electric Athens not post them here, uh, Damage Hero, because I don't want to know the changes, I want to find them out. Because if I read the change log and I knew everything that was going to happen, like, that wouldn't have happened. I would have just known, ah, it's a bouncy boulder, it goes on the ground, it's going to bounce, as opposed to going, oh, what the hell is that? So I don't want to know, uh, what the, what the changes are. So I'd prefer if they weren't, uh, posted here. Okay, so bouncy boulders are a thing. Uh, but I, I know that the Terror Blade, Knight's Edge, and Excalibur got changed, just because I had heard those from a while ago. Where is the change log? Uh, it's on the Terraria community forums. Um, if you go to the Terraria community forums, uh, you'll find it. Okay, well, let's go get my money back. Wait, I, I bridged over this. We can fish if we get some more lead. There's a ton of lead right here. So we could get a fishing pole, and that's going to solve food issues. If I get bait, though, is the thing. This could also make a cooking pot. I do... I feel like the constant, honestly, might be better in something like this than as a seed on its own. Because the constant on its own is very underwhelming. Oh, damn, it's going to be, like, near impossible to get a gnome. Because you'd have to bring it all the way to the surface, right? I assume. Am I using ebon wood? No, this is ash wood, which is a special type of wood that spawns in the underworld now. That, or it's specific to the new seed, I don't know. But there's a special type of wood, ash wood. Uh, it has the set bonus to reduce lava damage, uh, and it seems to be about equivalent to ebon wood, stat-wise. Or somewhere similar. Oh, uh, that was... Uh, okay, we're fine. I did not realize there was a pressure plate. I probably should have paid more attention. But we're fine. We're, we're safe. The water was obscuring the pressure plate. Uh, but I think it's gone now? Oh. I see. That must be what the trap seed does. It might be exclusive to the trap seed, War Ducks. I can't see wires when holding a... Uh, a pressure plate. Which means it's going to be even more difficult. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if they remove danger sense potions from working either. I'm going to have to keep a really close eye out. Okay. Okay. And there's just a boulder sitting down there. Alright. There's a slime statue and another boulder. Is the slime statue hooked up is the question. Where is that dirt? Okay, that dirt trap is hooked up over there, so I should be able to drop down here. Yes, it does have four the worthy changes. Slime statue. Uh, okay. Didn't see him coming, but sli there was a zombie above, up there, apparently. Good to know. I will say, uh, I will 100% do this seed in hardcore. However, that might not be something I stream, because uh, I have a really difficult time paying attention to everything that's going on in-game when I'm streaming. Uh, like, For the Worthy isn't bad, because I don't quite need to be constant vigilance, but this seems like a seed where you really need to be 24-7 just constant. Like, this feels like 1 HP hardcore to an extent, at least at the beginning, uh, where you just cannot take your eyes off anything. Yeah, no, no, the amount of, uh, the seed is called, uh, Get Fixed Boy. It's in the, the, you can copy-paste it, it's in the description. I haven't found any life crystals yet, which is interesting. What are you looking at? You are looking at a wonderful, oh, wait, it's leading me somewhere. Come on. I see the pressure plate. That's an explosive trap. Yes! Chest! Moon Lord Likes! 
12 bombs. Okay, 12 bombs is a demolitionist. Uh, I saw... I was pretty sure that was an exploding trap back there. Okay. Boulders explode. Good to know. Boulders explode. Boulders explode. <laughs> Would not have guessed that. But, you know, you live and you learn. This is why we don't read change logs. Uh, Moonlord Legs is really nice, though. That reduces falling damage, too. Oh, no. Just slightly increases mobility. Okay, so it looks like gold chests can spawn. I haven't seen any surface chests. But it looks like we can get gold chests. Man, if I didn't have this classy cane, uh, this would have been so much more difficult. You want boulders to respawn with their pressure plates? No, don't give them any ideas. On the bright side, since we're dying a lot, uh, we don't have to worry about hunger. Because our hunger resets when we die. How did I get Classy Cane? So the tax collector spawned in the world. Uh, on world gen. Okay. This is an exploding trap. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, the tax collector spawned. There were like five NPCs that spawned. And then they all died when night hit. Okay, just gotta keep a constant eye out. This is also the constant, right? So if I go in darkness... Oh, wait. Do I not get the message? Maybe it wasn't dark enough. I'm 90% sure this zombie will one-shot me. Uh, can I kill it before that slime gets here? I think I can. Okay. Uh, okay, red slime. That's fine. Let's go up here. Slime can't get up here. What is this? This is the new, uh... Oh! Underground house. Nice. I mean, it's celebration, so it's painted in rainbow. Okay. Uh, let's go up here. Zombie shouldn't be able to get up here. Uh, bomb can, though. They should have made the trap pressure plates echo painted. Oh god, that would be miserable. LGBT house? Yeah. Oh, Amethyst! That's a hook. That's definitely enough for a hook. I see a, I see a trap over there. Okay, let's... do this. That was a dead man's chest. I was concerned it was going to be a dead man's chest, but I didn't see anything. I just happened to be far enough away from the explosive. Wait, why the fuck is there a Hopi here? What? I saw it, but I didn't, like, acknowledge it. No, go away. Oh, the Hopi statue, that's why. I see. Okay, anytime I see a statue, I just have to get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, it was it was wired up. Okay, let's see. Oh, Danger Sense Potions do work. That makes them extremely valuable. Okay. I don't... I didn't think it was delayed, but maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. Okay, we got 10 seconds of amnesty. Hey, Toggle Vibes. Okay, there's a Life Crystal up here. Oh, sorry, we got two life, three life crystals! For the Worthy putting in work, because For the Worthy increases the life crystal spawn rate. Maybe we just got to the right depth where they can spawn now. Okay. Getting this life is going to be a huge help, because right now there's a ton of stuff that does like 100 damage to us. Okay. I'm 
pretty sure that I should be able. I'm gonna go get back, get, go back and get this amethyst later. How does this seed work? It combines all the other seeds. Okay, I think this should work fine. Huh? Oh, I see. They act like cactus. Some glow sticks would have been nice. Yeah, this is all seats combined, uh, which means Celebration Mark 10, Drunk, Constant, For the Worthy, Not the Bees, the Upside Down Seed, and the Not the Trap Seed. Or the All Traps, or whatever it's called. Okay, there's no pressure plates, my Danger Sense Potion isn't going off. Okay. 160 life. Yeah, I think it spoiled it. Okay, let's get this out of here. Rip gnome? I can't do it. What am I going to do to a gnome? There's no light here. Okay. Yeah, don't dig down. That's the one. All right, let's get in a full hook. Yeah, thanks tweeted all of them. And then, I mean, there's also the change log. Which is where I got the specific seed from. Because I, I knew it was called the Zenith seed. Damn it, well, one amethyst short. Hold on. There was an amethyst up there. Uh, let's see what's down here. Oh, well, this is a big fall. Okay, uh, that Danger Sense Potion is a lifesaver. Problem is, it's a, it's a not the bees seed, so getting to, yeah, everything's rainbow. Uh, let me go get that last piece of amethyst so I can make a hook. I think that's the Celebration Rub 10 input. Okay, um, I would have to go home. I won't make the hook yet. I would have to go home, and I don't want to do that. Let me eat food so I don't uh, start to starve. I wasn't sure if that was another pressure plate. <laughs> now, the other thing. The problem is I don't have Shiverthorn. I need to get, like, surface chests to get herb bags or find the snow biome, wherever it is. The other thing is... Pressure plate tracks do not show up on a danger sense potion, which makes this minecart very dangerous to ride. Oh, uh, did that slime come out of a pot, or am I just blind? I will take these clay pots, though. Oh, sorry, clay blocks to make clay pots for the danger senses. If I can get the, the seeds, because I'm going to need to plant them somewhere. What is that hooked up to? That's hooked up to that. It came out of the pot? Okay. That might be where that yellow slime came from earlier. Because there was a point where another, like, a slime came out of nowhere, and I was like, did it just come out of the pot, or am I blind? Well, they've always had names, Electric Essence. Uh, Spasma Mini and Retin something. I have about 4,000 hours, War Ducks. That's a big vein of iron. Uh, that's a big vein of Demonite. Hang on. Okay. What are the new seeds? Um, that's a queen bee lover. <laughs> um, okay, that's not in the jungle. Uh, I can't break those pots because if those pots break the beehive, I'm fucked. 
Oh, it's Retina Mini. I thought it was Spasma Mini. I feel like that rolls off the tongue better. Whatever. Okay. That's gonna be an enraged Queen Bee, is the thing, because there's no jungle here. Okay. This is gonna spawn a Squirrel. It would have spawned a Wall Creeper. This should be safe to open. Okay, Shine Potion's good. Break it? No! But I've got a gold on me. Let's get this Demonite. I've got recall potions now, and a magic mirror, which is good. Let me drink these. Okay. So, let me get enough for a cooking pot. But I think getting food from that's going to be helpful. So, we have a queen beehive. I just don't want to fight it. That's Dude, I have no weapons. Yeah, I... I, I I saw legends. That's in this. That's why there were so many traps everywhere. Okay. So I should be able to. Yes. They function like cactus. They sh But they shoot out bigger projectiles. But they work like a cactus. You like how they nerf small abuses? Well, I'll be interested to see what, what they change. Um... Goblin Scout. Interesting. Oh, that's a lot of damage. This is for the worthy, after all. Oh, I should have caught that worm. What am I doing? You cannot avoid insta-kills through... Well, don't tell me, Aram. I don't want to know. I want to figure that out by trying to avoid an instant skill through a dodge and having it not work. Alright, where are you leading me? Down? Like, which would be more entertaining? Telling me, or... Uh... Having me try to do it, and then... Well, I don't want a heads up. I want to... I want to explore it myself. Figure out... Is he leading me to the Demonite? No, nah, there's another house down here. Uh, it might not be that there are no shadow orbs, Mia, but it might be very difficult to get shadow orbs, because they might be on the surface, right? Like, if I have to go all the way up on the surface to get to a shadow orb, then giving goblins early would let me, um, potentially get goblins, uh, without having to get all the way there. Um, I have a bow. What's the seed? This seed is called Get Fixed Boy. Okay. You're still mad over that? Mad over what? The insta-kill thing? I mean, I'm fine with it. It makes it less of a headache having to say every time that I do, like, the Empress of Light daytime that I'm not using hollowed armor or dodgers or whatever. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, my Danger Sense Potion wore off. There's a loom. I'll take that. This must be a viewer record? I don't know. Uh, Night Owl Potions. That's good. Uh, Magic Mirror. Another one. That's money. Money's good. Yeah, the seed is in the description. There's another house over there. Do I have any food or anything? I have food. Let me eat that for the mining speed buff. Uh, right! Yes, slimes can come out of pots. I need to keep that in mind. I can't... You just... You can't go near pots and break them. I don't even know what seed is doing that. Crab statue? Crab... That's gotta be a crab statue, right? Crab engine? Crab engine could come in handy. Where's the crab statue? 
There has to be a crab statue, right? Right? Maybe not. That wasn't from a statue. It dropped money. Crabs just spawn. Maybe near the water? Okay. I'm glad I'm finding all these underground houses. Uh, I can make... I don't have a workbench. I can just shoot. Is that a bomb? No. It was a bomb! Hey, JSS. Okay. I should be able to keep him stun locked with my classy cane. Please don't hit me. I think I can... Uh, actually, I don't know. 160 HP. It is fourth worthy. There's an anvil. I can make my... Uh... Okay, let me check and make sure I don't see any explosives. I don't think this is a dead man's chest. Okay, it's not. Good. Hunter potion. Those are valuable. Uh, let me ditch these. Let me ditch these. Uh, I do not speak Spanish, Norak. I don't know what you're asking, but based on the words rework and melee, I'm assuming you're asking about the melee rework, uh, to which the answer is I know nothing. Okay, uh, Amethyst Rook. What difficulty in Seed is the best to experience the new update? Not this one. Uh, this is Master Mode on the, the really hard Seed. Um, I think doing the upside down seed could probably be really fun. It looks really awesome. Uh, okay, I don't have danger sense anymore, so I gotta keep that in mind. Boulder trap. Uh, let me just close this off. The pressure plate's in the water. I'm gonna take- oh, uh, bold bomb. Bomb. It's a bomb. I'm gonna take a sunflower. Did I get glow sticks yet? I haven't. Uh, the Zenith Seed is the Seed, uh, Get Fixed Boy. Okay, let's get some more Demonite. I like these For the Worthy veins. You know, For the Worthy's not all bad. What did they add in 1.4? Go check the change log, Mako. Uh, okay, there's a... <laughs> Man, when I activated that bouncy boulder, and it bounced right back into me. Are there two boulders here? What is this second pressure plate hooked up to? There are two pressure plates here. What is the second one? Is there an exploding trap? I don't see an exploding trap. They can't both be hooked up to the boulder, right? Let's go on either way. Man, this classy cane is so good in free hard mode. By so good in free hard mode, I mean if you get it day one, it's it's like okay. But like it is it is putting in work. I feel like that's the strat in this seed is uh because of how difficult it is to get stuff, uh like day one. Can't you check the wiring? No, is the thing. They removed that option, I imagine, in this seed. If I hold out a pressure plate, I do not see wires. Yeah, the other seed is no traps. Imp statue! Aw, oh, shit. Terror spark boot time? I, I think every single statue I've found has been wired up. Or almost every single statue. Let me catch this dragonfly. And I don't really want to... Uh, uh, give me... Give me... I don't want to do with the zombie. Okay, good. Uh, let me get the angel statue out of here. Actually, I could... I wouldn't put it past them doing something with an angel statue. Let me get the duck statue out of here. Someone paste the Terraria forums link. Uh, I... Uh, links, I don't think, work in YouTube chat. I don't know, Sammy. I'm really excited to find out. There is... That's a dead man's chest. But it's a very unassuming Dead Man's Chest. They changed Dead Man's Chest, I think, in this seed. They're much more difficult to spot. Do I know how to make a biome site? 
Uh, I'm not sure what that means, so I'm gonna say no. L enemies on the, on the surface? I'm thinking that's what it's gonna be. I'm wondering if, like, the wall of flesh is gonna be a surface thing? Uh, don't tell me. I wanna figure out when we get there. Oh, right, and you can... I remember hearing about this. You can rope platform biome site potion. I don't know what that is. Oh, is that the one that tells you, like, where evil blocks are? I don't know how to make that. I would check the, the, the change log. Or just give the guide a bottle bottle. But again, I don't want to know new things. Uh, I want to figure them out when, when we get there. Uh, these doubt traps are just some money. I don't think there's another exploding... I, I think that was the only one? Okay, it was. Cloud in a bottle. Nice. Uh, yes, I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure no traps is in this. I'm pretty sure that's why this is happening. So, yeah, when I say they made it that way, I think what I, what I mean is they made it on this seed that way. Uh, ah, this is... Okay. Oh, no, I was gonna... Alright. This is one of the things... I don't know if this is in the base game or if it's in No Traps. I feel like it's in No Traps, but it might be in the base game, too. This is the stuff of nightmares. New trees? That's just... Those are just gem trees. But there are new trees in the underworld. This is what nightmares are made of. Bouncy boulders. Oh, the blue tree. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Yeah. Does that have anything new? Nah, it's just one of the special trees, like the Sakura tree. There's some topaz. I wouldn't mind a in essence. I do have a bunch of demonite. Uh, it's not enough for magic luminescence, but it is quite a lot. Let me get this ash block out of here. Are they painted? Uh, I, they looked natural, but I don't know. That's gotta be hooked up to the dead man's chest, right? That explosive trap? I didn't see a pressure plate anywhere. I think this is far enough away that the explosive won't hit me. Yep. Oh, uh, slime. Bad slime. Get out of here. What is the Zenith Seed? It's called Get Fixed Boy. Okay, should be just good to open this now. Another Band of Regeneration. Uh, let me get... Uh, it's tough, because I don't have Potions of Return. More Life Crystals, though. That's... Oh, I put it in here. That's 200 life. You thought this was the upside-down one? Uh... No, no, no. Uh, Get Fixed Boy is the, the Zenith one. Uh, oh, oh, those slimes hit hard. This is for the worthy. Uh, let me get space for these uh, life crystals. I'm going to get rid of... I'll just drink this Night Owl potion. Oh, no, I picked up something else. Hang on. I don't want the dead man's chest. Give me that. Give me that. All right, let's see what's down over here. It's really scary trying to move fast. Alright, let me see if I can use these bees to my advantage. Okay, I mean, they didn't do nothing. More amethyst, but I already have a hook, so I don't think it's really that helpful. I see that pressure plate. Yeah, the danger sensor ran out a while ago. That's not a boulder trap? I I would have guessed that was a boulder trap, the way that looked. Okay, let me eat these life crystals. I want to get to 400 HP as soon as possible, I feel like. Okay. Back down to those trippy mushroom biomes. I didn't really like it down here, because crispy honey... Crispy honey burns you. I, I don't want to be this low. Ah, this is a drunk world, so we have both demonite and crimtain. That's right. 
Um, I don't want to kill you on both. I don't have that much inventory space. I could make an obsidian skull. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? What? It's not an ocean. It seems like maybe ocean. That was it. I, I thought that was the. I thought that was just the background object. I thought that was just the stone. I saw it and I looked at it and I was like, "That's not a pressure plate. That's that's just a stone." No, it was a pressure plate. Yeah. <laughs> um. I'm still alive. Man, enemies falling from above is really scary. Well, there's a bunch of obsidian there. Rest and heal? Nah. Go big or go home. Rest and is for losers. Planet Golem statue. I don't see a pressure plate. Let me put the Fallen Stars in my ammo slot. Risk it? Risking it is like 90% of what I do. Ah, uh, death. I, I can't. I need to like mentally ingrain that in my head. That, that pots drop slimes. So I think I'd like to get to 400 HP, and then I think I just try to go up and see what things are. Who is going to run out? Yeah, I'm going to... I should eat a spicy pepper. Thankfully, I, I got plenty of food from the underworld trees. Are, there, are those armor loadouts? There are armor loadouts. I haven't used them at all. Um, okay, I can make enchanted nightcrawlers. Yeah, I'm not sure which seed is making the, the pots drop slimes. Okay. Let me do this. This will probably kill the slime, hopefully. Uh, let's get 25 HP. What is that pressure plate wired up to? I'm not risking it. I don't care. There's an explosive trap button. Explosive trap down there. You know, it's also possible. I'm going to concede that it is possible. I don't know if it's the case. And I don't want to know. But the way things are looking right now, it's possible in the not the trap seed or whatever, the no trap seed. Why? They might not even be wired up. It was a bomb, Wardux. It might be that when you activate a pressure plate, it just activates anything in the vicinity. Like within a certain range. And that's why you can't use wire. I don't think there's another exploding trap here. Okay, there's not. Boots! Boots and a silver bow. I feel like I need these acorns. Um... Ah, and we're stacking past, uh, we got a thousand rope because they changed the snack limit. I gotta go home. I need to drop this stuff off. I think I'll ditch the ashgrass seeds. Yes, holding a pressure plate does not reveal traps. I don't need a hope. Well, maybe I do need a hopey statue because that's, well, hopey suck. I don't. Yeah. Based on the way things have worked so far, it kind of feels to me... Uh, yeah, I should just ditch the healing potions. Uh, healing is for people who get hit. It's kind of feeling to me like activating a pressure plate might just activate everything in the vicinity. Let's check. This would be a good point to test. If I activate this and it activates that boulder down there... Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's just pressure plates. 
Yeah, wires do connect with each other, too. That's the other thing it might be. I'm liking these life crystals, though. Emerald and Sapphire. I don't really have the inventory space for that. Boulder Trap? Boulder Trap. Uh, place down a doubt trap. Oh, that could, that could, that could be an option, yeah. I'm lucky with the house. Well, this is for the worthy. One of the things that for the worthy does. Alright, we're not getting close to these. Uh, for the worthy increases the spawn rate of chests and life crystals. So it's much easier to find life crystals in a for the worthy seed than a regular seed. I like being on the minecart track, because the minecart track makes it so that pressure plates can't be there. Yeah, it looks like ocean enemies just spawn in water. Try to summon Queen Bee? No, I don't... <laughs> there was a Lova way back here. I don't want to fight her. She's just going to kill me. Like, we found a Lova super early on. Uh, I don't trust this. There's going to be an exploding. Okay, we can check. Uh, I don't have a... I don't see any exploding traps. Okay. Another cloud in a bottle. Get this dirt out of here. This is a large world, yeah. Which might have been a mistake. Uh, we'll see. Do I have grenades? I don't have grenades. I haven't found any surface chests. Only the underground chests. It feels like surface chests are going to be spawning on the surface. Which is an interesting thought. Okay, a lot of chests here. Oh, in the it might be in the middle of the world. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, I just have to get rid of some of this stuff. I can buy more healing potions. What? Boulder life crystals? Boulder life crystals. Boulder life crystals. Alright, slime statue and a red pressure plate. Okay. Boulder life crystals is terrifying. Okay, I don't think this is hooked up to anything. Good. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, I will take a red pressure plate. Everything is turning into traps. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what the, not the trap seed does, so whatever, no traps. Uh, I'll get rid of you. I need to go back. I... I'll explore this chest up here, and then I gotta go home. I need to... My inventory's too full. Oh, that was a mistake. Bees, bees. No, you don't see me. You don't see... I'm not here. I'm not here. Okay, we should be safe from the bees. Uh, Medusa statue is a terrifying thought. Uh, let's get rid of that. It looked like a regular life crystal. When I broke it, it rolled like a boulder. Oh, no, no, no. Bees can get in. Bees can get in. Not safe. Okay, safe. Okay. I, I need I need to go home. I, I can't stay out here. Uh, I'll get rid of... I can buy another bug net. I have plenty of money. Okay, we, we, we're going, we're going. Back home. Uh, give me, give me money, tax collector. Let me get a piggy bank, so I don't lose my money. Okay, so it looks like bottom of the world is like this foresty underworld area. And then we get like this, this rainbow mushroom biome. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sell them. Um... 
happiness doesn't exist? Did they remove happiness from the game? This is the other world music. That might be- I don't know if that's a seed thing or just a general game thing. But there's no happiness with these NPCs. What's the seed? This seed is called Get Fixed Boy. It's in the uh, description. The thing is, they're not depressed. They just stopped caring. Okay, um... My Classy Cane is better than a Light's Bane. I will take a Demon Bow, though. Demonic Demon Bow. Oh, I trashed it. I could have sold that. Whoops. Let's get a Fisher of Souls. And let's get these chests down. Let's make a quick organization system. Okay, uh, let me put oars and bows here. Lightsbane is a fun thing now. Well, I'll discover it if I ever decide to make a Lightsbane. I would rather have a Demon Bow, though. Given that this is for the worthy, uh, everything is going to be doing a phenomenal amount of damage if it hits me. So, melee is something I would rather not rely on as a core part of my strategy. Can I plant a Sunflower? Oh. Is this supposed to be a golden belt? Sure. What's the seed? This seed is called Get Fixed Boy. Hang on, can I catch? It'd be wild if I could. Okay, no, you, you still can't catch them. I wasn't sure. I had to check. I had to check. Alright, we're going to try to go to the surface. We're going to go up. Straight up. Okay, let me smelt this lead. Does melee pre hard mode weapon have different attacks now? Uh, some of them I imagine do. I don't know which ones do, though. And I don't want to know. I want to figure out when I uh, get there. Um, I'll take an axe upgrade, I think. Actually, no. I'm going to take a silver pickaxe. Silver pickaxe is really good in For the Worthy. Uh, because the mining speed changes. Okay, uh, I'll put potion ingredient stuff here. I don't- I have not found any sand. Or any bottles. Which is gonna make things a little tricky. Uh, I'd like to plant this day bloom, but I don't think I can plant it on the ash grass. Okay, uh, let's get gel here. Bio Blossom Mushrooms. Let me just put the miscellaneous stuff in here. I'll keep my food here. Uh, can I cook Sapphire Bunnies? No. Blood Butcher inflicts a debuff now. Again, don't, don't tell me. I want to fig- I want to make a Blood Butcher and then I figure out like, oh shit, it inflicts a debuff. You know? Okay, let's get my money in here. 12 gold. That's a lot. What I can do is... If I make a house, if I find another biome and make a house near the surface, I have enough money now that I can get a pylon so I could link up my two bases. If I can get high enough up. That is true, I have not found any red potions either. Uh, I feel like I want to save these hunter potions. Those could be really handy. Uh, and I'll get my Fisher of Souls. I'll just get the rest of the stuff in here. Uh, acorns. I don't need regular wood. Oh, not this chest. Keep the regen potion, too. Okay, let's... This this is the real update, yeah. This is not a mod. This is, this is what's going on. I'm in the legendary mode now. I don't even know what that means, man. Oh, wait. Ammo stacks to 9999. Again, I don't, I don't really want to know. I, I want to... Alright, let's eat food, and we're going straight up. It's going to be really easy to fish in hell, though. 
Oh, you know what? I should... Well, actually, if I'm going up, then I shouldn't need an obsidian skull. Because it's only an issue down here. Any tips for the stout? This seed? Um... <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. Uh... You're you're not safe. It doesn't matter what it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You just you're never safe. Everything is a threat. Get an obsidian skull. I can get one later. All right, topaz is neat. What is this legendary difficulty? I don't know. I, I don't really want to know either. Like, the first time I played Master Mode, I didn't even know what Master Mode did. It took me a long time to figure out what it did. Uh, I like going into things blind and figuring them out as we go. Which you would know if you're watching me play Calamity Mod. That was, that was a trip. Okay, I'm just going to cling to the ceiling. Uh, slimes! Slime- okay, Mimic Statue. Is this hooked up? I don't trust it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Alright. Like I said, we're just going up. Okay, I would recommend the first thing you do, get food, because this is a constant seed. Food is important. Well, I guess if you die a lot, it's not really important, but... If you don't want to just chain deaths non-stop. Food is important. Man, I should have gone back at night and uh, bought glow sticks. Exploding trap. It seems like the upside down world has like the highest priority other over the other seats. If I were to describe it. Oh, statue. Okay. That is amazing. I feel like the slime's dropping from pots. That's probably the, uh, the trap seed that's doing that. I feel like. That seems like... That seems like something they do in that seed. Oh, another pressure plate. Oh, heart statue. Okay, so we need to be careful because boulder heart statues do exist. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, that is a cell. Well, they all have good reforges, not the best. I mean, my, my pickaxe is just a regular one. Um, that's a celebration mark 10 thing. I believe this has celebration mark 10, uh, as well. Celebration Mark 10 changes the, the modifiers that you get. This has got to be a dead man's chest. I don't trust this. There's an explosive down here. No, maybe not. I don't see one. I see a zombie, though. Safe safe. Now dead man's chests are actually, like, terrifying. Because in vanilla, they're super easy to spot, right? You just see them, and you're like, ah, it's a dead man's chest. Oh, this is mine. But you can't do that here. Because there will be dead man's chests that just have, like, one single, uh... Explosive, why would up to them? Why underground? Okay, is it every heart statue? That's gotta be a dead man's chest. Oh, bear, bear, bees, bees. You still need the pressure plate? The pressure plate doesn't do anything, is the thing. I mean, this is. Very obviously a dead man's chest. 
It's another explosive. Okay. I think this should be safe now. Okay, good. Have I been killed by darkness? I have not. Oh, I got a flare gun! Alright, we're making our way up. Another chest. Doesn't look trapped. Double check. It is trapped! You think they'd fix the projectile limit cheese? I don't know, I wouldn't put it past them. See, it activated something over there. There's a doubt trap over there. And a sh shark statue! Shark statue! Shark statue. Shark statue. Chuck statue. Chuck statue. Hang on. Let's see what. Chuck statue. Ah, they have. You stop. <laughs> This is what shokes, they just clip through, okay, we'll take this for later. Shokes just clip through walls. Unicorn statue? That could potentially be good. Ah, another goblin scout. I think Goblin would be pretty helpful, so let's try to get enough Tattered Cloth for that. Uh, Demon Eye. Oh, that's a lot of boulders! Like, am I out of flares? I'm out of flares. What are the changes? I don't know, man. I haven't, uh, I haven't looked at the change log except for to get the, uh, the seed for this world. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, wait. Oh, did they change boulders? Do they not deal damage on contact? Oh, that's gonna activate those. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let me just make a little safe box. Uh, not safe, not safe, not safe. Okay, make a little safe box. Okay. Alright, let's... Get going. I'm out of flares, unfortunately, like I said. It's a lot of lead. I tried activating the angel statue? No, but I intend to at some point. But again, don't... Don't say, I know there's something with the angel statue. I'm pretty sure there is, because I had heard about that. But, like, don't spoil that activating it will do something, because asking, have you done this, implies that there's something to, to be done when it when it happens, right? Ooh, nice. Another, uh, another house. Honestly, these houses kind of suck. <laughs> like, there's, there's not any reason for me to... Oh, just actually you have no clue. Okay. Wait. Oh, it's rainbow. Oh, I love rainbow flicks. Hang on. There's no, uh... There's not really much payoff, is the thing. Because I've already gotten all the gold chest loot, I'm pretty sure. Well, I haven't gotten a lucky horseshoe, I guess. I could get a lucky horseshoe. I know they added the ancient bricks. Like, there are some things that I know, but 
I don't want to know things that I don't already know. So if you're not sure if I know something, I would just not say it because I don't want to. No, I want to experience that. Oh, are we in the jungle? Did we hit? No, this is just moss. I, I wasn't sure. The, the beehive threw me for a loop. I, I didn't think that grapple was gonna hit it. I can, I can, I can survive with these. Yeah, it we're fine. We're fine. The woman statue. Let's get some obsidian. There's some obsidian over here. Looks like we're hitting the underground layer now. I feel like I feel like it's gonna just have everything inverted. We start in hell, then we get to like a surface layer, then we get to like an underground layer. I see there's uh, some wood up there. I think. Looks like a house. You can see what I meant before about bee damage scaling. Yeah, bees are bees are pretty terrifying. That's for the worthy for you. Okay, we need that's enough obsidian for a skull, so I'm content. Yeah, there's a house here. Like, see that that pressure plate activated that boulder. Explosives? I don't see any. Oh, this mother slime's gonna get up here. Okay, good. You see it? There is a red potion. Okay. Oh, and a spelunker potion. And a warding cloud in a bottle? Let's do it. What? Paintings are highlighted on spelunker potions now? Interesting. Oh, water chest. Yeah, it feels like we're out of the dirt layer into the, uh... Oh, you know, actually getting this silt, I do have an extractinator. So I could potentially get some stuff out of this. See some topaz too. Okay. Okay, they moved shark bait out of the uh, the first slot for loot. I think they moved it to uh, a secondary loot, so it's not the main item you get out of a chest. It looks like. I like the way this ash helmet looks a lot. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, we got cave bats now. Oh, I need to. Oh no, I don't need to eat. It's also interesting, is it just me, or does the chest seem to be glowing red on the Spelunker Potion? The, the color profile of the Spelunker Potion seems a bit different. Oh, that's, uh, Emerald? Sapphire? Yeah, I, I don't think a large world was a good decision. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is sapphire. Okay. I plan to get to the surface and put a pylon up there. That's the uh, the goal for now. Right, I don't see any explosives. Alright, no explosives. The one's potion is pretty cool. Uh, sure. I'll look up the shark. Uh, suspicious looking eye, though. Fight the eye. It says fourth worthy, so I'm probably gonna want 400 HP in a bit. I should not have done that because that could have been a boulder heart statue. Or sorry, boulder life crystal. A granite biome. Geysers. Okay. I guess we're at geyser depth now. 
I need to remember, I need to stop doing that. Actually, let's uh, pop a red potion. What did I get? Mana regeneration, regeneration, heart reach. Okay, uh, terrible. That is three boulders stacked on top of each other in a pyramid. Heart statue, heart over here though. We're almost at 400 HP, which is a really big uh, landmark to pass. I didn't mean to drink that thorns potion. It's fine. What's this series about, though? What do you mean? You mean the seed? Just hacking granite golems. Hang on. Oh, it, it thorns potioned. Okay. I was I was wondering why it took so much damage. What's the goal of the stream? What's the gimmick? The gimmick is that it's the new seed. And the gimmick is beating the game. I mean this is it's every other seed combined. I don't know why I'm killing these guys. I it's not I don't really get much out of it. I only need one more life crystal to 400, though. The new seed is finally out? Yeah, the update came out. Oh, whoa, whoa! Um, uh... There's not a chest statue over here. Is that a real mimic? Is this a real mimic? Hang on. This could be a real mimic. Hang on. I need to... Is it gonna take a minute? Because there's no chest statue. It didn't. It didn't spawn from a trap. It is not a pink mimic. That is true. It's a real mimic, but it drops pre-held mode chest loot and less money. That's got to be from the trap seed. Found a weird pink boulder and broke it. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what that was about? They bounce. There's a wonderful clip of me, uh... Well, I, I don't know if it's a, it's a clip yet, but there was a wonderful point where that happened to me, and I, I was scared of it, and it just immediately bounced right into me. Okay, we're about halfway to the surface. What size world? This is a large size world, which I think was a mistake. I wasn't really thinking that much about it when I made the world. I probably should have made it like a medium or a small.
Well, that's a ton of emeralds. Thank you for the worthy. Frog dads are pretty terrifying. They do a lot of melee contact damage. Uh, let me just drain this lava, I think. I should be able to... That. Honestly, I could do this. Oh, right. This is probably the best way to get this emerald. Is just get this lava out of here. You want to hurry up, though? Because I, I, I don't want to sit here all day waiting for the... There we go. Ah, uh, that... Ah, oh, damn. Crawdad coming? Crawdad coming. Crawdads have a lot of melee contact damage. I want to say they're going to hit for, like, 200-something uh, if it hits me. I have a bow. Alright. Yeah, interesting. Slimes don't seem to take lava damage. Do I plan on finishing in one whole stream? We'll see how things go. I'm not going to commit to anything at this point. Do I still take initial contact damage from lava? Yeah. Anything take lava damage? I'm not actually sure. The slimes certainly don't. Oh, a pinky! There's that triple boulder snatch. Yeah, this is the This is the stuff of nightmares. This is this is that pink boulder you saw. I want to kill that pinky. I need it to leave, though. Go somewhere else. There we go. Let me trap this pinky. Okay. Best way to trap pinky is... I forget the exact number of blocks. Looks like that high without torches. Go a bit higher just in case he gets knocked back or something. Pink is a good chunk of gold and pink gel. And hell, maybe it's a slime staff. You never know. Okay. Pink gel and some gold. Uh, shoe spikes can get out of here. Already have some. Actually, it looks like nothing, maybe nothing takes lava damage, because I think that bat didn't take lava damage. Okay, uh, we're down to two pomegranate for food, so we gotta, if we want to get to the surface, we gotta make sure we don't run out of food. I take lava damage, though. I, I definitely had a crispy honey block drop lava on me and kill me. So, so far, I have not found any sand or any bottles uh, for, like, potions. That's the biggest thing I've been missing so far, is the ability to craft potions. It took quite a lot of work to mine through this stone. Alright, we're only one life crystal off from uh, 400 HP, though. Maybe I should have made, like, a platinum pickaxe or a gold one. I haven't gotten enough bows for that, though. Right here, a worm? 
Yeah, I actually haven't found very much at all outside of the regular world stuff. Uh, I'll blow up some tungsten. Maybe I'll make a tungsten armor set. Oh, that's a ton of ruby, though. The ruby hope would be great. Do I have an anvil? No, but I can make an anvil. I think I'll make an anvil and upgrade my hook. This is also king slime, potentially. We need to find it. Oh, there was an altar. I remember now. Alright. Yeah, let's upgrade our hook. hook. Okay. I'll get some more ruby too. Might as well. Man, an obsidian skin potion would have been so nice. But I gotta find a way out of this lava without taking much damage from it. I mean, I do have almost 400 HP. I can take some damage. Which I think I'm going to have to do. I think I'm going to dig through this ash. I'm oh, sorry, this, this silt. Go through the lava, take some damage, and quickly grapple out. I think that's the... Oh, well, maybe I can get around that way, though. Hang on. Oh, no, I think I can get through here. Yeah, none of these things are taking lava damage. I wonder if that's a universal change or one of the seeds. Oh, mushroom biome? Like, actual mushroom biome? Ah, we're, we're in B territory now. Back to B. Damn, I should have gotten... Hang on. An obsidian skull just takes a furnace, right? I have the obsidian on me. There we go. Now we don't take damage from touching crispy honey. Oh, shit! Crimson, too. Hang on. Let me get an Undertaker. Yeah, I hear you, face monster. Oh, that's a big face monster! Yeah, it is kind of nice. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah? I can break a second one, too. Hang on, let me, uh... No, no, don't burn the... Don't burn the platinum! Give me the... Give me the no, the platinum! A lot of the platinum burned. Damn it. I really wanted that. Alright, let's see what the second warp gets us. Oh, I, I trashed the hammer after I broke the first one. Hang on. That is a huge Chimera! Look at that thing! And those face monsters are so fast. Look at it. It's got almost twice the HP of this one, too. Oh, right, this is uh, for the willy. Let's remember that. All right, we're in B territory now, though. Deathweed is available now. We just want to go up, though. That's all I want. 
No, I'm gonna uh, die unless I do this. I don't want to break this pot. Boy, these guys hit hard. Okay. Um, let me go here. I don't want to break one of these pots because it might be a... Okay. Grapple. Make a campfire. I can't... It's not tall enough? Hang on. I didn't want to break the pot, man. I didn't want to break the pot. That's fine. We can get back there pretty easily. I tried to grapple the ceiling, but I didn't line it up correctly, and the grapple hit the pot. Okay. Well, we can offload our inventory, thankfully. Give me my money. I'm gonna get some dynamite. Get you out of here. I'm gonna buy flares. Give me a full stack of them. Oh, it's a bit more than a stack, but it's fine. Geode? Topaz. Cloud in a bottle, out. Homie's boots, out. You go here. And then, heart statue can go in here. Sand castle bucket. Geyser. I want the flare gun. Uh, obsidian can go in here. Tungsten. Emerald Ruby. Might need more NPC housing at some point, yeah, but I really want to get up. That's how that goes. Let me just get all of this stuff out of here. Now that we've dug the way there, I think we can get there pretty easily. Let me get some more food. Hang on. Oh, potion stacks changed too. Actually, you know what? I'm going to see what's on the surface here. If I go to the left, what's there? Right? Because it can't be this this thing for the whole world, right? Is there going to be like a dungeon that's upside down? Is there going to be like a snow biome? Point pot's nice. It's also a good source of food. Is there going to be, like, a hell ocean, maybe? There is kind of a hell ocean thing. Hang on. Oh, I, 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 I broke an orb, didn't I? Huh. I uh, didn't think about that one. Didn't think about that one. I gotta go back now. I need to get ready for this. How many grenades can I buy? That's enough. God, are they gonna be falling from above? I hope not. Well, I want to kill goblins, is the thing. Alright, let me barricade these houses. make this a bit further off to the side here. So they don't get caught on NPC houses. Oh, come on. There? There we go. Damn it, I need... I need to expand this platform. Hang on. Let me work on that first. Just give me a place to sit here. God, Panic Necklace is really throwing me off. Hang on. 
I should have built it further to the side in the first place. They are coming from above. Okay. Get down a campfire. I should unequip the panic necklace. It's just gonna throw me off. Let's see if I can finish this now. Just a little bit bigger. Okay, that should be good enough. I don't think they can even. Oh, they can't reach me. Uh, interesting, the Goblin Invasion progress meter disappeared? There's no progress meter. Oh, okay, now it's back. I guess it disappears when you're not actively killing things. Maybe that's the thing that before the patch, but... We can get Goblin now, which means good Reforges and good, uh... Good Money Sink and, like, Spectre Boots and stuff. What is the seed to gain access to this world? It is called Fix... Fix This Boy? It's in the description. Is it Fix This Boy? I think it was Fix This Boy. Or Get Fixed Boy. Get Fixed Boy. That's it. Get Fixed Boy. It's in the description. Just look at that. Okay, well, thankfully I bought all these grenades. This would be a real mess if I didn't have the grenades. Yeah, th those are the actual seeds. You had the entire change log and damned your eyes hurt. Excited to see what's there. Oh, that's a flare gun. Well, it, it tagged him, so he stopped shooting stuff. Get some spike balls. I like grenades. Also, I don't have a... I mean, getting spike balls involves just picking up the spike balls that drop. It's not like I have a goblin. Hold on, did they? No, okay. That's the same. Kind of felt for a sec like the flare gun had its fire rate reduced. But it's the same. Okay, we're almost halfway there. Alright, see essence. Hopefully by the time you get back, we'll have reached the surface. Oh god, I'm starving. Well, I'm just weak, right? You have a long time before you need to eat food. I would recommend not jumping right into this seed. Uh, it's very punishing. Uh, and very difficult. Uh, if you want to see the cool things, I would recommend probably starting with the upside down seed. Because um, this isn't the upside down seed. This is the all of the seeds combined, including the upside down one. I think the upside down seed is probably the coolest one that came out. Um... Okay, halfway there. What is the Zenith Seed? Get, uh, if you mean what is the seed to get the world, the seed is Get Fixed Boy. Uh, it's in the description. If you mean what does it do, it combines every other seed. 
At least I think it's every other seed. I'm pretty sure it's every seed. Um, it would combine some features from all of the seeds uh, into one. Which means it's for the worthy, it's not the bees, it's the constant. Uh, it's the upside down thing. Do you think if someone beat for the worthy already, it's valid to jump into this as the next challenge? This is much more difficult than for the worthy. Um, but yeah, I think it's a... Uh, if you can beat for the worthy, you'll probably at least be able to scrape your way by this. You wonder how the bees merged into the world? It's interesting. Uh, I've been getting an eye on it. It seems like the upside down has the highest priority with world gen. Meaning that the upside down features take priority over like the not the bees, everything being the bee stuff. Um... Yeah, the traps are just everywhere. Uh, but as I got up, I started getting into bee territory. It wasn't very far below the surface, I think, that the bees started showing up. Like the, the hive blocks and the honey and all that stuff. Uh, now, right above the underworld, there is a ton of crispy honey. Uh, which is really dangerous because crispy honey is a fire block that burns you. And it also drops lava sometimes, and it was really tough to get past that. Yeah, it's called the Zenith Seed because it's like the Zenith in that it combines all the uh, all the stuff. The stack size limits are nice. Uh, being able to just buy one stack of grenades instead of buying like five separate stacks. Alright, let's pick up some stuff. Four gold? Nice. Now, I'm going to need to actually find the goblin. The new melee rework seems so cool. I don't really know much about it. I'd like to see them when I, like, explore the weapons and stuff. Uh, but I saw there was some really cool-looking stuff. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, get out of here. I'm very interested to see how all these seeds interact and what they decided to keep where. But yeah, basically, the way that things are working now is to start out, we... Okay, let's let's consider we start with the Underworld Seed. Or the, the Upside Down World Seed. Which means we spawn in the Underworld. Uh, you have everything in the game. You don't have to watch this. You can just download the All Items World if you have a phone or PC. What? I mean, we're not watching me do this to, uh, to get the items for yourself. And besides, the adventure is the fun. Oh, not the destination. There's no fun in just hacking in uh, and giving yourself the item. Or beating the uh, the world with that. With, like, end game gear. Uh, I... I don't care that much about it, Mia. And that's also... Oh, yeah, I'll put something up about the seed. Hang on. The thing is, if I put something on screen that's going to, I feel like, make people more likely to mention things by, like, bringing it up as a topic... But I can put, uh, yeah, I might put it on screen. We're almost done with the goblins, though. Okay, a couple more. Goblins down. I think you're going to play a classic expert world to see how they change your main class. Okay. Is that melee? Okay. Uh, I need to eat. We have a pomegranate. Wiki doesn't seem to have been updated. It's been like one hour. I mean, it might take a minute to to get the changes. They need to figure out what the changes are and then figure out how to reflect those. Okay, we have 25 gold right now. It's a huge amount. Uh, for the worthy is incredible for money making. Okay, we are going to get to the surface. Like the surface is usually like here. Uh, yeah. Let me let me put this on screen. Hold on. Uh... 
I'll just put this on the bottom here. Oh, no, that was big. I don't want to make it that big. There we go. The world seed is get fixed, boy. Now, if you just want the... Uh, the upside down world and not all of the other stuff, the zenith stuff, uh, that's a different seed. Like what you're seeing now, a lot of this is the upside down world that's making this. Uh, I will say, I am very interested in doing this world in hardcore. Uh, now, obviously, I wouldn't do that until I'd beaten it once, at least, and I probably wouldn't do it on stream, because it would be probably pretty miserable to watch. It'd just be very slow, uh, very patient. Uh, oh, yeah, the seed is really cool. Uh, I was wondering, I knew they were doing some kind of, like, his zenith seed thing beforehand. Uh, let me drink this hunter potion, because that'll let me see the goblin. Let me get a worm for fishing. If the goblin shows up, we'll be able to find him. Oh, golden slime! That should be a ton of money. A for the worthy golden slime? That should be huge. My gold? Well, it, it's where I died, right? Tanky as hell, though. 1,200 HP. This is gonna be like 80 gold, right? Yeah. 74 gold. Hang on. <laughs> the, uh... I'm gonna put that away. Uh, and now we'll go ahead and, uh... And make our way up. I really want to see what's on the surface. And I feel like we might not get to the goblin until we get to, like, the... Are you serious? Another one? That's so much money! Let me get it in here. Yeah, lava, uh, lava does damage. I'm dead. Lava apparently does 181 damage. Uh, I did not realize that. It seems that lava is now affected by For the Worthy scaling. Or difficulty scaling, perhaps? Uh, didn't realize that one. Now I know that. Good to know. So, uh, rip money, but... Good to know. The on-fire debuff also uh, lasted for a longer period of time. Uh, meaning that lava is extraordinarily dangerous here. That golden slime's problem. I hope the golden slime's gone, honestly, because I don't want to have to spend the time to kill it. But I feel obliged to because it's like 80 gold. Yeah, I, I did realize that, Maya, Mia. Uh, that was my first thought, is they might have done it to nerf lava being used to farm things. Or it might be specifically... I don't know if it's a general thing or if it's specific to this seed. Um, but if it's a general thing, I imagine they did it to, to nerf lava farming. Hey, Rush. Okay, just get back to where we were. And not trigger any traps in the meantime. I'm gonna guess that the goblin's not gonna spawn until we get to, um, the, the cavern boat, like the boat with all the stone. Wait, was it this way? It was this way. It's a red slime. God, pot slimes are, t are so, uh, so dangerous. Because that's like the most basic 
thing that you try to do, right, is just break a, uh... Break a pot. With a pickaxe. Alright, let's keep an eye out for the goblin. Because I feel like this is the height he's going to spawn at. I drank a hunter potion, which I'm hoping is going to... Show him to me. Although it's a little tough to see him with all the green. Alright, another granite golem. Wait, was that something down there? Nah, whatever. Whatever it was, it couldn't have been important. Uh, I'm gonna get hit for a lot of damage, but we're fine. You know, I have glowing mushrooms. I, oh wait, no, I don't have a bottle. I couldn't upgrade my, um... I was gonna say I should upgrade my, uh... Healing potions to... Regular healing potions instead of lessers, but I can't actually do that because I don't have a bottle. Bat bat! Okay, no, bat bat still sucks. Thank you, Grox. I appreciate it. Alright, we gotta be real careful not to touch lava. Whoops. Maybe the goblin's even higher up. Alright, we're almost where we died. Gotta be real careful. I get this platinum. Probably go for like a platinum armor set, I feel like. Okay. That's what that is. Okay. I. <sighs> Okay. TNT barrels are a thing. I thought it was a, like, crimson barrel. Not a... I, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think it was a... I don't know why I thought I could quit it. Okay. Yeah. Good to know, there are barrels that, when you break them, they explode. Oh, it's a falling star knight. Uh, and... They apparently spawn high up? Or something? I thought it was a crimson thing, because I know they revamped some of the crimson stuff. Um, like, made, like, the, the crimson jungle and, and whatnot. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, the problem is I have to make some assumptions somewhere. The problem is, if I make the wrong assumption, I just die. But yeah, going forward, I do not trust anything that I see that is new. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it is. If it's there, I don't trust it. Thankfully, I already did all of the mining, so it's just a bit of a walk back. I'm really excited to get a pylon, though. Uh, I could just get a jungle pylon. Hang on, maybe I just do that. Maybe once we get to the bee pot, we make a house and we just get a jungle pylon. So we don't have to keep making this run back.
I mean, the no trap seed really does seem to just be a troll seed. Uh, just everything in it is there is like, oh, you thought you were safe? Nah, fuck you, it's actually a boulder. The Eye of Cthulhu just spawns boulders. Edo of Worlds, projectiles? Nah, just boulders. Oh, there's the go- oh, ah, uh, uh, I messed up the grapple, but we got the goblin. So, you don't have happiness, so I can just do this now. Okay. Spectre boots? Uh, no. Bad, bad. I didn't think he was... Goblin knocked him back into me, and Goblin's dead. Whatever, I got my boots. That's all I care about. Reforging is useless. No one cares about reforging. Alright, let's, uh... Oh god, we're in random Eye of Cthulhu spawn territory, too. Let me buy this pylon. We got boots. We're getting to the surface. As soon as we get to... As soon as we get to here, I'm gonna build a house, and it should count as the jungle, as long as we do it away from... The I'll have to get past the crimson. But it should count as the jungle. So I should be able to make a jungle pylon, presumably. Yeah, it does seem like... I do wonder if it's the seed or if they just got rid of happiness entirely. I wouldn't be surprised if they got rid of happiness entirely. Uh, what seed is this? This is the zenith seed. Can you read the bottom of the screen? I, I mean, I put it right there. Uh, this is the everything sucks and everything wants to kill you, uh, seed. Yeah, I shouldn't have made this a, uh... You thought you don't have to worry about reforging the celebration of 10 seed? I mean, you have to do some reforging. It's not as bad, but you still have to do some. What were the other two seeds? There's the no trap seed, and there's the, um... Oh, boat! Boat is food. Boat is food. Uh, no traps and the upside down. Don't dig up. I don't know what the seed you have to type into the world gen is. Um, but those are the, the names of the seeds. And they're both included in this seed. Look, I'm not inhaling it, Mia. I'm mainlining it, uh, right into my carotid. The confetti- I think the confetti is when you die. Right? What's the sick music? This is the Terraria Otherworld soundtrack. Because this is a drunk seed, uh, well, I spawned with a pouty girl, uh, and I talked to her to change the music. We're almost there. Back to where we really belong. Which is the jungle, I, I guess. We belong in the- do I want to be in the jungle? I, I just want to get to the surface, man. Oh. I can't touch lava. Lava is an insane amount of damage. Uh, I can't- I can't touch that. Let me get my money back from this slime up here. There's a bee lover. Okay, I think we need to just go. I don't think we can wait around. The longer I wait, the more things are going to fall on me from above. I think we just go. Oh, we're in B territory now. It's B time. 
It is B time. Oh, but this is this is the surface. It's gotta be, right? That's why the crimson is here. The geysers? Yeah, yeah, sure. Keeping an eye out. I don't trust this, I'm not touching the ground. Yeah, I'm glad I decided not to tank it when I was considering that. Is there? Did gravity change? It kind of feels like gravity changed. Just a little bit. Maybe it's just the Moon Lord legs and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we made it! We're here. Alright, let me find somewhere that's not the Crimson so I can build a pylon. I do not trust any... Oh, gravity has definitely changed. Yeah. I do not trust anything. There is going to be an exploding trap on the surface. I can already tell. Get me somewhere that's not a Crimson so I can build a pylon. Eat food. Please, someone that's not a crimson. I don't. <laughs> Please, someone that's not a crimson. Is there still fall damage? I don't know. Please, someone that's not a crimson. How big is this crimson? What? There's a beehive up here. for the entire surface to be crimson. If that happens, we build a rope. Oh no, no, it's corruption. Okay, hold on. We need to... No, don't be silly. It's not all crimson. It's corruption, too. God, I need to kill them. Okay. The devourer is gone. I swear to God, if that falling stone breaks the beehive, the bee lover. Is master mode unfairly hard, or is... Uh, this seed is unfairly hard. Master mode isn't unfair, isn't, like, super unfair. This is unfair, though. The background is pure black, too. Okay, I need to... Let me build a campfire. I'm really good at dodging. Doing a bunch of 1 HP will get you, uh... We'll, we'll do that. Left side is crimson, right side is all corruption. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. But if I go high enough up, it should stop counting as the crimson. So all I have to do, in theory, is build straight up. Okay, and we can block off these eaters. Alright, they can't get to me. There's a Chimera. We can just kill- Oh, there's two Chimeras. Uh, maybe we don't kill them. There's so many Chimeras. I'm dead. Not dead. Boy, there were so many. 
How much you want to bet falling stars can actually kill me now? I wouldn't put it past them. These spawn weights are insane. Yeah, I saw there were a couple new achievements. I unlocked one of them. It was just for playing a, a special seed. Why are they so fast? I don't know. Why are they so fast? Why are they so big? You see how big that Chimera is? Can't even seem to block them off because they're too big. Maybe I just killed this one. There's so many of them. You just keep coming. Is that actually one of the achievements? Hold on, we can look at the achievements. No, we can't. The achievements thing isn't even there. Okay, they're stuck. It is? That's annoying. I hate doing that. I know they made it easier with, like, the, the potion and whatnot, but... Okay, the big one's too big. I can't, uh... I have to kill it. I shouldn't use a hook. I could clip through a block with a hook. Just keep coming. Maybe he'll get stuck. Maybe we can just go. Fuck, Charlie. It doesn't send the message anymore. God damn it. I didn't realize that that still happened because normally it sends the message. Okay. I was wondering if Charlie was still there. Uh, they buffed the hell out of her damage. Uh, and then also... The problem is you can't... You can't shift-click to pull out a light source when you're on a rope. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, it has the little uh, animation thing. Uh, I, I shift-click to pull out a light source, but you can't do that. We're getting somewhere, though. We can get there. We can do this. We were most of the way there. It's just a little bit further. Once we get past where the crimson blocks are, it should count as a surface biome, assuming... Well, I shouldn't make this assumption, but... It should... Function the same way... If it functions the same way as it does in a regular world... Space counts as the forest biome, so I could buy a surface pylon. And then I could get back to the surface. And I wouldn't have to do this, this climb the whole time. That's what we're going for. That's what we're trying to do. This is still easier than like 1 HP hardcore. Yeah, it does kind of look like the middle or possibly the entire surface is Crimson and Corruption. I still have to be at build NPC houses with a spawn rate? Well, that's the thing. Enemies need blocks to spawn on top of. They can't spawn in the middle of nowhere. 
I should have bought a mining helmet. That would have given me light. They can't spawn in the middle of nowhere. So if you're high enough up that there are no blocks nearby, then NPCs can't spawn. Or enemies can't spawn. So what we need to do is we need to get up there. Oh, bouncy boulder. What's the seed? It's on screen. Get fixed, boy. Alright, let me eat my spicy pepper. Oh, a nymph! That is both a very large amount of money and a metal detector. Watch the nymph, like, go through blocks now. Yo, sit still. What are you doing? There we go. Yeah, what the seed does, it's the zenith seed, so it combines every other seed. And it doesn't seem to take everything from every seed, because not everything is compatible. But it takes some features of every seed. At least as far as I can tell. Ah, uh, did nymphs? Ah. Uh, remember what I said about spawn rates? God. Oh, and we're back at the Crimson, too? Oh, jeez. Alright. I didn't come here to sit back and do nothing. I came here to win. Oh, right. Bone skeletons. I'm not going to get cop stopped by a couple of skeletons. Baby slime? What's a baby slime going to do to me? Apparently hit me. Is that Tim? God, man, these black slimes. I can't... There's nothing I can really do about that, because I can't survive the slime. I was hoping Tim would teleport above me and not below me, but... Okay. Let's buy glow sticks. Barricade our doors. Buy a mining helmet. We have light now. Charlie won't be a problem. The Ashwood helmet does look nice, though. Who else do we have? You? What have you got? We got dynamite. We got bombs. Let's get some more grenades. You got money for me? Give me my money. Okay. Let's roll. I am getting to that surface. I don't care if it's a blood moon. I don't care how high the spawn rates are. I am getting there and I am building a house. And I am getting that forest pylon. There's a life crystal nearby? Don't care. I don't have time for life crystals. 
I got time for one thing, and that's the surface. Alright, see ya, Mia. Ah, there's the there's the exploding bunny. I was wondering when those were gonna show up. Ah, oh, you can't do that. Whatever. It was intentional. Panic knuckles triggering it. Speed buff. Remember, if I take damage, it's, in it's intentional. I died just to despawn all the skeletons you fought at, so it's... That was just an optimal play. It's not copium, you guys just don't understand the high level of skill that I'm playing at. Alright, it's just... You wouldn't understand. Uh... Spelunku Flare? That sounds cool. Restores 70 to 120 life. Side effects may include unpredictable healing, inconsistent potion sickness, brief periods of inexplicable invulnerability. Okay. What is this seed? It's on screen. Oh, I blocked this off. This is where I, this is where I died. Hang on. Ah, these slimes can go to hell. No time to wait. No time to rest. We go tank the hit. Pop the heal. Two minute po- oh god. I- I guess it is very inconsistent. Oh, come on. Get down here. I can't go up there while the mining guy's there. You need to go. You need to get out of the honey, man. Get out of the honey. I don't know why I didn't think there would be a trap there. Hit this. Uh, poison negates. Uh, uh, honey negates poison. Almost the surface. Let's go. We're getting there. More death. We don't care if it's in bloom. I got seeds already. Nothing matters except getting to the surface. That's all we're doing. If it's not the surface, I don't care. What is the zenith seed? Uh, it's Get Fixed Boy. It combines all the other seeds. Oh god, there's so many of them. The Chimera are a real problem. Potion's off cooldown, though. Should be able to... Uh... Okay, god, those face monsters are fast. But if he comes down here, he shouldn't be able to get back. So if we just get him to keep running... Come on. Come on, there we go. Almost there. Just a little bit further. We can fight our way through. make it. We can do this. This is why we have grenades. We do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh. Spider. It's fine. Do a loop-de-loop -loop and dig around. See it on the map. 
The surface is right there. We get to the surface, we go right over the lava. Get back to our rope, get back to our safe setup. I'm gonna eat some food. Drink a heal. Okay, seems like the healing cooldown is proportionate to how much you heal. Okay. These spiders can't get in here. Oh, my mud blocks. Let me just make some more flaming arrows. No reason not to. Come on. Okay. Blood crawler's down. Wait for him to come down. Go. Oh, uh, face monster. Got him. Safe. Get to the rope. Just get to the rope. Get to the safety rope. That's all we need. Safety rope. Ah, oh, I hit the lava. That's bad. Uh, Chimera has my money. Ah, uh, so it's still there. It's fine. Just keep grappling. Didn't hit the lava. We're good. Touch the ground here. Uh, I think I have the health to survive that. We just need to get here. No, let me. We're safe. Six health. Four damage per second. Safe. We made it. We're fine. And now we just heal the full. We get these Chimera down here. Box them up a bit. It's, uh, it's Celebration Mark 10 that makes them so big, right? Interesting. I seem to have gotten iframes from the strange brew when I drank it there. Alright. I'd really like to box these Chimera in. I would need a Builder Potion, though, I think. For the extra range. Well, I could potentially... If I were to do this... I wonder which is going to have higher priority. Um, for the Worthy or uh, Celebration Mark 10. Because Mark 10 makes them smaller, for the Worthy makes them bigger. A lot of the bosses. Hey, him. Come on. Let me just... I think I trapped the big ones, at least. You're fine, just killing the small ones. Okay, we have the mining helmet now. I'm not going... No, we're doing it here. I don't... Don't... I don't know nobody. Don't... <laughs> I don't know. But no spoilers. I need a door. That's 
the door. You're referring to the- I know, but that's not- <laughs> Don't tell me what's in the teasers. That's the no spoilers for 1.4.4 stuff. Don't say that. If I die to suffocation, I want to die to suffocation. I don't want to have somebody tell me that I'm going to die to suffocation. Okay, question is, what time of day is it? Uh, it's daytime now. So I think we just wait. Because they're not going to move in until nighttime. If I move the other NPCs, but we can get an arms dealer. Can I make a bed? I don't have the silk for a bed. What is he doing down there? Okay. Goblin is the next one that can show up. I need to get this pylon. I can't... Damn it! He walked in the lava! I should have bought a bed. I was hoping to have gotten here by the time the night was over. I have no idea what time of day it is. There's no way for me to tell what time of day it is. I could go explore the surface. I probably won't die. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let me move in. these two. I don't know, nobody. We're going across the surface. That'll be something to find out. I mean, fighting bosses in low gravity is, is gonna be tough. Let's see. Is it crimson all the way down? I don't know, nobody. We'll see. It depends on, um... Because remember, it's also not the bees. And it's... Like, I, I don't know if it's gonna be, uh... Damn it, I gotta rest. Need to find some... Oh! Oh! This is not... Snow! Snow! Shiverthorn! Dude, I don't even know if this... Ruffles, at this point, I don't even know if the... Uh, dungeon... I have no idea where it is in the... It could be down here, it could be up here, it could be over here, it could be over here, I have no idea. Snow biome, though. Snow biome is Shiverthorn. I see a lot of Shiverthorn. 
Shiverthorn is a danger sense potion once we get sand. It's still crimson, though. I need wood. Please don't be a bomb. Okay. Um, what? You can't do that. You can't do that. Still lava up here. Alright, let me get these shiver thorn seeds. Shiver thorn seeds are really important to get. More so than the actual shiver thorn itself. It just did? Well, I'm gonna arrest it. It's breaking the law. The law very clearly says that it can't do that. This... Nah, it... It's still crimson, so I can't make, uh, NPC houses, at least not until I get a dryad. Oh, wait. Oh, this might not be crimson anymore. Uh, it is still crimson. But maybe there's enough not crimson here that I can make a snow biome pylon? I think it's worth giving it a shot. up here. I'm hoping there's enough not crimson that this won't count as a crimson biome. Brick walls. Fine. Room is too small. No. Okay. Interestingly, I haven't had any more NPCs move in. As I see that. Oh, goblin! So this is valid housing. I think it does work, yeah. I think I'm going to try for warding accessories. This is nice and cheap. Let me get a speed buff on you. Okay. Let's keep exploring. There are oh, surface traps! Look at that. Temple? Okay. I wasn't expecting that one. There's a geyser. Painter? Okay, let's create that pylon. Underground dungeon? No, this is the temple.
I wonder if the template's gonna be like absolutely mega sized. Alright. We made it. You thought this was the new seed? Is <laughs> Is any part of what's going on right now? Everything looks not map? Is another blood normal? Oh yeah, yeah, I mean it didn't change very much. There's a couple of very minor changes. Uh you, you really you really have to go looking for it to be able to tell them. Oh, that would be annoying as hell. What why are you opening the door? There we go. Okay, let's keep exploring the surface. Hang on, why did Okay, they did move in. I can get that pylon over there after. Getting those pylons is a huge help. Oh wait, doesn't um doesn't celebration mark ten increase the odds of a uh, a blood moon? That's a thing, right? It fucking can. It can! I knew it! It's the worst nightmare come true. Oh, did they not drop, drop stars? I didn't even realize that one. Okay. So I think I can very safely say uh, that I am not going to be fighting uh, bosses on the surface. Because fuck dealing with that. Was that a granite biome down there? Kind of looked like it. Oh, desert! Yeah, it's... Uh... Alright, we need to make a pit stop here. We need sand badly. Where's my face cam? I don't have one. Oh, temple! Oh, sorry, not temple. Dungeon! That's one way to find the dungeon. Hang on. What is going on here? This looks weird. Oh no, pyramid! This is a pyramid! Uh, I don't know, uh, tier 8B. Okay, is this gonna be like the underground desert? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Sandstorm in a bottle is a huge find. That is phenomenal. Okay. Well, we got some sand. Let's keep going. This is the Don't Starve seed. So, cactus... Oh, Jesus Christ, that thing did 300 damage to me. What 
even is this? Is this a living tree? It is a living tree, but it doesn't have leaves. Looks like there's a way down, though. And I just have to heal. Oh, it is a dead tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I wonder... I mean, this has to be the, the upside-down world thing. That's doing this. Because the thing is... I, I don't think this seed on its own actually does anything. Like, I don't think the Xenon seed... To my knowledge... Does anything. I think it just combines all the other seeds. Right? And, like, that has its own implications, but I don't know that it has anything unique to it that's not in any of the other seeds. So, I have to imagine this is, like, the upside-down world thing. Uh, and maybe I'm wrong on that one. I don't, I don't know for sure, but... Oh, jeez, that's a lot of Chimera. These spawn rates are insane. Is it a dead man's chest? I don't see any explosives. I don't think it's a dead man's chest. I, I wouldn't put it past uh, the seed. I was fully ready for that to be a uh, wired up to an explosive. I see, it's painted red for the crimson. So maybe on the other side it'll be painted purple. It does look like the entire world is crimson though. Any surface chests? No? Alright, let's roll out. Is this the ocean? This has to be the ocean. It is, it's the ocean. Uh, I don't have a gills potion, but we can survive in the ocean. We just have to be a bit crafty. Oh, not with vicious goldfish, though. Hang on. Oh, give me the coal. fine. We're fine. One water chest. That's all we get. It's gonna be real tough to get this. Hang on. It is still a blood moon. Think this is close enough? It's a breathing weed. That's not great. Okay. Blood Moon's over. Let's get some coal. Uh, interesting. Falling stars are not specific to night. Anytime. They show up anytime. Unless the Blood Moon didn't end and I'm just... The visual change meant something else. But... Okay. Okay. So if the temple's on this side of the world, I feel like the dungeon's probably on the other side of the world?
Uh, I want a cooking pot. Where's my wood? Oh, I must have quick stacked my wood. There it is. Fate with that. Alright, well, I can cook this bird. That's a bit more food. Okay, but now we have the ability to craft potions. Because we got glass. Which means we can make bottles. And then... Uh, where's a good spot? Let me just put down a random platform. Okay, bottles acquired, potions acquired. Big find. Let me go get some water to fill these up. It's actually kind of difficult to find water anywhere. It's a lot of lava. Okay. Let me also... I'm gonna buy a mini shark. I like the mini shark. Mini shark, good. Sell you, sell you. Honestly, flare gun is really good right now. Uh, sell those extra magic mirror. Sell you. I should be able to craft healing potions now. Ooh, a traveling merchant. Yuma the Blue Tiger? Rain Bro? I don't know where any of this stuff is. I assume it's referencing something, but I have no idea. Okay, let's go find out what's going on on the left part of the world. Or sorry, the right part of the world. We'd already gone to the left, that's right. Let me try to get... Demonic? Sure, Demonic's great. I need more bullets, though. It's gonna buy a full stack of 9999. Okay. Right side of the world. Let's see it. I'm gonna keep shooting with the mini shark just so I can see what's in front of me because there's no illumination. That's the main reason I got it. Man, Brain of Cthulhu, I feel like. Well, the Brain of Cthulhu is an optional boss. Right, because if the Eater of Worlds is also in the game. But, having to fight the brain of Cthulhu in this low gravity, like the For the Worthy brain, that would be real tough. Well, I guess both of them are optional, but generally you would want to do one of them for access to Hellstone stuff. Yeah, falling stars are constantly falling. There's no time of day about it. And there are traps on the surface. Alright, Diane the zoolog zoologist. I'm gonna buy the cap or the surface pylon as I get over here. I don't know when else I would use a surface pylon. Damn it. Lava is so brutal. Okay. Oh, he doesn't sell the surface pylon. Okay. I guess I was wrong. It doesn't look like how I was expecting. Alright, you know what? Let's see what's up.
Because I can get back here easily. What happens if I reach the top of the world? Nothing happens. Okay. Oh. That happens. Okay, so if you touch the top of the world, you just instantly die. Good to know. So no touch in the top of the world. You still foe, Pantai? No, unfortunately not. Okay. Well, let's go back to exploring the uh, right side of the world. So, I haven't really found the jungle. I have to imagine the jungle is going to be on the right side of the world. Assuming there's anything resembling regular world gen, which I really shouldn't assume because the temple was over here, but I feel like if there was going to be a jungle... Actually, I don't even know because drunk worlds... Oh, I really need light on the surface so I can see what's going on here. I feel like there's going to be- there has to be something on the right side of the world. And I think the jungle makes the most sense. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up just fighting everything underground. I mean, I... I don't like the idea of having to deal with these stars and everything. And the low gravity. Unless I could just build a, like a sky bridge to block the stars, in which case, maybe. But building that sky bridge in the first place would be pretty annoying. Okay. Let's go. So it seemed like once we hit the halfway point of the world, or about the halfway point, it switched over to corruption on the right side of the world. Yeah, here. Now, corruption's probably going to be more annoying to run past, I feel like. Because eaters and devourers are a bit more annoying than... Homera. Okay, there's a desert. There's a devourer. That's a big eater! Oh, damn it. Damn it, I can't. This is the problem with the corruption. You can't pause. I can't stop to take a break because there's a devourer. That eater's gonna one shot me if it hits me. There's two devourers now. I gotta keep eyes ahead of me, make sure I'm not running into anything. And we just gotta keep moving. I don't think I actually... Yeah, I didn't. Damn it. I'm dead. I hit the ground, but it wasn't enough. There's nothing I can do about this. There's no pots to break for help. Yeah. God, it is really hard to cross the corruption here. Like, eaters that hit for almost 300 damage, and you can't take a break because devourers will hit you? And it takes, like, two grenades to kill a devourer. And there's, like, several of them at a time. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna drink a hunter potion for this one. Probably a regen, too. Alright, let's go give it a shot. I'm hoping that'll give me the, uh, the sight that I need to evade things. As long as I can see them coming. That's the main issue, is... God, just the tiny pieces of lava. Uh. 
I drank a regen potion, so... Feels like the enemy spawns are buffed. Spawn rates are definitely buffed. They are extremely high. Getting past the Crimson is so easy in comparison to the Corruption. Just the lack of Devourers is such a big difference, because they really make it hard to get over there. Hunter Potion is making a big difference. I'm hoping it'll be what I need. Interestingly, I have not seen a single surface chest anywhere. You just can't stop moving. If you stop moving, uh, your dude's dead. I think Devourers are a lot bigger, too. Damn it. I was paying attention to the Devourer, not the Eaters. The big ones are the ones you really can't get hit by. Yeah, last time I had, I had glanced the surface, but it didn't actually reset my uh, double jumps because I didn't hit it for long enough or at the right angle. Uh, and that caused me to get killed. Okay, it's about to be nighttime. I really hope it's not another Blood Moon. This is where I died last time. This must be the underground desert, I feel like. I feel like that's what this is. You know, the cactus is actually pretty good for triggering a panic necklace. Because it deals very little damage. Ah, there's the dungeon. No, it's another pyramid. With another another sandstorm? I saw it, it was just too late. Yeah, this is the underground desert. Do I dare to explore it? I don't think I do. I would like some antlion mandibles, though. And you know, a fossil pickaxe would actually be really awesome. What the hell is that? Oh, don't tell me. I don't... What is that? Pile of sand. I'm blowing it up. I don't... I don't know what it is. I don't trust it. How long did it take to generate the world? It took a while. It was not fast. Oh god, there's beehives down there. Two hours? Not that long. I would try just like Alt f 4 and trying to restart generation. I don't know if the eye's going to spawn up here. I don't know what's going to go on with that. I'm not like super equipped to fight the eye. I'd like to just keep exploring. Yeah, mine took maybe like five minutes. Uh, sometimes world gen gets stuck on hiccups, and you just have to close the game and reopen it, and try again. 
Uh, the eye doesn't seem to be spawning. I would have expected it to spawn by now. Okay, it looks like... Oh, no, there it is. Alright, I guess we're doing this. For the worthy health. This is the dungeon. This has to be the dungeon. Because this is the living tree, um... Oh, it has, uh, numbers down there. Come on. Nice. Oh, it reflects bullets when it's changing phases. Good to know. Monsters, kill the eye, not me. Uh, what's it doing? It's spinning again? Spinny boy? Alright, we're down to spinny boy. Okay. That's a lot of eyes. Spinny boy again. Okay. Seems he alternates being a spinny boy. No, maybe not alternating. I right, spinny boy down. So many eyes. Well, arenas are for losers, anyways. Yeah, this has to be... This is the drunk... Uh, the living trees. Because this is how they uh, they generate. Is there's the big living tree forest before you get to the dungeon. Any new items? Uh, no, not yet. We can't be down here. Devourers, man. Devourers. We gotta go. What is this seed? This is the, uh, the Zenith seed. Uh, Get Fixed Boy is what you put into the, uh, the seed name. Hang on, did I pass the dungeon? Because if this is a drunk seed... It doesn't look like I passed it. Shine potion. <laughs> I see what's going on there. There's one red potion for drunk and one red potion for for the worthy. I should keep those. Okay, I gotta dodge these falling stars. I was really concerned about them hitting me during the uh, Eye of Cthulhu fight. They did hit the Eye of Cthulhu though, which was a big help. Wait, this is the beach. Maybe the dungeon isn't- I can use red potions, yeah. Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh god, underwater devourers. I should not have come here. This was a mistake. So dead. I'm so dead. Chest, though. Yeah, that's uh, that's for the worthy. That's for the worthy's contribution. All 
Yeah, maybe I'm not dead. Maybe I'm not dead. This is like an actual proper mushroom biome, it looks like. I have no idea where the dungeon is, because it didn't look like I passed it. Maybe it's under underground. Maybe I find it in the underworld. At this point, it seems possible. Let me... I don't want to flood this whole place. Let me just blow up some of this. Oh, nice. That's the uh, last life crystal I need. I don't want to touch the ground because traps. Oh, there's some jungle over here, I think. I think that's jungle grass. Hmm. There's another life crystal over there. Yeah, the slimes with the stars. Those are to get the falling stars because you can't get them on the surface. I want to go back to the underground desert and get enough of a fossil pickaxe. I could potentially make a mushroom pylon here, though. Which I think is the right play. Yeah, pot stars, also pot slimes. That's an exploding trap. Oh, a buggy, though. No, I, I need to... No. That was a TNT barrel! Okay. These won't spawn, because... for a mushroom pylon. I don't know if there's too much corruption nearby, but I'm hoping there isn't. You're just wondering where to get a furnace? There's stone. Dig up, you get some stone. The upside down gravity seed has priority over not the bees. Eh, it is corrupted. Damn it. If I came back here with sunflowers, I could probably pull that off, but. Oh well. I want to go back and get enough fossil for a fossil pick. I want to do that. Me alone. All right. Hopefully, I can get back there. And I want to check these living trees to see if any of them are the dungeon tree, because I can't look for like brown leaves, which is what you normally do. I thought that was a clinger. The hard mode coast flames, guys. Rip Hellstone? I have no idea where Hellstone might be. There might be a mini biome somewhere in the world, or even just like the regular underworld enemies. Hello, Mr. Devourer. I'm totally fucked here. Devourer dead. Yeah, 
I don't know, one of these might be a dungeon, but it also could be underground that the dungeon is. This generation is what you would expect to find the dungeon in, in a drunk world. Underground deserts over here. Oh, floating island! Stow Fury? Oh, please give me a stow. It's a lake. Damn it. Would have loved a stow Fury, though. A bit further this way. God, they are fast. Kill them. Yeah, I don't mind the cactus hurting me, because, uh... That triggers the panic necklace. Alright, I'm gonna try to get in a fossil. Oh, I am running out of food, though. Just try to get in a fossil for a fossil pick, because fossil pick is really strong. What is this? Maybe that's just a regular terrain feature, but it just looks weird, because the thing's corrupted. I think you do, it's coming. I think they reduced the defense on giant antlion chargers. I remember them having more defense than that. Yeah, I was thinking there was something to the left and right of the underworld. Because we kind of got to that lava lake. You know, once we get over to the brimstone crags and we fight brimstone elemental, that's when the, the underworld really begins. Okay. Uh, let me ditch the aviators. God, B desert? desert. I think that is just a regular background object that just looks weird. Oh, but this is the actual desert. This isn't corrupted. Get a teleportation potion to take you right back where you started. I love when they do that. 50 blocks to the right of Underworld spawn. Yeah! That's the... That's the teleportation potion, I know. Okay, well, this isn't corrupted. So I could potentially get a desert pylon. But it's very difficult to build houses down here in the underground desert because the background walls. You need to do it at the edge because you can't destroy them in the middle. I'm excited at the prospect of making progress. Maybe I try to get to the edge of the underground desert. Oh, Water Walking Potion is a big find. That's a huge help for getting over lava. Alright, finally there's some fossil. 
I want a fossil pick, because the fossil... Damn it. Surprised that didn't kill me. Uh, the fossil pick is a very uh, good pick for the Wither. It's like a slightly slower bone pick. Let me get all the sand, too. Is it the golfer? Oh, chest! Um, I made a large world. I would not recommend a large world. I would recommend you make your world smaller. Because this is very big. Uh, honestly, a bit too big. Conch! Conch! Conch. Silver. Uh. Uh, underground cabin. Here, worm. Okay, snake charmer's flute kind of sucks. God damn it, it was a life crystal boulder. I was gonna say, I knew it, I was gonna think about it. Because the last time I broke a life crystal, I was like, damn, I've been lucky that that wasn't a boulder, because the boulder's going to kill me. Okay. I have Cthulhu down. Let's go find out what's going on in the rest of the underworld. I think that's next. Let's get a cat. Sell, sell. I want to extractinate this fossil. That gives me 12 desert fossils. A lot of amber. That's nice. Ah, uh, this is not going to get me 12 desert fossils. Oh, well, maybe. I gotta get real lucky with these last couple. Uh, come on. Come on! I was one short. Unless they change the recipe to require less. Yeah, no, I'm still one short. Okay. That's unfortunate. Get some more chests down. I'll just put blocks in this chest. Sand. Sandstone. Mud. Uh, seeds. Let me get all of these organized into here. Gold. Copper. Lead. Iron. Tin. Let me get potions in here. 
haven't gone too far across the lava lake. I'm going to be heading there shortly, so I'm excited to see what's there. I haven't gotten any blink boot, interestingly. I think I need to do fishing for bass before I go. Before I go, uh, I'm going to go do some bass fishing. Get stuck on generating structures for two hours. Your first Hope Crystal Boulder had a bomb dropping on it. You didn't know about him, so you're just looking for, hope, for the Hope Crystal for five minutes. Doesn't it still drop the crystal, though? Or do you mean it? I thought I still got the Life Crystal from it when it broke. Okay. Uh, let's make a fishing lake. You didn't get one? Oh. Maybe it rolled off somewhere. Or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. And I didn't actually get the life crystal from it. Yeah, I mean, I'm also... <laughs> I'm by no means an expert at this. I've, I've only been playing this for a couple hours, and it's mostly just what I've seen, so I could... I'm equally as likely to be wrong, I feel like. Ooh, kelp. Okay. Let's get some bass. Oh, right! They have the cursor for... Right. It shows you what bait you have hooked. Not cavefish, bass. There we go. Bass, 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 bass. Bass, bass, bass. Bass, 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 bass. I would call Master Fix Boy when? I mean, I'm planning on doing that, just probably not on stream, because the amount of focus that I need to give it isn't something I think I can really devote to on stream. Cavefish? Oh, nice. But I need Blink Root to take advantage of them. Where did I get that seed bag from? Because it wasn't a surface chest. It means they spawn in a different chest loot in this. I still haven't really found a jungle. You went for the marshmallow route? Hmm. Yeah, I could uh, move from up there and buy those, but... I mean, I'm already fishing, so... And I'm not going to complain about getting some cave fish. I found bits of jungle, but I haven't really found large amounts of jungle. Which is interesting. Okay, I'm content with that. We got the bass. Keep you guys in here. Let me just clear out some inventory space. Uh, I'm gonna sell the Undertaker. I want to see where the conch takes me. Because is that gonna take me to the underworld ocean or the surface ocean? I want to find that out. I feel like it could go either way. So I'm gonna be checking that in just a sec. Surface ocean. Okay. Good to know. Let's go find what's down. I want to drink that water walking potion. I think this is a good time to drink it. Let's go find what's going on down here. So are these ash trees, are these unique to this seed? Or did they add those into the base game as well? Does anyone know? Because these are really cool. Which biome has spawned the most enemies so far? Definitely the Crimson Corruption.
I don't think any of the other ones were even close. Like, surface crimson and corruption, especially during the blood moon, non-stop stream of enemies. What is this? Oh, it's ash, okay. Ah, okay, there were the, there's the voodoo demon. And there's the hellstone. Alright, what else have we got going on? Shadow chests. Is that a... Nah, it's crispy honey. No Hellforge? I have not seen a Hellforge yet. Oh, now when now nah, now we got now we have famously uh you know always in the underworld Queen Bee's Lover. Potion of Return's a big find, and so is Obsidian Skin. I'm kind of interested if the game's gonna, like, force me to fight an enraged Queen Bee. Because I haven't found a jungle. I mean, it I need to be careful about these pots. Oh, Blink Root. That's a good find. What is this? Hold on. Is that a hive? That's got crispy honeyed? Ah, there's the snow biome underground snow. And I see some jungle. Maybe there's jungle over there. Maybe we can fight Queen Bee there. It's a crispy hive. I don't expect anything from this seed anymore. Everything is just pure chaos. If you bring expectations, uh, you're just going to die. Okay. I'm gonna take a guess. I could be completely wrong on this, but this is just how I feel about things right now. Wait, what? Did I just hit a pressure plate? I did, but nothing happened. Uh, I have no idea, DOAV. I don't really use either. Lava bats drop lava? Okay. I guess they need to make up for lava slimes not doing it. Interesting, there's crimson down here. Goes all the way down to the uh, bottom of the world. Uh, tiny amounts of lava typically do disappear. That's not a voodoo demon, what? You can't exist here. You're not allowed to exist.
Interesting. So not every demon is a voodoo demon. There did seem to be a lot of voodoo demons. Yeah, there's so many of these. And that's the edge of the world. Okay, well, I think a wall of flesh arena will be pretty easy to make on the bright side. Let's go home and check the other side. What I'm thinking right now is I'm thinking that the dungeon is going to be on the right side of the world in the underworld. I think that's for bestiary completion. Potentially, yeah. I'm thinking the dungeon is going to be on the right side of the world and it's going to be upside down. Because I didn't find it on the surface. And since this is a drunk world, the snow biome and the dungeon would be opposed to each other. Right? They're on opposite sides of the world in a drunk seed. So it would make sense to me if the dungeon were on this side of the world because the snow biome was on the other side of the world. But it started from the bottom instead of the top. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the case. But that's how I feel. That's what the game's making me suspect right now. Unless it's just completely underground. Which means you'd have to find it. Which could be pretty tricky. Also, yeah. I think the Obsidian Skull was 100% a worthwhile investment. That was so helpful. Uh, okay. I thought that was a spider cave. But no, it was just... uh. It also seems like the game is perpetually night. You know what the gas trap is? I didn't even know that the gas trap existed. Again, spoilers. Now I know that the gas trap exists. Now I'm gonna be looking out for a gas trap. It's not gonna it's not gonna surprise me. So many bees! Oh fuck. Okay, good. That pot almost dropped a bomb on that beehive. You randomly found it? Well, now that I- now I know it exists, and now it's- I'm not gonna randomly find it. Maybe Voodoo Demon and Regular Demon spawns are invoted or something? There's still pressure plates, but the pressure plates aren't doing anything, interestingly. At least, not down here in the underworld. There's a bone serpent. That's a big boy! Oh jeez, it has 1800 health, too. They just, they just turned Terraria into Calamity Mod. That's all that's happening here. I can see how much they love worm bosses and worm enemies. This is just Calamity Mod. What? Ah, there's the corruption. Okay. That have spawned at the left wall. That happens sometimes. Now the interesting thing, I wonder if they patched this, because there used to be a bug with Queen Bee in For the Worthy mode, where uh, she just despawned in For the Worthy. Because, uh, she got too enraged and her speed hit, like, some overflow value. 
and she would just blink out of existence. So I wonder if they did something to fix that here. Because otherwise, all these beehives, like, you wouldn't be able to, to fight Queen Bee. She would just leave. I'm not seeing the dungeon anywhere. Huh. Maybe it is beneath one of these trees. I should go check those again. Okay, so right now... I think once I finish exploring everything, my plan is just going to be to get some armor and then start killing bosses. But for right now, I still want to do some exploration. I want to find the dungeon. Let me do some reforging. That's a decent amount. Not great amount of defense, but it's decent. Okay. Let's try... Uh, you know what I should do? I should go get those potions of return that I just got. Potion of return. And I'll also... In case I can't find the dungeon, I will go to the underground desert and try to explore there. And... I will go ahead make danger sense potions ah interesting they changed the recipe for wormhole potions to make them cheaper and i'll make mining potions too i think i'll make one which is all i can afford okay let's go find the dungeon i'm thinking if it's like a drunk world it's gonna be underneath one of these trees I just have no idea which one it's going to be. And I do think it's going to be like a drunk world. If not, then it's just buried underground somewhere, and we have to dig to find it, which is going to be pretty tough, I feel like. I need to remember that stars will kill me. I'll eat some food. Yeah, I really should have made this a medium world. I don't know why I made it a large. I, I just defaulted to it without thinking about it for some reason. Okay. Off to find these living trees. Some resume? What? Can someone resume all the stuff in this seed? Uh, what do you mean? Like if I leave and 
reopen the game or something? Like, it saves like a normal world. It's not like I have to do it all in one sitting or anything. Problem is, I can't afford to take a break. I need to get to those living trees. Because that's my safety from devourers, is getting up high there. How many new things have the new seed? Changes in bosses. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't really know very much about the new seed other than what I've experienced. It's not too much further now. I like. I I went into this blind. Oh, there's the first devourer. Uh, I saw a chest detected nearby. That could potentially be like a surface chest. Yeah, I, uh, I, I don't really know uh, what the extent of the changes are, how many of them are in this seed, and how many of them are outside of it. I don't know. I gotta light this place up really well. I'm hoping one of these is gonna be the dungeon. I don't know where else it'll be if not here. I thought that was it for a sec, but no. I saw the altar and I thought it was like a water candle. So far, uh, I've only fought one boss, which is the Eye of Cthulhu, who was pretty different. He had a, in his second phase, he had a spinny attack where he went invulnerable and reflected projectiles and spawned a bunch of uh, servants of Cthulhu. So far, that's been the only change that I've seen, because that's been the only boss that I've fought, right? Uh, but I expect some uh, good amount of changes to the bosses. If the Eye of Cthulhu is any indication. Oh. For the Worthy really just plays seamlessly with the No Trap Seed. You hope somebody playtested this and the dungeon isn't just in the middle of nowhere underground? Yeah, I do hope that. Uh, because that would be really annoying. Uh, having to go dig and find that. Although, then again, the whole seed is just a big troll. Uh, so I wouldn't be terribly surprised. That had... So there are floating islands. That had underground loot, not surface loot. Where the hell is surface loot? Could it be the devs didn't actually intend for me to come to the surface? No, they definitely intend for you to come to the surface. I mean, there's pyramids, there's the jungle temple. Like, they expect you to be up here. Maybe not so soon, but like, like not now. But the thing is, you don't go to the dungeon at the very beginning of the game. Like you go there when you fight Skeletron. And you don't fight Skeletron at the very beginning of the game. Like, it's pretty reasonable to go to the underworld before you fight Skeletron. And if we consider the top of the world to be the equivalent of the underworld, Like, especially in For the Worthy, like, I typically get a Molten Fury and Molten Armor before I fight Skeletron.
Okay, I heard him coming. I just wasn't sure where he was coming from. Put geysers everywhere. I don't like these living trees. It's really hard to dodge anything. God, celebration. With the increased blood moon rates. I have no idea, Inanity. All that I know is that it happens in this seat. The new tree is really cool, not ash wood. I don't know what you mean. Oh, you mean like the, the, the blue tree? It was really cool, yeah. Blood moon now, though. This is not where I want to be in a blood moon. Seems to be struggling to open that door. Oh, wait, is it? Ah, Queen Bee Lover. Uh, there's a dart trap. If I had hit that dart trap, it would have destroyed the lover. Yeah, the dungeon is here. Come on, man. Looks like I got away from it. Looks like it's off to the right. Looks like it's this one. Leads to the dungeon. The eater is so big that its sprite almost passes through three whole blocks of wood. That is how big these eaters are. Oh. That's a ton of money. Hang on. I don't want to let this golden slime go, because that's almost 80 gold. Got two devourers, though. Okay, got him. Let's get the golden slime, please. Give me that money. We have to be able to go into the dungeon. Right? A platinum 24 gold? Is that an exploding trap? I don't even know what that was supposed to be hooked up to. Like, we have to be able... Oh, is it dark in here? It is dark in there. Okay. Okay. Oh god, Skeletron is going to be really hard to fight. Because I can't... I bring him to the surface? I'm not fighting him now, obviously, but... Let's... I can farm some bones. I can get necro armor. Oh wait, are they not dropping bones? 
Do they not drop bones until after you kill Skeletron now? Does this scene have for the worthy difficulty? Yes. They're not dropping anything. Not only are they not dropping bones, they're not dropping money. Have to imagine they're not dropping keys either. Okay, I guess they didn't like the fact that you could uh, get stuff free Skeletron. Yeah, surface Skeletron with 50x spawn rate. I'm gonna kill the Bueno Eater first, though. Okay. What the hell is that? Someone Spiffo the Raccoon? Where did I get this? I want to go back to the underground desert. I want to get some, um, some fossils. Okay, we're going to have to put a lot of work into getting a Venus ready, I feel like. Maybe I fight the brain in, like, the underworld? Because there was the crimson in the side of the underworld. Or maybe I just put a bunch of crimson... Maybe I just blow up a bunch of... obsidian skin potion anymore. Maybe I just blow up a bunch of crimson blocks and make a spot in the underworld to fight him. Got so many devourers. Am I dead? Uh, I'm not dead. Do I pop my last potion of return? I think I do. Project Zomboid reference? I had no idea. Alright, well, I'm gonna sell it regardless. Uh, she doesn't drop it in normal Celebration Mark 10, I don't think, so I don't think she would spawn it, drop it here. Okay. Rates are insane. The blood moon on top of this is just uh, total overkill. I want to get out of the Crimson, or the Corrupt Coat. I want to get to the regular Underground Desert. Did I find an Enchanted Sword? I have not found an Enchanted Sword. I have the Classy Cane, which I got from the Tax Collector when the Tax Collector died. These spawn rates are insane. I'm gonna need to use lava to shut down spawns, I feel like. In arenas? Because I can't deal with... Do you spawn in the underworld for this seed? Yes, you do. Oh, there's the golfer. Might as well save him. Just get out of the corrupt power. Do I know a 1.4.4 seed for enchanted sword? I do not. I mean, the update just came out. I don't know, um... I don't know any seeds.
bass statue would be nice. A chisel would be nice. My dune riders are fine. chest over there. Oh, statues are highlighted with Spelunko potions now. That makes statue hunting way easier. Another snake charmer's flute. I've seen that triangle structure of boulders. That's the second time I've seen that now. I wonder if that's a specific thing. I kind of assumed it was just a, uh, a couple of boulders spawning near each other, but it looks like it's an actual, like, intentionally generated structure. Okay, chisel. Chisel is fantastic. I'll make this swap for now. Alright, once we get chisel, bone pickaxe, and all that mining stuff. So not bone pickaxe, fossil pickaxe. I can't think on a bone pickaxe. Uh, we'll be shredding through stuff. What is this pressure plate? Okay, it's a dart trap. Ooh, right, bass statues generate in, uh... I remember hearing about that. Okay, there's the bass statue. I think Dune Rider boots are pretty much the only other thing that I had even mentioned as wanting. No, please don't do that. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to get those Dune Riders. Oh, ah, crispy honey. Damn. I thought it was the edge of the thing. Drink this last Belanker. I think Dune Riders could potentially be very handy, depending on what we need to do to fight these bosses. But I think having it uh, as a backup plan is a good idea. I have enough pick uh, fossil now for the um, fossil pick. There's something special about this? He's going to explode or something? No, they look like just regular boulders. Okay. I'm not sure I'll be able to beat the whole game on stream today. Uh, like I had said, my caveat when I had mentioned that I would like to do the whole thing in one stream uh, before I knew it was uh, that unless it was very difficult, I could probably get it done in one stream. Uh, now, the thing is, this is very difficult. Uh, so I'm not 
Uh, I don't think I'd be able to do this in one stream. Uh, but I think we can get probably out of free hug mode today. I think that's a reasonable, uh, reasonable goal to set. Another chest. Is it up or down is the question. I can probably get it with a cactus. I think it was down. There we go. All right, well, I'm I'm pretty content with how the trip to the desert went. I'm glad I found the dungeon. I think I'm going to go for the Blaine of Cthulhu next. I think that's my next target. Who is not going to be easy by any means. Okay, and we got Dune Riders. That was the last thing I uh, mentioned potentially wanting. Yeah, let's go back. No his fault anyway. Okay. Brain of Cthulhu. How do we do this? I think I get the vicious mushrooms, and I make a spawn item, and I make an arena down here, in the ground, and I summon and fight him here. You know what's desperate when you're mining for stone? Is that what you got uh, had to resort to? For like arrows? It was tough at first. I didn't have the stuff for it. Like I made a bow, but then I was like, wait, shit, I can't get arrows. 604 Hellfire arrows. Um, I have heard some people say that they got stuck on generating structures. Um, try a smaller world size. Uh, if you're trying to generate a large, that seemed to work for the last person. And if not, just close the game and reopen it and try again. Okay. Let's get that fossil pickaxe. It's me Yeah, I would just reset the world and try again. The last person was trying a large world and... Changing it to a medium and restarting the game seemed to help. Uh, I think. Legendary? I would really like light, is the thing. It really wants to give me legendary, but I would really like light. Because this is probably my pickaxe for the rest of free hug mode. And we got a lot of mining we have to do. Okay, fine. I'll just take legend- whatever. Stop giving it to me. Okay. I'm also going to go ahead and make an axe upgrade. I'm thinking a silver axe. Silver axe is a strong option. Okay. I'm going to turn this area here into an arena. The main things I think are going to be tricky. I think the mech bosses could be pretty damn tough. Based on how the world seems right now. Because having to do that on the surface... Um, seems tricky. Okay. Got the chisel equipped. That's, that's not very fast at all. Hang on. I don't have blink root, so I can't make a mining potion. Well, whatever. Let me plant blink root. I got clay. I can make clay pots. 
And I have blink root seeds. Let me get some oobs going. I think blink root. Blink root and shiver thorn for now. The shiver thorns danger sense potions. Okay, and then shiver thorn. There we go. Alright, back to mining. Make this a proper arena. I'll go this height. This seems fine. I'll have to go up a little bit, but I think I can afford that. Right, this is for the worthy, so. Ash Falls. I think I'm gonna plan Brain. Get Hellstone. Maybe I don't take it that high. That's actually kind of high up. Maybe I just keep it low here. There's not really much reason to go that high if I don't have to. I thought it was going to go back up. But apparently not. Yeah, I will make this the arena. Right here. This is where it starts. I'll need to put crimson blocks nearby so that uh, I can actually fight the brain. Well, if I don't kill the brain, uh, I can just... Uh, get Hellstone stuff and then try again. But I'm going to be going probably with a demon bow. Jester's arrows or Hellfire arrows. Maybe Hellfire, because I have Hellfire. It worked? Nice! Welcome to hell. Literally, you, you, you spawn at hell. So the other thing is, oh man, for the worthy Skeletron Prime too, he's gonna be destroying blocks and shit. All right, we got a lot of work ahead of us. So let me ask this: those of you that have played more than just this seed in the update. Did they remove happiness as a mechanic entirely, or is it specific to one of these seeds that happiness is removed? I'm fine with happiness as a mechanic being removed. I'm just curious. This is a decent arena. Let me dig up here a bit.
think I'll make up to here. This seems good. Trying to break those ones. It's just smoke coaster going crazy. Okay, a little bit more over here. Let me just blow this up. I trying to deal with this. This ash is a real pain. What's the difference with this seed? This seed is every seed combined. Can corruption spread on ash grass? I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. I assume not. But I'll probably find out. It is very cool. Uh, it's also extremely difficult. Hang on, I got a text message. Give me one sec. Hang on, someone just got me some KFC. I'm gonna be back in a minute.
Well, that, is, that is an interesting point, Inanity. I don't know. I feel like it's more like mushroom grass. Than, uh... Regular grass. In the sense that mushroom grass is uncorruptible. But I don't know. I got some KFC, though. This is probably fine. I feel like. I'm gonna make some ash wood platforms. I don't have too much vertical space, but that should be fine. I think it's something like this. So a bit uh, incorrectly though. There we go. I need to go get some crimp. Uh, probably just uh, crim stone. Put it down here so it can count as a crimson biome. Unless they've changed anything, it should be 300 blocks to be crimson. Before we get 300 crim stone. Hey, Becky. All right, with any luck, this will work. It's gonna be tough, though. I mean, the regular for the worthy brain is no cakewalk, and this is probably gonna be even more difficult than that. I have to, if it's anything like the Eye of Cthulhu, it might have new AI and new changes. So we'll see. Let me get my uh, bass statues down. Campfires, stuff like that. I do really like the way the mushroom biomes look. Those are gorgeous. Okay. Uh... Do I have mushrooms? Yeah, I have seven vicious mushrooms, which is enough. It means all we need is the vertebra. Which we have none of, so we'll have to go get some of that. Okay. Um... Stone and vertebra. That's what we're here for. You know, I could explore the temple a little more. Kind of want to hoik into it, but at the same time, I kind of don't. Fifteen vertebra. That's what we need. Oh, 
God, what seed is making the face crawlers so fast? That's what I want to know. Because they are just zooming. I'm oh, sorry, the, the face monsters. I guess it face crawlers. Getting that pylon up was such a, uh, a big moment. Just being able to get back here easily without having to, uh... Climb all the way back up. That was a huge improvement. I definitely think getting a, getting pylons up as soon as possible is a really good option. If you're doing this on a bigger size world. The problem is it's tough to get the pylons up. Because the whole place is corrupted. So many face monsters. Hang on. I'll just blow them up with some dynamite. I feel like there should be a bunch of vertebra once these guys die. Between this and the other uh, trunk that I, so oh, many spiders! God damn! I'm gonna take that hit. And there's another one coming. How much vertebra are we at? I think we're most of the way there. Fourteen. We're one vertebra off. I need a lot more stone. What is the Zenith Seed? Do you spawn with everything to get Zenith? No, 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 no. No. Imagine a Zenith, but instead of using swords, you use every other seed in the game. So it's a combination of every other seed in the game. Which means this is for the worthy. This is not the bees. This is Celebration Mark 10. This is Drunk. This is the Upside Down World. Uh, this is... The no traps thing with the traps everywhere. This is the constant. You can see I have the food up there. This is every other seed combined. There's that photo. Yeah, it is cool. It's also incredibly difficult. How much are we at? 178? We need a bit more. Damn it, I was afraid it was going to be the Life Crystal Boulder. These face monsters are just relentless. Alright. We're at 178, we need 300.
how am I going to get water and stuff if it's not the beast? The thing is, it's not any one seed specifically. Like, there are features of not the bees that are present, but the whole world is not not the bees. It takes aspects of each seed, but it doesn't try to force each seed to happen at the same time, because that just wouldn't work. Like, we've got the crispy honey here. We've got queen bee lova everywhere. Uh... There are pockets of the world. There are hive based. But the whole thing isn't like the not the bees. Alright, let's get down three hundred crimstone. Let's put it up here. The idea right now is I want to fight the Blaine of Cthulhu. Uh, oh, right, I can't break Brimstone, because I only have a fossil pick. But, like, I don't want to fight him in the Crimson. Uh, so I want to bring the Crimson to me. They spawn in the Underworld, uh, because of the Upside Down Seed. Uh, and then everything has for the Worthy Scaling. Uh, that's the biggest For the Worthy change, I felt like. A lot of the For the Worthy stuff is missing. But the scaling isn't. This must be hard? Yes, this is extremely difficult. So far, we've, um... In a couple of hours I've been doing this. Um... Made it to the surface. Built houses and stuff. Uh... We killed the Eye of Cthulhu. We just kind of randomly spawned. We found the dungeon. We found all the different biomes. Yeah, I saw there were new achievements. I got a new achievement. One of them was just for playing a seed with... Uh, I think it was for playing a special seed. As soon as I booted up the world, I got the achievement. I'd like to see that traveling merchant. A life form ammo, so it wouldn't be bad. I guess I'll find out if uh, this thing is, this grass is corruptible, because it's going to get corrupted if it is. Alright, I started with 15, so this should be the crimson. I put down, uh, I had 315. I've put down 305, I guess I'll get in the last 10 just in case. Does hell have grass now? Yes, ash grass. At least it does in this seed. I, I assume it's in the base game as well, but... Oh, there's an achievement for Deerclops. I had no idea. Alright, let's... Get some health lanterns. How much platinum do I have? 37. I need 75. Full armor set. I don't know what you're talking about, uh, Mario Bros. Also, I don't want to know what you're talking about. No spoilers. I get this on wheel. Uh, 
Oddly, I'd like Unreal. There we go. Okay, 15 vertebra. 30 vicious powder. Let's go make a bloody spine. You went to that world and you wanted to go back. Oh yeah, I mean all the NPCs that spawned in died at the end of the first day. The party girl, the town slime, whatever. That was just because the day ended. Um, it's because the party ended, I imagine. So when you left, that also ends the party when you join back in. They die. But they would have died regardless. Alright, what's my plan for the point? Jester zeros, hellfire arrows? And a mini shark. I mean, 4,000 bullets got to be enough for the point. Might as well craft a uh, slightly better helmet. That's one defense. It's fine. Now that I look at it. It's quite king slime, too. Okay, I think. Summon Dwayne, kill creepers. Let me get potion buffs. Uh, regen, iron skin, archery. Hope they add crossplay. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, none of that stuff has grown yet, unfortunately. The stuff I planted in the pots. I think we roll up with this. Oh, but the, the health entrance, that's right. And just see what happens. I mean, worst case, we just die, right? It's not like this is hardcore or anything. Alright, where is he? There he is. This is for the worthy, all right. Damn it. Bad brain. Hella fucking asshole. Problem is, brain just teleports on top of you or in front of where you're running, and then you're just really in a tough position. Right, I left the Crimson briefly, so we had gone. God, stop doing that. It's the annoying thing about trying to fight the brain is, especially because he's faster and for the worthy, he does that shit all the time. Alright, we gotta cheese this a bit. No, don't go on top of me. He just flies down, so he... I see. Alright, we're gonna regenerate some health. I'm gonna use this opportunity. Get out of here, what are you doing? I'm gonna die from poison. I'm no, fine. Damn, I didn't think that was going to go for me that aggressively. I mean, the problem is just the space that I have. Like, this is not enough space to dodge the Brain of Cthulhu. In For the Worthy. But the problem is, if I take him to the service, I'm going to get two-shot by a Chimera. 
Well, the brain's AI isn't any different. That's the same as it is. Uh, in For the Worthy. I don't know what you're talking about, Mario Bros, but again, no spoilers for anything that's going to happen in this world. I will ban you from this chat if you're spoiling things that are going to happen in this world. Oh, right, you can change the cat you have. Yeah. I was thinking that, Ruffles. I was before the update. Okay. And we could try again. I know how to do this. I know what to do. I know the strap. I've played enough Calamity Mod to know how to do this shit. Alright, I wasn't sure. I was just being clear that I wanted to make sure it wasn't anything that had to do with the game. I've played Calamity Mod before. I know how to do this. We're going to get summon item again. Let's move the demolitionist back down here so I can buy explosives. I've done the calamity mod. Yeah, did you not see here? I played through calamity mod. Let me also... One thing you were waiting for you missed. Well, that's unfortunate. You could always just go like watch the... Uh, recordings or whatever. I mean, I, I spent like a week doing it. You know, I used the nose quite a lot in Calamity. Okay. We have all the crimstone, we just need vertebra and vicious mushrooms. Did I do it on Revengeance? Yes, I did Expert Revengeance. I have mu one mushroom already. Two. Damn, these guys take no knockback from expl- Hold on. What? No explosion knockback on the Chimera? No explosion knockback on the Chimera. They take other knockback. But explosions, or grenades at least. Uh, they're immune to that. No, they took it there. What is going on? Alright, we got two mushrooms. We need, uh... A couple more. I didn't see them down there.
One more mushroom. One more mushroom. There it is. Okay. You know, they are taking knockback. It was it's very weird. Felt like they weren't. Seems to be interacting with them strangely. That is not how I would expect a grenade to interact with a Chimera. Alright, I'm gonna head back here. I dropped some photo along the way, I think. If I had a consistent way to trigger my, um... Panic necklace, that would be quite good. Should do Fogo Souls Eternity mode next? I mean, I, I'm doing this. I, I don't really want to play a mod, I, I, I want to play the new update. Okay, finally! Jeez. That's gonna be a huge help. I mean, if it doesn't- if what I'm trying doesn't work here, I think I just get banners and then fight on the surface. Because with banners, I feel much more confident. Alright, we're at 8 vertebra. Yeah, let me, uh... Oh, I have platforms. Uh, most of those aren't new, it looks like. Trout Monkey, uh, Supreme Helper Minion, Fast and Fishious, Glorious Golden Pole, I think were all achievements that already existed. Alright, Bloodcrawler Banner, and 20 Vertebra, okay. We got what we need. Go ahead and make that uh, vicious powder again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make another bloody spine. You know, we can do this. We, we got this. Won't be the easiest, but we can do it. Gonna take a bit of abuse with the nurse. Probably. I think farming for a banu and doing it on the surface is probably a better play. But I've already done this, so might as well stick with it. I could also potentially use like dynamite, uh, or exploding bunnies or something, but I think we can we can work with this. Let me get the ancient chisel out. I guess we'll swap it for the skull. More defense never hurts. What potions do I have? Thorns, archery. Outreach is good. Sure. Let's we'll take Hunter. Regen. Iron skin. Okay. Let's give this another shot. 
And I will buy more ammo just to be on the safe side. I absolutely would not want to run out of uh, musket balls mid-fight. Damn it. Hang on. Is this enough? No, I need to get rid of the sunflower. I wanted the sunflower for the uh, speed buff. But I really need that speed. No reason not to. There's no reason not to play it safe, right? God, telefragging asshat. Nobody likes you when you do that. See what's new, Scooby Doo. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, uh, wasn't expecting that one. He flips gravity. That's actually terrible. Like, that's really bad. Like, really, really bad. Because you can't hit the Brain of Cthulhu underneath you. Which means I have to grapple a platform, and I can't move? Get a graph potion? I could try it. I have uh, some in a chest. But again, backseating. Don't backseat. That's something I was going to try. I don't need you to tell me to do it. How much crimp taint did I get in tissue samples? I got enough that I think I can make a, a Deathbringer pick and get Molten stuff, though. A Molten Fury would make this much better. What happened? Yes, that is true. On the bright side, I didn't try this on the surface. I take back what I said. Trying this on the surface would not be a good idea. Uh, he reversed gravity as soon as we hit phase two. Alright, well, we're getting Molten. I don't... And I'm gonna make a magic luminescence. Because I need speed, and that was a huge problem during that fight. I just did not have the speed I needed to to get away from things, and I couldn't trigger the panic necklace safely. But magic luminescence should help out with that. Okay, I am going to... get Molten first, which means I want a danger sense to find it. And... Probably an obsidian skin potion. But I get molten armor, I get a molten fury. Uh, and that should help out. Yeah, I mean, I could look at the new achievements. I just don't want to look at them, because I don't want, um... There might be spoilers for new things, and I don't want to have spoilers, so I haven't looked at them. Okay. 
Did they change? Don't tell me they changed. <laughs> oh, wait, did they allow any accessories in vanity slots again? Of course they... When I take a Danger Sense Potion, not a Spelunko Potion, they change it so Hellstone shows up on a Spelunko Potion and not a Danger Sense Potion. Hey, Mario Bros. So there used to be that Hellstone would show up on a Danger Sense Potion, which is why I took one. You like the seed? It is very cool. A lot of cool stuff going on. Let's go a bit further this way. I gotta get away from these demons, man. I at least want enough for a molten fury. I should have enough for. Um, getting Molten Omo on top of that would be nice too. Because extra defense never hurts. And it also gives you immunity on fire, which is really nice. I need to get a Hellforge, though. I need to make sure I remember that. You worried about the new Minecraft hunger thing? That's not new. That's in the Constant Seed. Uh, it was from the Don't Starve crossover. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's very easy to keep yourself fed. I think that's probably one of the least impactful things, I feel like. It's more just a small thing you need to keep in mind. Like, as far as all of the things that are adding difficulty, the, the hunger is not one of the major ones. There's hunger? Yeah, from the Don't Starve Seed, the constant. You can see it in the top left, that food thing. The buff. Alright, 400, that's 133, yeah. That's definitely enough. Hey, Nazfest. Okay, let's go get a Hellforge, because we need to get to those houses before we go to Hellforge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes things from all of the other seeds. Uh, it's not, like, completely one seed. Uh, like, it has some things from Not the Bees, but it's not a Not the Bees seed with the other... Like, it's it's just kind of a blend of everything. There's a Hellforge. Like, there's a Queen Bee Lover right here from Not the Bees. Okay, and now we need to get a little bit of obsidian, but there was a ton on the surface in the crimson to the left here, I remember it. Interesting, there's a pressure plate there. There's a geyser there and I just never saw it? Alright, let's get all this obsidian. Let me close this off, uh, so I don't get bothered by any, uh, Chimera.
Is that honey? Yeah, that's honey. Okay, that's enough obsidian. Replace our Hellforge. Smelt all this. And then, yeah, let's get Molten, Molten, Molten. Big defense buff. We'll keep the Mining Helmet handy. Molten Fury. some of this stuff. Let's go reforge the Molten Fury, did they? Molten Fury's damage looks a little low. and magic luminescence. Really like a good defensive reforge. Def defensive reforge. You know, armor mode, warding. Anything that gives a decent amount of defense. So if you have Dower Power, Palladium Pickaxe, and the Hammer you get from the Wooden Molten Handmade and Molten Helmet. Try getting better armor. Uh, going mining for like Mithril or, uh, at, or Chalcom or Adamantite or Titanium. He started on 9-11. Okay. He just took all of my cash. What the fuck, bro? Okay. I need to go get another summon item. I'll just take this bottle with me. the mushroom. You got a mace? Nice. Okay. Uh, all we need is 10 vertebra. I know what the brain does now. So that's, you know, knowing is half the battle. Now that I know he's going to reverse gravity, I can plan accordingly. There was an exploding trap on the surface. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. You know, if Abigail's flower grows on ash grass, I have no idea. Thankfully, I've got banners now, so it's a lot easier to farm these guys. I don't have a face monster banner yet, though. Uh, I have been hearing some people have been having that issue, Dylan. Um... I think just restarting the game and trying to generate an the world again. Uh, is probably the way to go there. And I think smaller size worlds are probably easier to generate than larger size ones. 
Also, I wouldn't. I'm playing on a large world. I would not recommend playing on a large world if you were planning on playing on a large world. Kind of sucks. I did generate a large world, yeah. I would not recommend. Uh, it's guaranteed, Mario Bros. As long as you're on expert mode. Are you on expert mode? If you're on expert mode, he'll always drop the shield. If you're not on expert mode, he'll never drop the shield. You can only get it on expert. Okay, that's 15. Did I encounter any boulders so far? Yeah, I encountered quite a lot of boulders. I will see if the gravitation potion works. No guarantees, but we'll try it. I'm also going to make a bed and set my spawn in the room with it or something. What types? I saw the bouncy boulder. I saw life crystal boulders. Um, I don't have a workbench here. And, and regular boulders, I think. Those are the only ones I remember. <coughs> I have enough. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> I'm surprised I haven't gotten a, um... Oh, Lava Slime Banner, yep. Okay. I'm gonna put my bed in this room with the nurse. And I know it's coming now, so it should be a lot less of an issue. You wonder if there are more? I do too. I haven't seen any though. And I don't want to know if anyone knows the answer, because, you know, spoilers and all that. Okay. Take three. We're gonna do this strat again. Yeah. I think this is the way to go for the for the Willy Brain. Assuming this still works, I don't actually know. Possible it might not, but damn it! All right, let's uh take some a sec to register it. Doesn't work. Okay. Oh god, and he doesn't show up on the mini map either. Grab potion does not work. Hang on, let me. I think this is the way to go. Better damage. Damn it.
I mean, that was working fine. The problem is the mini shark just doesn't have the damage because he has so much defense. If I get silver bullets, I was doing like two damage a hit because for the worthy brain. And it's normally not an issue because you stun lock him, but you can't here. Do I imp staff to lock on where he is? N no, that's gonna take forever. Is the point of this that you can't use your minimap? The point of what? So I think alternatively, I think upgrading to silver bullets. I think if I upgrade to Silver Ball, is that fine? I think the issue is just that I swapped to try to use the, uh... Uh, Molten Fury, and that was a bad call. Grab Potion is useless. So let's get that out of here. Uh, you cannot do that anymore. Uh, that is true. But the more impactful thing is the fact that the world is upside down. Which is much more problematic than not being able to use the minimap. Yeah, I think I can get this next time. I just need to stay on the mini shock and use silver bullets. A couple more vicious mushrooms. Damn it. I didn't think it was gonna hit me. That's the other thing. Falling stars kill you. Which is mildly annoying. They pretty my experience with them has just been they do nothing except for when you don't think they're gonna hit you. Uh and then they hit you, and then they kill you. And that's about how that works. Must be fun in hardcore. Uh, the thing is, if I was playing this in hardcore, I would be playing this very, very differently. Uh, like, I probably would just put a layer of blocks above me. Like a sky bridge. Uh, over the surface to make sure that falling stars can never hit you. Stroke Tooth Necklace really would have been great. How many more do I need? I need three mushrooms. three mushrooms though okay, this is uh huh that could be tricky I will say, one of the things I do miss about Calamity Mod, uh, was boss summons, uh, not being consumable. 
while that did come with a host of balance issues, uh, it did make things much less annoying having to, uh, when not having to foam for stuff. Oh, a tentacle spike. There will probably be some off to the right, some mushrooms. I could go find regular mushrooms underground, and then douse them with powder to vicious them. And I'll probably do that if I can't find any more. Any mushrooms here? No. Oh, wait, there is one. Yeah, yeah. I do wonder how strong they're going to keep this, um, this difficulty. If it's going to remain like this for the rest of the game, or if it's very heavily front-loaded. Because, like, For the Worthy was very heavily front-loaded in difficulty, but I feel like it really dropped off. At least in terms of, like, the AI changes and stuff. Um, so I'll be interested to see if they keep that up here, or, uh, if it's also very difficult near the end. Oh, Link Boot. That's good. Okay. I think there's also a way to cheese the brain's AI to keep it, to make it teleport in a consistent location near you. By like, making a, a corner shape with blocks, with one corner open. Uh, but I don't want to do that. That's assuming it wasn't changed. I have no idea. Monster banner. Look, like we gotta be around the time now. That's a hundred Camara. One more vertebra, and then we can uh, go fight him again. Oh, there's a vertebra. Alright, let's go fight him again. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I crafted it, because I was concerned that guy was going to kill me. I think this will be my last attempt on the plane of Cthulhu for now. So hopefully it goes well. I'm gonna move all these right next to each other. The three minutes of poison? Did something poison you for three minutes? Was it like a doubt trap? 
Did they scale that up or something? Okay. Let's go. Damn it. I really need like a line that tells me when I get out of the crimson. So I know when he's about to do that shit. Don't curse me. Okay, it was a slime. Okay. Give it another shot. Slimes are really disorienting. I'm confused too. Got confusion and reverse gravity. Is really something. Play it safe. No reason to be risky. God, he just. Instantly, right back. I will say, this was not what I was uh, expecting. Uh, out of the brain. Reversing gravity is not what I would have uh, would have guessed. It really keeps you on your toes with a grappling hook. Well, I imagine you could do this without a grappling hook. Uh, probably some decent ways to avoid him there. I'm sure you could probably cheese where he teleports too, because I don't think he teleports inside locks, if I remember correctly. Did he change? I can't tell. He, like, flashed for a second there. We'll play it safe. I'm not risking this. <laughs> it's mostly I don't want to uh, go through the process of getting a summoning item again. God damn. That was a very difficult boss. Alright, let's see what's up with the Edo next. I think, uh, I think he's next. I do kind of want to see if I can cheese him. Hold on. Because with the Edo normally... I feel like I probably can. 
Let me make some more. I think I know what my strategy is going to be for the eater. The only thing I'm concerned about is I hope he doesn't despawn. I need to get 300 of the uh, Evan, some Evan block. Uh, seed? The seed's in the bottom. It's, uh, get fixed, boy. Don't, <sighs> he's my source of arrows, you jackass. Now I have to craft arrows. Okay. Eater, 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 eater. That's right, I know what I want to do. I want to try. I remember now. Aren't you accidentally destroying the environment while in the inventory? Okay. I'm curious if that's going to stop me from destroying uh, bee stuff. I might try that out, but I'm not interested in bee stuff right now anyway, so... That's not something for right now. Alright, I'm going to grab a sonar potion. I can't grab a I don't have water leaf. Let me plant some water leaf. Alright, we're gonna do some health fishing. Oh, what's the world percentage? 50% corrupt and 25% crimson? God damn. Like, that has to be like the entire half of the world. The crimson's a bit less, probably because it's in the snow biome and the, it doesn't corrupt the, the snow. I should catch some more fish, too. Alright, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get Obsidifish and Flarefin Koi. Specifically to make Inferno Potions, to see if you can still, uh, cheese the Eater with that. Jump on top of me, go away. Unfortunately, lava fishing is still very slow. I think after Edo, Skeletron's up next, and then I'll probably do Queen Bee after Skeletron, because I. 
like, I feel like I'm about to do Enraged Queen Bee or something, which is really a terrifying thought. Or maybe I bring her up to, like, the temple or something? But the temple's on the surface, so it should be enraged either way. Maybe I just don't do Queen Bee at all. <laughs> doesn't get me very much from playing ranged. Could I get some Flare Fin Koi? You got some paper airplanes? From what? Was there a windy day? Or... Was there a slime underground that spawned with paper airplanes? Or... Yeah, usually they spawn inside slimes on windy days, but I mean, I don't think slimes spawn on the surface. I think they all spawn underground. Yeah, I know they can have them in them, but like, just a slime anywhere can have them. Can I get a Flarefin Koi? Please? Like, just one Flarefin Koi, I think, is all I need, right? You heard balloons pop. Okay. Meteorite. Flare Fin Koi Flare Fin Koi, Flare Fin Koi, Flare Fin Koi, Flare Fin Koi, Flare Fin Koi 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 Flare Fin Flare Fin Koi Let's see if that did it I mean, even just like an obsidian crate? <laughs> Something that isn't an obsidifish? Or just something. Just anything at this point. It's literally anything. I could drink my red potions, and the red potions might give me an Inferno buff, but I only have three of them. This is not very much. It doesn't give you the debuff, random nobody. I already used one. <laughs> it's not a flare and koi. It was a while ago. Uh, I was at the. Did. Can I even catch flare and koi? What the fuck? What's happened so far? Uh, we just killed the brain of Cthulhu. Uh, a lot. A lot has happened. But the brain is the most recent boss that we've killed. There was a Flarefin Koi! Hey, Grim. Uh, is it two Flarefin Koi or one Flarefin Koi? It's one Flarefin Koi and two Obsidifish for an Inferno Potion, right?
What is this biome? Uh, this is the underworld. This is specifically ash grass. Two ups to fish one. Okay, I'm fine with one flip from Koi. Those are ash trees. So, taking a step back, just for anyone who wasn't here earlier, I am playing on the Zenith seed. Uh, to get this seed, you type get fixed boy into, um, the, as the seed. But it's called the Zenith seed. And it combines every other seed in the game. Uh, which includes the new, uh, don't dig up seed, which spawns you in the underworld and has, like, uh, all of world gen reversed. Like, everything's upside down. So, to make that reasonable, there's this nice underworld area that starts out with just lava slimes that don't drop lava and ash trees, and then you dig your way up to get to the surface. Um, it's also got For the Worthy, it's got Not the Bees, it's got the Constant, I've got food. Um, it just combines all the other seats. And needless to say, that makes the game extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. Uh, it also includes the new No Trap seed, which, um... Is just a troll seed with traps everywhere. Um, imagine for the worthy on crack, and that's pretty much what this is. So this slime has falling stars in it, because you can't get falling stars on the surface. Uh, so to get them, you get them through slimes in this seed. And I'm fishing for some food right now. We're going to be going to the surface soon. They'll try the upside down seed. The upside down seed's pretty cool. Oh, a golden cope! We still can't cook the golden cope, unfortunately. Hardcore zenith seed? I plan to do the hardcore zenith seed. Probably not on stream, though. Star Sad the Star Cannon isn't viable anymore in this seed. I mean, I've got 111 stars. It's harder to collect them, but... You certainly can collect them. Okay, I think this is enough cooked bass for now. You can see there's also a neat little animation for, um... Ooh, give me planter boxes. That'll help. I urge everyone was theorizing that there was going to be an upside down seed. Yeah, didn't they, like, say something about it? Or... Also, I've really been curious about this. Did they remove happiness, or is that one of the seeds that's changing happiness and removing? Is that game-wide happiness is now gone, or is this one of the seeds? How did I fish in lava without the hotline fishing hook or the accessory? Uh, I caught lava bait. I have the uh, lava poop bug nut, so we caught, uh... We caught these, and we fished with that. Uh, anything new with the black lens? No, but I would be interested to see if the optic staff got reworked at all. Alright, uh, let's get these blocks out of here. Okay. Let's go give the Eater of Worlds a shot with this. I'll make a potion of return in case things go badly. I'll make an archery potion. I'm gonna make a Shine Potion, because Charlie. Make a Night Owl Potion, too, because Charlie.
Okay. What we need to do... First, we have to get a bunch of corrupt blocks. I think Skeletron's gonna be really hard. Because not only do we have to get him to the surface, we then need to fight him in low gravity with the super high corruption spawn rates. And he's probably gonna have an AI change. Um, my prediction for what Skeletron's AI change will be... I suspect... I think the Eater is just going to be bigger. That would be my guess. I would guess that the Eater is bigger. Like, longer. More segments. And Skeletron... Maybe he gets a new attack in Phase 2, so he's not just shooting skulls and spinning. I would guess that once you get his hands dead, he gets a new attack um, that changes up how he works. And the fight kind of revolves around that new attack. Uh, if you weren't here, the changes for the other bosses so far. I've only killed the Eye of Cthulhu and the Brain of Cthulhu so far. The Eye of Cthulhu had a new attack in its second phase where it would spin, reflect projectiles as it was spinning, uh, and would send off a bunch of uh, servants of Cthulhu as it was spinning. Uh, the Brain of C Cthulhu, uh, it didn't have a new attack, uh, but it did, uh, I can use sand, that's fine. Uh, it caused, uh, it reversed gravity in phase two, permanently, and there's no way to undo it. And phase two brain with reverse gravity is very tough. Uh, I'm gonna die. That's fine. As long as I got enough of the uh, things, I should be fine. I got 300 sand blocks. What's this spawn rate? It's just like this. It's not even a blood moon or anything. It's just those are the spawn rates. Alright. Let's give this a shot. Interesting is one way to put it. Yeah. I have magic luminescence, that's right. Also, falling stars will kill you, uh, if you didn't see that earlier. I gotta try a battle potion and water candle on top of that. Uh, I don't have the damage to even kill things fast enough. Maybe later. Yes, falling stars kill you and they do not drop stars. It's also permanently nighttime. Uh, so there are always falling stars. Uh, dropping.
I want to see if something's possible with the brain, if with the eater, if this still works. All right, one corruption now. I'm gonna close this off on the roof so that I don't have falling stars coming. And then I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna make a little platform here. I don't know how this is going to go, but I want to give it a shot. But first, I need to make the worm food. So, I have 30 vial powder. And I have 11 rotten chunks. So, I almost have enough. It's just a little bit more. Uh, is it nighttime? It's not nighttime. When it comes to nighttime, I can make unholy arrows. Just probably the backup if Hellfire doesn't work. Let's go get that worm food. But yeah, I think we're at the point where we've kind of stabilized. The beginning of this seed was very difficult. Uh, and especially getting to the surface, establishing that pylon up there, that was a real challenge. I think they added a visual effect to silver bullets. I noticed that when I was fighting the brain. The terraria logo flipped upside down. You think the seed is working? That's a good sign. Yeah, I think... The least impactful seed... Is probably... Also, again... Is it, has anybody checked? Did they just remove happiness from the game entirely? Because happiness is gone in the seed that I'm in right now, but I don't know if that's a special seed thing or just an in-the-game thing. You don't know if they've nerfed celestial pillars in their weapons. You'd like to see that happen. Couldn't find any information on happiness. Just go in the game. Like, just open a world and see if the NPCs have happiness. Like a regular world. One of the ones you already have. Oh, floating island. Hang on. Maybe this one will be an actual floating island? Instead of a lake? Cavern key. getting very many rotten chunks so far. Are you 15 yet? Yeah. Get out of your devourer. Let me I need to get to this island up here. I can't I need to Only way I can get there is by roping up. Well, I've got to be close to an Eaters of Souls banner at least. 
Don't hit me, Star. Okay. I'm dead. Also, lava does like almost 200 damage uh, in one one thing. Well, I can get that. Uh, I can get that island later. It's fine. Let's try the eater. Let me sleep till nighttime so I can buy unholy arrows as a backup. Time now. That was fast. Alright, these are plan B. If plan A doesn't work. Let's give it a shot. I don't know how this is going to go. This is a strategy that worked beforehand. And I'd like to see if it still works. But no guarantees. Damn, uh, I wasn't even paying that much attention. I got the thing crafted though. Oh, you know what? I should, uh... Get to full HP before I come here and also bring a health lantern and a campfire. No, potions stack to more than 30. Uh, I just happen to have 30 healing potions right now. Hey, Hachima. Alright. Let's try it. Uh... Oh. Oh. You can't. Oh. You can't destroy his his vile spit. That is the Edo of Worlds change. Okay. So the Inferno Potion does not work. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't really have much reason to fight the Edo of Worlds, though. I might just go fight Skeletron. Because, you know, that's going to be hard. Enough. Good to know, though. Uh, yes, the seed is literally Get Fixed Boy. Spelled and written exactly like that. Also, unless you're in, up for a very serious challenge, I would not recommend playing this seed. Do not underestimate this. This is ex this is significantly harder than For the Worthy, and For the Worthy is already very difficult. All right, it's uh, it's Skeletron time. I'm gonna go set my spawn up there. I should buy a bunch of dynamite and blow a crater in the uh, ground. All 
I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make my way over there. I'm gonna make a house and set my spawn in it. And then I'm gonna get to blowing up the uh way down to Skeletron. They got a bone pickaxe. That is nice. Bone pickaxe is awesome in for the worthy seeds. I want to get a Phoenix Blaster, so I am quite interested in Skeletron. This is the halfway point. Oh, the tavern keeps still alive. Not gonna stick around to the devourer though. God, I love unholy arrows so much. They are without a doubt my favorite arrow in our uh, pre hard mode. You just kill the Edo of Brain and then. And you're set. Alright, let me get. There we go. I want the banner. Because I need to make sure I'm not taking 200 damage a hit from Big Edo's during Skeletron's fight. I think doing this in hardcore. Uh, I would probably be farming for a banner uh, as soon as it becomes available. Like, second I get to the Crimson, just kill enough things to get a banner. Uh, you know, let me... I'm going to check and make sure that there's nothing new or particularly different with Meteorite. Which means I need to get three ore. Just looked in the code, don't... Okay, what's this about? I, I don't want spoilers, but if it's about happiness, then... Happiness is only removed in the remix seed. Okay. I mean, you could have just gone in a regular world and, like, just... Just booted up the game and looked at it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering about that. Oh, that's a fast worm. Most of the way there. Yeah, so it seems like the Edo of Worlds change was that you cannot destroy his vile spit. Uh, which is honestly a, a really, really big change. Because uh, that drastically changes how you fight him, I feel like. Okay. This one here. No, no, I, I, you want to. I'm already on hard mode? Oh, God, no, no. We're, we're getting ready to fight Skeletron. Okay. This tree here. Alright. 
I need to close this off, because these falling stones are trying to hit me. Let me seal off the top of this so that stones stop falling. They're trying to hit me. So the other thing about this is that we fight in low gravity up here. Which is interesting. I'm not sure how impactful it'll be, but it is interesting. Okay, let's call that the arena size. Blow this to hell. We're able to block swap these with, uh... Hold up. Let me get the Edo of Souls banner down. And light this place up. Yeah, this seed has the constant thing going, where uh, at nighttime, there is no ambient lighting whatsoever. Uh, and it's permanently night nighttime. Uh, on the surface, so there's just no ambient lighting. At all. A watch would be good for this seed. Um... <sighs> Kind of. I mean, you can also tell what time it is just by looking at NPCs. If they're stuck in their houses, then it's nighttime. I mean, a watch is good for any seed, though. Trying to bring four of the worthy Skeletron out of this hole, though. I'm not looking forward to that. Another possibility that I considered for Skeletron is the possibility that maybe he starts shooting skulls in Phase 1, and it's not a Phase 2 exclusive thing. That would be my second guess. He either has a second, a new Phase 2 attack, or he shoots the, the skulls in Phase 1. That's my guess. I need more dynamite. Well, maybe not. But you don't need to go all the way down there. Just most of the way, I think. I do really like the color scheme of this whole thing. 
It's very lovely. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this corrupt grass. To try to make this area not corrupt. Or at least less corrupt. Because we can always nurse... I'm oh, sorry, not nurse. Recall. I just... Uh... Tend to nurse whenever I recall. How do I use the new seed? Uh, well, there are several new seeds. To use this seed, uh, you put Get Fixed Boy uh, in the... As the seed. Uh, and it'll generate. Now, this is a very difficult seed. Uh, if you want to try the other seeds, they have other names and different things you put in the seed. Uh, but this one, specifically, is Get Fixed Boy. Okay. Oh, it's also dark in the nighttime. Oh, sorry, in the dungeon, not in the nighttime. What am I talking about? You have a darkness debuff when you're in the dungeon. Can I try here? Hang on, do I need player placed background walls? For a bed to set spawn? Damn, I think you do, don't you? Now we get ready for Skeletron. He is not going to be easy. Let me think about this. Molten Fury Unholy Arrows is a really strong combo. That's what I'm going to be using weapon-wise. Let me make another potion of return in case I need to get back there. I got the rest of this obsidian fish in this chest. Put a fishing rod out of here. I'm gonna put down the bass statues. I'm gonna. I'll make another heart lantern. Some campfires. Okay. I think my accessories are fine. I think my accessories are fine. Maybe I swap in the Brain of Confusion for the uh, Cloud in a Bottle. I think that's probably a worthwhile trade. Lenses can get out of here. Rotten Trunks out, Fallen Stars out. I need the fish. Logan's fine for lighting. We're going to recall back, and then we're going to probably Gravitation Potion to the surface, I feel like. And then fight him there. So the other things are my potion buffs. Regen, iron skin. I'll make a swiftness. And an archery potion. I'm out of day bloom now though. I'll have to plant some. Let me get some more planter boxes. Okay, and 
now... I think that's everything in order. Let me make a watch. I don't even have the stuff to... I'll make a tungsten watch. Tungsten is close enough. It'll get me in the ball poke I need for time. Uh, give me money. Let's see about doing some reforging. Good enough. Okay. And now, let me get this, these blocks out of here. Now we go build the arena. Eat this fish. Oh, let me bring a hammer. You know what? I'm gonna get a molten ham axe. Because I believe I need to uh, have my own background walls in this house to be able to set my spawn. Which means I need to break this down. Damn it. Those things seem to have really weird knockback, and I can't figure out what it is. The oversized ones, in particular. It's actually not that bad to get back here. I forgot I had a magic conch, and this is actually right next to the ocean. Uh, I just conched the ocean. But it was happening with the grenades, and it's happening with the, the Molten Fury, too. That one's getting knocked back normally. It's specifically the big ones that are acting weird. It's good for verification, because I wasn't sure, but... Uh, the wall up there does block uh, shots. Uh, not shots. Falling stars. I just can't. Uh, focus, because I got a lot of things in my mind. Mostly dodging all of this stuff. Devourer was so big. Yeah, like, he's not... These ones are getting knocked back normally. Fish one's gonna be a pain in the ass with... They changed the number of kills you need to get for certain enemies for banners, because that was only 25 Devourers, but I got a banner. Like, these guys get knocked back normally with the arrows the way I expect them to. The big ones don't. Let me find a big one. Let the big one come up here. Yeah, they don't get knocked back with this. But they get stunlocked normally with, like, a mini shark. So 
So it's not just that they're extremely resistant to knockback. There's something weird going on with the large eaters in Primeras. With knockback, I think from weapons that deal piercing damage, maybe? Because the same thing was happening with the grenades. Where they just weren't taking knockback from grenades. And it's only those specific weapons, and it's only the big ones. Like, he is just completely unimpeded. Is the seed just zenith? No, the seed is get fixed point. It's on the bottom there. Again, I'll say it again. This is an extremely difficult seed. Uh, it combines every other seed. Uh, I would not recommend making a large world. I made a large world, and that was a mistake. Uh, and I would also not recommend uh, playing this unless you're ready for a very serious challenge. I have no idea what to expect from Skeletron. I might do a test run just to see if his phase 1 is any different. And also just to see how reasonable it is. Like, not take potions or anything. Not even plan to kill him before the night's done. I'm gonna go down there, and I am just going to summon him to see and if there's anything immediate that I need to know uh, in order to, to fight him. But first, I need to break my way down here. So I can put my own background walls down. You're playing just to relax from Inferno. That's fair. I mean, it does kind of feel like a modded difficulty in the fact that the balance is very questionable at best. Uh, and it's very clearly designed to specifically counteract player uh, intentions. Pre-hug mode is pretty easy in Infernum. I didn't play Infernum, so I don't know. We're going to take this for a test run. Set spawn. Kill everything on the way down. I do still take fall damage. I don't on the surface because of the low gravity, but I do down here. Alright. Is he coming? Ah, okay. Wasn't close enough. So I have to be even closer.
Can we just take him down to here? This has got to be close enough, right? What are the most notable changes I've seen so far? I mean, I've only been playing this specific seed. Uh, as far as overall changes, it's hard for me to say because I don't know exactly what's this seed and what's just the game as a whole. Alright. I'll need to wait for um, him to respawn. Like, I mean, this is... This is not a normal experience with 1.4.4. This is not... This is nothing remotely like a normal world. So it's really hard for me to comment on the regular changes to the game. I mean, you can just look at where I spawned. I feel like that's obvious. Alright, I'm gonna sleep till night. I'm hoping this is close enough that I can get Skeletron up. What do you mean, looks normal? Hey, Anonymous Man. What seed is this? Uh, this is the Zenith seed. Uh, to generate this seed, you put get fixed boy into uh the seed now this is an extremely difficult seed this combines every other seed so a lot of these changes are from the new seeds but this is also like for the worthy uh that's been you know just put into overdrive uh i would not make the decision to uh to start this lightly It is very cool, though. I would highly recommend, if you do this, do not make a large world. I made a large world, and that was a mistake. Don't do what I, don't do what I did. Don't make a large world. You want a large? I don't think large is a good decision. I mean, I did it. And I regret it, because it took a really long time to get anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to get to the surface. Alright, it's almost night time. Again, I'm not really... I'm more taking Skeletron for a test drive. Than anything else. Because getting for the worthy Skeletron to the surface is... That's going to be a real challenge. And I'm not sure exactly what kind of setup I'm going to need for that. And I don't have many gravitation potions. And I don't want to waste them. Coming? Okay, he is coming. Okay. 
Damn. Okay. I think with the grav potion, I can do that. I didn't want to waste the grav potion because I didn't want to do the string of blood moon. Uh, we get a grav potion. We got that. Uh, unfortunately, I need to... I can't sleep. There's another blood moon. Get a celebration mark 10. And Celebration Mark 10 just gives you non-stop blood moons because it raises the chances of the Golden Slime. die nice we got it okay money draw dude that's nice that's a mimic yeah that's a mimic Why would there be a shadow chest sitting on top of my, uh, my planter boxes? Come on. Also, yes, pre-hug mode mimics. That's, uh, that's the thing. Do they drop loot? Yes. Regular chest loot, it seems, not mimic loot. Although I don't know if the shadow one has different loot. The gold one dropped gold chest loot. Okay, yeah, this one dropped homies boots. So it's just gold chest loot. I feel like the, the free hard mode mimics are probably exclusive to the no trap seed. I feel like if I were to guess that's what, what's where they're coming from. Right, I wanted to see if there's anything new I could do with the meteorite. Maybe new for the worthy? Uh, I feel like it's almost definitely the no traps thing. That sounds like exactly what the no traps thing would do. Uh, I don't have the princess, random nobody. She died at the end of the first day and she never came back. All of the NPCs that I got died at the end of day one. And only the tax collector came back. Another thing is, it seemed like it was impossible to foam the dungeon before Skeletron, like you couldn't have drunk world, because they just did not drop anything when I killed them. Which leads me to believe that they're um, exclusive to after Skeletron. There's another mimic.
You know, I haven't gotten a single horseshoe out of a gold chest yet. I do wonder what the reason for that is. Because I have looted a lot of gold chests. And I feel like either I got unlucky, or I do think it's possible. I got the Ivy too. Uh, she... I've had spare houses at different points throughout the game. She has not respawned. I mean, yes, she respawns in Moke 10. But, uh... This isn't Moke 10. And this is intentionally designed to be very difficult. And I think they would probably intentionally get rid of the thing that would make the game significantly easier, which is the princess. Well, he really just murdered the dryad and took her house. Get the doggy. Yeah, I got the Ivy, and I also got the Classy Cane. Uh, the Classy Cane carried me hard in the early part of the game. That thing put in work. Oh, we're somehow getting resonance into to pre-boss. Uh, I think it shouldn't... In the regular Terraria, um, it's supposed to be that you can't get it to drop until... In Celebration Mode 10, until hard mode, I believe. So you can't just farm it in free hard mode. But if you could get it in pre-boss, that would be extremely strong, yeah. It's probably Calamity mucking things up. I love Unholy Arrows so much. These are so nice. These are way better than Hellfire Arrows. They're way better than Jester's Arrows. Another Mimic. On the bright side, it's extremely easy to get money in this seed. Between, um... I mean, those, these don't drop, like, hard mode Mimic loot. They only drop, like, I think, like, 8 gold, 10 gold, something like that. But between Mimics, enemies just dropping way more gold. Uh, all the extra chests and things. Also, I haven't really been underground recently. There are traps absolutely everywhere. Oh, no, that one dropped 25 gold. Goddamn. The last one I dropped, or the one I remember seeing drop, dropped, like, 8 gold. But you got, like, golden slimes dropping you a platinum. Well, it's not just for the worthy. Like, there aren't golden slimes in for the worthy. You don't just kill a random enemy and get a platinum in free hard mode. Yeah, I know For the Worthy buffs the money gains, uh, but it's not For the Worthy alone. The other seeds are giving more access to enemies that drop money. Okay. 
Let's sleep till night and give this a shot. Let's see if we can get him out of the dungeon. Oh, not here. Let me tear this up. Guess it's on phase two surprises. Uh, I'm expecting him to have another attack in phase two. I don't know what that attack is going to be. But from what I saw, it didn't seem like his phase one was any different than regular for the worthy. So it's definitely got to be in phase two. Oh, you know, we could check out King Slime, too. We, we can make the summoning item for King Slime. Do I hear a slime? A worm? No, I don't. I think the next boss after Skeletron, except in King Slime, is probably going to be the Wall of Flesh. I... I don't really want to fight Queen Bee and the Destroyer, uh, nor do I really get anything for fighting them. I'm probably going to Phoenix Blast for the Wall of Flesh. I also like getting the mechanic and getting a Hout statue online would be a really big help. The other possible option, if this doesn't work, is I could potentially hoik to get Skeletron out of the dungeon. How do I plan to fight Destroyer before Wall? What? I'm not going to. I don't think I mentioned the Destroyer. Wouldn't gain much from killing the destroyer. Uh, I was talking about the Edo of Worlds in Queen Bee. I don't remember, remember saying the destroyer, but if I did, it wasn't intentional. Right, we're going to make sure Skeletron's following us, and then we're going to pop our potions, go up. Okay, he's coming. Okay, no, bad Skeletron. Come on, just get me to the surface. Okay. Oh, he reflects projectiles when he is spinning. That is what he does. Oh god, this low gravity is a really big issue. God, and these... Damn eaters. I didn't think he hit me. Did this hitbox even touch me? Because I know some of the four the worthy hitboxes are off. Uh I'm not fighting him on the surface. Are you sure I mixed them up and he didn't just mishear what I said? Uh, no. I'm digging out a place underground. I'm not fighting him up there. The low gravity makes that... No. Not happening. The low gravity, the eaters... I'm not doing that.
I mean, you took all my money too, jackass. Yeah, that's that's not happening. Uh, no. The projectile reflection is very annoying, but I can work with that. That's not as bad as it could have been. Alright. Let's buy a bunch of dynamite. Blow up a big area. Right, well, I must have just mixed them up then. Okay. Uh, let's go to the ocean. I mean, not only, like, by the time I even got there, uh, I was already most of the way dead, because trying to get him to the surface is really difficult. They added auto-use as a setting? What does that mean? Auto swing or auto fire? Oh, okay. They put it on the Phoenix Blaster, I hate them. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but... Spawn rates are insane. The spawn rates are insane, and the biggest things two shot me. I have enough defense that I get like three shot by a lot of the other ones, but. I still don't get what's going on with them. Right, we're gonna set our spawn. And we're gonna blow this place to hell. I don't care if I die. I'm just blowing it up. That's all that matters. We need a place to fight Skeletron. This is probably going to kill me, trying to blow this up here. This one's definitely going to kill me, I feel like. Yeah. Farewell. My spawn's right there, so we're fine. Did I encounter any new boulders? Yes. I encountered the uh, bouncy boulder, and I encountered the fact that boulders shoot off projectiles. God, it just feels great not being in the low gravity. The low gravity was such a pain. Here, you ghosty. Alright, let me get down these banners.
Hello, Mr. Edo. Oh, some blink root. I could use some blink root. Alright, how does this feel? Arena space wise. I mean, that's enough vertical space for Skeletron. You don't need very much vertical. Get some more horizontal, though. enough space. Let's go a bit more horizontal. There's a water chest down there. In that corruption. Goblins? I don't want to fight goblins. I already fought goblins. Fight Skeltron. work with this. I think this is workable. I really would like more horizontal space. Maybe I'll make it bigger horizontally after, but let me just get some platforms down, I think. They don't- I don't understand why the knockback seems to be broken with piercing weapons, I think. Why? Old man? Old man counts as an NPC for goblins? Is that what's going on? I have noticed so far, uh, the de facto nerfs to Ranger, uh, just by making a bunch of bosses reflect projectiles. I guess it hits Mage too, but everything but melee, basically. I guess maybe not Summoner too. It affects some summons, but not all of them. Like, it'll affect Imp, right? It'll affect Hornet. I think.
I, I can try Skeletron here. I feel like I should get more horizontal space, but I can probably make this work. I just need to circle really aggressively. It's fine. I really should feel like I should make it wider. I'm just gonna make it a bit wider. It doesn't need to be that much wider, just a bit. They can't get up here, right? Summoners were never that good. Summoner is extremely powerful. It wasn't good in 1.3. In 1.4, Summoner was an extremely powerful class. You need to use the right weapons and the right strategies because there's a lot of trash, but it's very powerful if played correctly. Yeah, the summoner meta is the strictest meta. You don't really deviate from what's good as a summoner because there's what's good and then there's what's really bad. And that's kind of just how summoner works. I mean, you can deviate it as a summoner, deviate from it, it's just, it's really ineffective. And you're gonna really struggle to play the game like that. Summons pre hard mode is kind of meh while guns are great. Have you ever used a whip stacked vampire frog? A whip stacked vampire frog is like one of, if not the fastest kills possible on the wall of flesh. I don't. There's very little, if anything, in pre hard mode that out DPSs a whip stacked vampire frog. And the thing is, Summoner also has, like, the Sanguine Staff, the Blade Staff, which you also get right into hard mode and last for a really long time. And are extremely powerful. Like, it's got some hiccups. It's not the cleanest. It's definitely not, like... Uh easy to play, and it's going to be a challenge, Tsunami is so much easier to get. Well, I don't know how it is in 1.4.4. I have to imagine that the developers almost certainly changed something about Duke Fishron and his weapon drops.
But the Sanguine Staff is also basically free if you make a tank box. Alright, I'm gonna go home. I need this day bloom. How many doubt traps will you collect? Uh you're gonna you're gonna find a lot. The only time you feel like going summoner is optimal is spider staff is spider stuff at early hard mode for farming. Yeah, have you ever, like, whip-stacked heavily? Because, like... A whip-stacked, like, blade staff is legitimately terrifying. Damage-wise. And while it's not as easy as just point, click, and shoot, I don't think you can call Summoner a bad class unless you aren't familiar with Summoner. Like... Do I get close when you don't have to? Well, that's not what the question is. It's about whether or not the class is... If the if the question is, is the class Ranger? No, then it's bad. Uh, then, of course, the answer is going to be, it's not Ranger, so it's bad. But just because it's not Ranger doesn't make it bad. Question is why they're favored by the devs? Because they're cool, I imagine. Like, melee is just cool. Oh, but you can hang things on platforms now. Forgot about that. Like, I may not use summoning weapons and melee weapons very much, but I think they're pretty cool. I understand why they get so much attention. Okay, uh, let's go try Skeletron again. See what works out this time. Rangers are the overtuned class? Ranger is, like, the simplest class in the game, and it's always been the simplest class in the game. What do you mean, overtuned? I mean, I'm planning to start trying probably, like, tonight, so hop. After I finish streaming today. I'd say less than a week. Oh, I'm starving. I have no idea, Forth. No idea whatsoever. I can see a Muramasa. I set my spawn, right? Yeah. 
Alright. Damn, that was a bad start. Okay. Really bad start, but I hope we can I'm stop I wanna go through you to hit the eaters. I don't even want to deal damage to Skeletron. I'm really feeling the space issues, man. I'm hurting for space so much. Spawn rates are just insane. Maybe I plant a bunch of sunflowers to make it so NPCs can live nearby to lower spawn rates? That's that's where I'm at right now, because this is absurd. The number of just zombies and eaters everywhere? Especially given that I take knockback? I think I can work with the space. The problem is there's very big area denial going on because there are large periods where I can't um, move in a particular area because there's an enemy there. I'm going to guess his skulls also go through blocks. Because if his skulls did not go through blocks, then... Um, he would be extremely easy to cheese in his second phase. Damn, Brain of con Confusion really uh, coming in clutch here. Work on that left hand a bit. Almost at the skull part of the fight. Oh, it's Moon Lord all over again? God damn it, you're right. It's not as bad though. At least I have more control here. Alright, it's one hand. Oh, they don't go through blocks. Um, no, you, you can't do that. Are you fucking serious, man? You can spawn dope casters? That's what every boss fight needs, is ads. God, this is just Calamity Mod all over again. Get out of here. Nowhere near as difficult as the, uh, brain, but... I saw the water bolts and I was like, damn, I must have gotten too close to the dungeon. No. No, I didn't get too close to the dungeon. He just spawns dope casters. Oh, no, no, no. They've, they've been cool, Zerhop. They haven't... No, 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 no. Uh, I thought the Eye of Cthulhu was really cool. And the brain was very interesting. Uh... I don't- I didn't hate the brain, I just thought it was really tough to get a hold of. Get a feel for the fight. Uh, the Eye of Cthulhu had a special spinny attack in phase 2 that spawned, um... Oh, damn it. I was paying attention. Uh... That spawned Servants of Cthulhu. 
uh, and made it so that he reflected projectiles. And that was pretty cool. Uh, and the Brain of C Cthulhu was the same in Phase 1, I believe. But in Phase 2... Also, this isn't terrible. Right. Fuck. Okay. Brain of Confusion. Thank this this is why we this is why we like the brain of confusion and not the worm scuff. All right, like I'm sorry, worm scuff enjoyers, uh, but it's not the brain of confusion. I hate to break it to you, the brain of confusion is a better accessory. No, but this isn't terrible. Like dark casters are super manageable. Especially because I have, like, 50 points of defense, and they don't actually deal very much damage to me. Same thing with the skulls. I'll be honest, the Eaters and the Devourers are more annoying than the Dark Casters. I have no interest in no hitting this stuff. Let me be perfectly clear. Uh, this is not something I would want to no hit. Um, I don't even like no hitting stuff that much in the first place, but something like this, definitely not. Uh, there's dark casters and everything, the eaters all over the place, but, you know, this wasn't terrible. I just needed to get, getting the arena was the biggest issue. Is that the couch? Yeah, I got the couch. Okay. Dungeon time. Oh, and they drop bones now. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they don't drop bones before Skeletron because Skeletron summons them and they don't want Skeletron to, um, the ones summoned by Skeletron to drop bones. That was nowhere near as bad as, like, the brain. The, the brain was f way worse. All right, let's go get a Phoenix Blaster. What was the brain? Uh, in phase two, it reversed gravity permanently. And you can't unreverse it. And then on top of that, it's just the For the Worthy Brain. It's the For the Worthy Brain, but you have to fight it in reverse gravity. Uh, reverse gravity means you fall through platforms, so you can't sit on platforms. And you also have to do it in the Crimson, right? With all the Chimeras and things. I made a Crimson underground to avoid having to deal with all those ads. If you were on the surface, you would have had to have a roof. If you hit the top of the world, you just die. Okay. Couch can go here. So this is... So it's what you thought the upside down seed would be. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cross... I don't think I'm gonna use the bone glove. I'm just gonna sell it. Alright, let's go explore the dungeon, shall we? I'm gonna buy a safe. For extra storage space. I'm gonna ditch these mushroom torches. I'll take the potion of return. Take the pomegranate. It's controversial to say rangers are the favorite class. What do you mean the favorite class? Like the best class? I would say Ranger is like, generically speaking, the best class. But that doesn't mean the other classes are bad. Like there's a reason I play Ranger on most of my runs where I'm just playing the game normally. The reason is because I like it. I think it's fun. Uh, but it's also very effective. Ranger is, no, Ranger is not the dev's favorite class. I completely disagree with that. Yeah, Dev's favorite class is Melee and then probably Summoner. Is this new seed the hardest? Without a doubt. Not even close. Uh, this new seed is every other seed combined. Uh, and it's very dangerous. They nerfed Mage into the ground. I mean, they nerfed, like, Specter Armor and stuff, but, like, it's not... Mage isn't terrible. And Ranger absolutely has been nerfed. Have you played Melee in 1.4.4? Because I just buffed it again. 
I don't I don't know what the buffs did, but I know they buffed it again. And just because yeah, they've nerfed the Onyx Blaster, they've nerfed the Dart Weapons, they nerfed the Stormbow into the ground. The Stormbow and Holy Arrows are terrible for crowd control and the Destroyer now. Um, they nerfed Molotov Cocktails in 1.2 into the ground. Molotov Cocktails are terrible in comparison. Like, Ranger has absolutely been nerfed. You remember Molotov Cocktails? You can't tell me that Ranger is the devs trying to make really good. Uh, and they never nerf it uh, after what they did to Molotov Cocktails. Okay, let's get my stuff back. I am... I am really not looking forward to the mech bosses. I feel like the mech bosses are going to be insanely difficult. Moonlord 2, probably. Well, no, Moonlord disables enemy spawns, unless they change that. So maybe not as bad on the Moonlord front. Uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up forth. Is that the cr the crimson chest is in a pool of what? Is that the cr no? That's the jungle chest, isn't it? What is that jungle chest doing? It is the jungle chest. The problem is fighting on the surface is very hard. Both because you have the insane spawn rates to deal with, and then you also have the low gravity. Which means I feel like I'm gonna have to make underground arenas. Oh, that was a uh, pot slime. Yeah, no, that that's red. All right, I thought it was a crimson chest when I saw it. Red chest. You know, this does not seem like. An exceptionally fun. Se this is not something I would just like go back and play for fun. Uh, a lot of these changes uh, are kind of absurdly difficult, and they're the sort of thing that's fun for an experience. But this is not like a. Oh yeah, I play this seed all the time. No God, if you play this seed all the time, I hate to see how miserable the rest of your life is. Because these these are just. Crushingly difficult uh, changes. <sighs> Seriously? <sighs> Why? You can't. You can't blow up spikes anymore? Just let me blow up spikes. Okay. They made the dungeon even worse. They were like, hold on. How can we make the 1.4 dungeon even more miserable? I know, let's make it even harder to get rid of spikes. Everyone will love that. Mechanic. There we go. Oh yeah, no, the Hollow Knight soundtrack is amazing. I've had it in my Steam library for quite a while. I think I'm gonna Dune Rider the Wall of Flesh. I got Dune Riders. I don't I don't know what to expect out of the Wall of Flesh, but I'm gonna try Dune Riders. Rest in peace mechanic. Oh 
Oh, I need to eat food. That's a boulder trap in the dungeon. Oh, it's a bouncy boulder. Shit. Oh, yeah, Ranger is generally the easiest. The best soundtrack in the game was given to a bee. You got a problem with bees? I love bees. There's a key. All right, I want to go... Uh, see if the Momomasa was changed. Let's open up this Momomasa. Oh, the Momomasa got a sprite we work. Oh, shit. And it's got a, uh, uh, a, an extra projectile on hit. And that's cool. Yeah, I would say, uh, did they rework all of the Knight's Edge shorts? Because I know they reworked the Light Spain and, and Blood Butcher, right? And the other ones are the Blade of Grass and uh, the Fiery Greatsword. All of them? Okay, I'd be down to check those out. Okay, can I at least blow up Cracked Bricks? Please tell me I can still. Why make an original sprite when you can recolor someone else's? What do you mean? Is the Muramasa... What? The Fiery Greatsword? Oh, the Fury Greatsword. I'm sorry. Oh, Dungeon Slime. I didn't hate Skeletron. I, I actually kind of like Skeletron uh, in this. If he wasn't at the bottom of the... Like, I think fighting a Skeletron like that could actually be pretty fun. In, like, the open world as opposed to being crammed down in the dungeon and everything. Because it's kind of a cool change. It's not overly difficult. Uh, and I didn't, like, love it. But uh, it was a nice, like, oh, this is a surprise that I can deal with. I can adapt to it, and I can change accordingly. It's not just, oh, I... It's copied from the Murasama. I mean... Like, is every aspect of the sprite copied, or is it just similar? Like, the Muramasa is a Japanese katana. And that's... Like... The general aesthetic of it is... I mean, it's literally named after Muramasa. It's the Coast Sword, Muramasa. That's what it is. Uh, so just the fact that it has a, a Japanese-style sword isn't... Like, the Muramasa is a, uh, a, a sort of Japanese legend. It's not, like, something that Terraria made up. Named after the post new smith, it's supposedly a coast sword, Muramasa. Whereas Muramasa, I, I don't know that that's an actual thing. Uh, that That's just the, the Metal Gear reference. And the other things, I seriously doubt Relogic 
would just like steal the Moasama sprite, if it is like exactly the same sprite and touched up a bit, they would probably just like, you know, ask the Calamity dev if like if they really like the sprite. I doubt they would use it without permission. And I don't remember the Murasama sprite, so, but like, even if it is that, I, I... I don't think they would have just stole it. This thing is really cool though. And if, um, I would totally play melee if it wasn't, like, completely implausible to get anywhere near enemies in this. Because they deal 200 damage a hit. That's some fearsome knockback. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, there are only so many ways to design a katana. They must have upped the spike ball spawn rate. This feels absurd. I mean, that's another Japanese curved sword. I mean, Xena Seed Hardcore True Melee only? I would be miserable. I mean, they've given buffs to the melee weapon, so it wouldn't be, like, as bad, but... <laughs> I mean, when everything does that much damage, when it hits you... I'm sorry? Are you guys seeing this? There was a chest that took damage when the Dark Caster shot it. It doesn't look like a mimic. It's open and it's bouncing around and when I hover over it, there's a key icon. I can't get to it. I don't have a Molten Pickaxe. I can't break this. I really wish I could see what that is. It took 100 damage. That looks like an NPC. Based on the amount of health that it has. Hang on. Maybe if I'm fast about this, it's gonna despawn, but I have to try. Fuck! I... Damn it! I forgot my spawn was set there. Should've just made a Molten Pickaxe to begin with. And I can lock chests in 1.4.4. It wasn't- I already saved the mechanic, Ruffles. It couldn't have been the mechanic. I rescued her earlier. And then she died, I think. It had the same amount of health? Crimtain can mine dungeon bricks? Did they change that in 1.4.4? Because it wasn't able to in 1.4. They made it so that only Molten can. It always could? No, Crimtain cannot mine dungeon bricks in 1.4. It has to be a Molten Pickaxe. It used to be able to, but they changed it so that only Molten could. You need 100% Pickaxe power. Were you breaking them on the surface? Because any Pickaxe can break uh, surface dungeon bricks. You don't need any particular Pickaxe power for that. But to break one underground, you need a Molten Pickaxe or better. And we can go test it right now. It's not breaking. 
You need a molten pickaxe. Yeah, it's gone. Thought it was locked to Skeletron? No. You just need a molten pickaxe. That's why, when we were doing the multiplayer, right, people had me go get Skeletron. Partially because I was playing a tank. Uh, and partially because I had a molten pickaxe so I could break the top of the arena. Oh, sorry, break the top of the dungeon to get Skeletron. God, I really want to know what that was. Was that just like a weird mimic? Was that... Because it looked like an NPC. It had the amount of health that an NPC had. It took damage from a dark caster. What? It could be. That's why I want to go save it. I mean, it looked like I needed... So it was decorated like a brown chest. I could see that being like the town slime. Because I already found the town slime. It had 250 HP. It seemed to be an NPC. Maybe it's like in a chest in the dungeon and I need to unlock it to save it. Because that would explain why it was hopping around like a slime. And why it took damage and why it seemed to have like 250 HP. What's unique about this seed so far? It combines every other seed in the game. That is what is unique about it. That is what it does. These guys... Oh, God. They still hit for 60? Even with a banner? Damn. A life bomb analyzer would be useful. Yeah, if only I had one. Seed is get fixed, boy. Yes. Uh, be warned, this is a very difficult seed. I would not recommend it unless you are up for a very serious challenge. I have no idea, honestly. I don't know if they're in the- if they're coming from another seed or if they're specific to the Zenith seed. Damn it, I'm out of food. I gotta go get food. I can't. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. There it is. I. I didn't, I didn't get to see what it was. It's called the Elder Slime. I saved it. Whatever it is, I saved it. Septimus the Elder Slime. Alright, we gotta get food. Uh, I'm just... I give up. Alright. Give me those marshmallows. I just, I, I need food. I, I, just, just give me the marshmallows. Okay, that must be the town slime. I feel like it has to be. I didn't get to see it. Because I had to rush in there to save it before it died to the, um... The spike wheel. Or no, no, the, 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 the blazing, blazing wheel? 
Whatever that thing's called. It was literally called Elder Slime. I don't, I don't know, man. There could be two slime NPCs. All I got was a name. Maybe the slime NPC sells slime-related things, including the slime pet. Right, the town slime. I don't know. Maybe it's a sentient slime. And we can look. Like, that's not... That's not what it is. The town slime was at the beginning, and it was called the diva slime. This is the elder slime. There were two slime NPCs. They're not the same. Because the town slime spawned as soon as we started the, um, the world, because this is... Yes, the princess and the Anglu also leave. Hey, maybe they're both town slimes. I don't know. But we'll figure it out when he respawns. All I know is the only town slime I've seen what was called a diva slime, not an elder slime. You know, maybe maybe one's the, the boy slime, one's the girl slime. I don't know. I have not read the new achievements, no. The only achievement I've gotten is the one that, um... Uh, I got from... I still take fall damage. I need to remember that. Do I? I? Didn't there? I don't. Know. I dig this move, Master. This is nice. It seems it's uh attack speed might have actually no maybe just the same. I do think it's nice. Muamasa used to be the best weapon in the game, like in release, and then it kind of got nerfed, and it always, and then it's just kind of been like meh. But it's nice to see it back in a position where it's actually like pretty good. It seems to have a heightened crit chance too. Actually, no, I think that's maybe just... No, the Molten Set is giving a better crit chance. Uh, so I have to imagine that if there are floating islands that have actual floating island things. I'm still going to need golden keys, because four are worthy. Cobalt shield? Cobalt shield. Alright. I'm really looking for the handgun. Let me get rid of these spikes, though. I've got plenty of keys, so I don't really need to kill things anymore. What is that? Oh, that's a fucking TNT barrel. Yeah, fuck these things. Not really sure how that dart trap missed me, but I'll take it. How do I get over there? Hold on. Is 
Yeah, TNT barrel, you hit it, it blows up, it kills you. Did I hear about the new liquid? I have not. Don't tell me about the new liquid. I don't know what it is, I don't want to know about it. If I knew about these things, you wouldn't have those great moments like when I, um... Uh, I didn't know what a bouncy boulder was, and then I activated the trap, and it just bounced directly into me. And instantly killed me. How am I supposed to get in here? I didn't see a path. Another dungeon slime up there. What traps have I encountered? I've encountered uh, boulders, you know, the ones you know, they shoot out the, the rocks when they break. Um, I've encountered uh, bouncy boulders. I've encountered explosive traps, the the new the dead men's chests that are revamped to actually be difficult to see. Um, I have encountered. Let me get rid of this water candle. Oh, there's the corruption chest. Um. TNT barrels. I've encountered pot slimes. You break slimes. Oh, sorry, you break pots. Uh, slimes drop from them. Uh, I've encountered... Just the exploding traps everywhere. <laughs> Uh, a trap that somebody had mentioned by name that I now know exists, but know nothing about and don't want to know anything about, is a gas trap. I have not seen that, but I can take a reasonable guess about what it is based on people spoiling things because they can't keep their mouth shut. Uh, I assume it's a trap that poisons you for several minutes. Oh, I thought that was... Uh... I've seen the geysers all over the place. Those are the only ones I remember right now. Problem is the traps are just everywhere, right? So it's... What have I learned about the new update so far? Very little. Pretty much just what I've encountered by playing this. And the thing is, it's hard for me to know what's specific to the new seeds, and what's just part of the update. Man, I have not found very many gold chests. Yeah, so far, the bosses that I have fought, um, I fought the I've, I've killed the Eye of Cthulhu, the Brain of Cthulhu, and Skeletron. I have fought the Eater of Worlds briefly, uh, saw that his projectiles didn't get destroyed, and then just kind of, uh, didn't really feel like fighting him, because there's no reason to fight him. Okay, another Muramasa. I see you. Oh, a Devourer Vano could actually be cool. Um, This is ammo, right? No? Right, because this Bone Glove doesn't use it as ammo anymore. Okay, let me get this out here. I hear, a I hear a pressure plate. It's got to be a red pressure plate. Something is stepping on a red pressure plate and activating it repeatedly. That is almost set definitely spawning. Yeah, it's spawning a bunch of blue slimes. Okay. That's fine. They're, they're just blue slimes.
Um, yes, Zohar. Uh, dungeon loot. <laughs> it's, it's really blue slime time, huh? Uh, it's slime time. Uh, in order to ensure that all of the dungeon loot gets generated, the dungeon loot will generate in a predetermined order. At least it's supposed to generate in a predetermined order. Is it Halloween? Like, is this because it's close to October, or is this because one of the seats? I I've noticed these candy hearts dropping. I haven't gotten any goodie bags or anything. What does the new seed do? Uh, so there are three new seeds. The first seed is a an upside-down world seed called Don't Dig Up. The second seed is a seed called No Traps uh, that puts just a bunch of traps everywhere. And the third seed is called the Zenith Seed. Uh, and it combines every other seed. Every single one. Both from this update and from before the update. This is for the worthy. This is not the bees. Uh, this is Celebration Mark 10. This is Drunk. Uh, this is the Constant. This is the Upside Down World. Uh, this is the No Traps. Yes, Zenith is also Upside Down. Uh, what Upside Down means, I spawned in Hell, down here. And then, like, everything's kind of topsy-turvy. The surface is here, then underground, and everything's kind of all over the place. It's not, like, reversed gravity. It's the world is upside down. Kind of. Yeah, you start in hell and make your way up instead of starting in the surface and making your way down. Uh, but yes, uh, I forget the exact ordering, and it's difficult to, um, to track what the chests will be after the first couple of them. How do you spawn the Wall of Flesh? Uh, the edges of the underworld are the normal underworld. So the middle here is kind of this nice peaceful forest area with ash trees, and then you get to, like, the regular underworld in the outer thirds. It's for the worthy, so angel statue. We got a shadow key though. It's a strong option. Um like this. Ooh, cream soda. Let me just get rid of these campfires. I, I don't know, Graham. Uh I think there is. I've heard that there maybe is, but it's not a material, and I already have an angel statue. My guess would be activating it probably does something with wire, but I don't know. Close the door, close the door, damn it. Uh, I did unlock the mechanic, yeah. I want to get a handgun and a phoenix blaster first. That's why I'm here. And it's kind of difficult to get back, so I don't want to... ...go back yet. Another Angry Bones banner. But yes, the first chest in the dungeon... Uh, should be a Muramasa, and the second chest in the dungeon should be a Cobalt Shield. And there is a predetermined order for all of the items that the game will attempt to generate them in. Uh, oh, that was a slime. I didn't even realize. I did the same thing in Blindfolded, where I knew the first chest was a Muramasa, so I saved my keys to open the first chest and the second chest, because the Muramasa and the shield were what I wanted. Uh, this is a, this is a Bano moment. Now, it doesn't always work out that way because sometimes world gen is weird. 
but typically the game tries to make it so that all of the dungeon loot generates and it does that by generating it in a predetermined order for the first round of loot and the Moomasa is the first one because it always tries to guarantee that the Moomasa spawns I thought that was a rainbow slime. Because <laughs> I saw it in the blue lighting. Unfortunately, I don't know if this was a, a change to the game at large or specific to the seed. But I cannot blow up spikes. Which means I have to mine all these by hand. Damn it, this is gonna spawn a skeleton because there's a red pressure plate here. I don't want to deal with skeletons. There we go. Okay, magic missile. You never thought to blow up spikes? It was kind of the main way you dealt with them. Typically. Alright, let me, uh... Alright, well, there's another red potion. At least. Yeah, it's a great spot for a chest. Red potions are nice. Let me get rid of these Jester's arrows. I'm not going to use those. I'm kind of in the point of just running on them now. Because, like, it's so... Is there a chest down here? No. There's just so many of them and they take so long to mine. And I have enough defense that they don't really hurt very much. Please be a handgun. What is that? What? What? That's not... That's not supposed to be in there. You're not... Not a dungeon loot. Interesting. Balanced game design. It does five damage, though, Hop. Uh, I think it does make sense, though, because Duke Fishron has two magic weapon drops. So if they're reworking Duke Fishron the way Duke Fishron works and his drops, it would make sense to get rid of the two magic weapons and lo lower it down to just one. And, like, the bubble gun kind of sucked anyway. Like, it was fine DPS. Like, it was good damage, but, like, as a mage, you, you kind of went for the Razor Blade Typhoon, and the bubble gun was kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, it, it, it can deal good DPS. You didn't even see that they nerfed it? Well, it does five damage a hit, so. I think its mana cost also went up. Did it, did it cost five mana before? It looks like they just nerfed it into a joke weapon. Because five mana cost five damage is, uh... Really not good. I have plenty of keys. I need to 
make my way through here. How many bubbles does it shoot? I can only shoot it for a very brief period of time because I have no mana. Yeah, maybe it'll be okay. If it has some defense ignoring property, maybe it'll be fine. I think it needs some kind of defense ignoring property, which it seemed like it might have. Okay, hold on. Does it look like it was dealing full damage to these guys? Let me just blow these guys up. Go to hell, and don't come back. What about the seed? What about the seed? This seed combines every other seed in the game. That is what this seed does. So this is for the worthy. This is not the bees. This is... I'm not going to list them all again. You can just go look up a list of the seeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is one of these a mimic? No. Blue moon? Okay. Let me just offload some of this stuff. I don't know. I think the bubble gun works fine as a... Uh... Like, where the hell is a handgun? No, mimics. Mimics exist. I haven't found them in the dungeon. I found them in the regular underground. pre hard mode mimics are a thing. At least in the no trap seat, I think is probably what's adding them. Uh, they drop gold chests. So, homies boots. Um, magic mirrors. Stuff like that. Uh, yes, chest statues, but I don't know if they actually added loot to chest statues. I feel like they wouldn't do that. I mean just naturally spawning pre hard mode mimics. And yes, I know you can get a hooked up chest statue naturally spawning in the world. You know what I mean. They do drop a lot of money, though. Okay, I don't want a bubble gun. I want a handgun. There's that slime statue. Got it. Just over there. All right, see you, Skinner. Oh, I didn't feel like I could go through one block gaps. Come on, there we go. There's a handgun. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I don't want to... 
I don't want to be here anymore. What if it's between this and don't dig up? Well, this includes don't dig up. Like, don't dig up is part of this, but this is much more than just don't dig up. This is don't dig up. The thing is, I don't know what don't dig up does on its own, so it's hard for me to say, because I've only been playing this. Uh, give me one sec. I'm gonna mute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, so, I died? No, 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 I just muted my mic. I recalled home. I got the, I got what I wanted. I got the hand -pill. Which means... Phoenix Blaster. My baby. Where's the goblin? Intimidating is fine for now. I gotta get more money. Okay, I think... I get ready to try to fight the Wall of Flesh next. I think that's where we are. Let me make Necro Armor. A little bit of a defense here, but it's fine. I need to make more houses, though. I think I, uh... Hmm. Maybe I do that. Yeah, maybe not. I'll just build some houses here. It's fine. You're not expecting to still see me streaming? I mean, I'll... I'll... I'd be down to beat this all in one sitting, I'll be honest. I got the energy for it. I'm almost at the Wall of Flesh. Oh, there's a Queen Beehive right there. Okay, I would really like knockback immunity. What time is it? 6.30 a.m.? Okay. You know, let's see what's up with King Slime. Let's see what's up with King Slime. Statues back out. Oh, you know, this is actually probably going to be a place to farm Souls of Night in hard mode now that I think about it. Be pretty awesome. Let's see? What have you got? Yeah, you're big. That's for the worthy. He seems to be dropping the slimes with stars in them. Which is interesting.
That's the only change I can decipher. Oh, he dropped a, a yellow slime with a star in it? Maybe that just spawned naturally. That looked normal. I didn't... Uh, I didn't see anything about that that felt different. He does seem to be a good source of... Oh! Oh! Slime! Slime! This is the nerdy slime. Okay. Still not the Diva Slime. Diva Slime must come from Queen Slime. If that one comes from King Slime. I would love knockback immunity. Uh, no. It's not a combination of don't dig up and for the worthy. It's a combination of every single seat. It has not the bees. I mean, there's a queen bee lover right there. Uh, there's crispy honey all over the place. It's a combination of no traps. There are traps absolutely everywhere. Um. There's the constant. I have to deal with my food all the time. It's not just those. It's every single seat. Uh, let's make, I know what to make. T-Rex. No, it's a T-Rex. Have you guys ever seen a T-Rex before? It's a T-Rex with four legs. Because I want this to be a house dunk. Okay, I think I'm gonna Dune Rider the Wall of Flesh. And I'll probably Phoenix Blaster Meteor Shot it. I'm not sure what to expect from it. Uh, but I'm gonna pull out all the stops with Dune Rider boots. And Magic Luminescence. Because I am expecting it to be fast as fuck. Then good. This is not. Fuck off. That is valid housing. Okay, it's a three legged D Rex. Three legged T Rex. It's like a slimy saddle. Ooh, 15 gold. It's 
This makes... Yeah, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, yeah. Right, you combine the... Yeah. Yeah. I remember hearing about that. I mean, this is very... This is an extremely different Terraria experience. Uh... Oh, you know what we can go do? Uh, we can go check out... The, uh... Shadow Chest. We can get a Dark Lance. Because the Dark Lance got a rework, I know. Let's go do that. Wait, is it raining? It is raining. So Slushington the Third, the Elder Slime, has arrived. Okay, okay, he is a pet. He is a pet. I wasn't sure. I was because he died. You never know. Maybe he was a slime merchant or something. He's a pet. Uh, the nerdy one's still there. You can have multiple. Wait, I think the nerdy one. Yeah, he's still there. He went somewhere. He... No, that's the dog. Ah, uh, he's in the snow biome. Uh, the Zenith Seed is the combination of every other seed. Uh, Tortino's Pizza. Let me sell the cane now. Every other secret seed. I mean, it shoots a lot of bubbles. What's the third secret seed? Um, there's this one, uh, there's no traps, and there's, um, the upside down one. Man, the Wall of Flesh is probably going to just absolutely massacre my NPCs. On the bright side, I think this is probably going to be a pretty good arena. You know, something crossed my mind for what the Wall of Flesh's remix thing might be. I feel like I have a guess as to what it might be. And it's just a complete gotcha. Which is having him spawn from the wrong side of the world. Right? I don't know if that's going to happen. But I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Let me just bridge over this. What am I doing? Dying is what I'm doing. Again, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd like to be wrong. <laughs> that sounds kind of miserable. Uh, but I could absolutely see that change being uh, the thing for the Wall of Flesh. Because I was thinking about it when I was thinking like, oh, hey, the game gives me a really generous area to make a Wall of Flesh arena. Right? It's got these big lava lakes and this big, you know, mostly unobstructed area in the middle of the underworld. Sounds terrifying on a small world, it does. Which is why I'm hesitant to think that it would. But how good this is as a Wall of Flesh arena makes me feel like they're going... 
makes me feel like there's going to be something to counteract that. Because this feels too good as an arena. That or the Wall of Flesh is going to be like absurd. And you know, they're both possible. And we'll find out soon. Like I said, I'm going to be Dune Ridering the Wall of Flesh. I'm, I'm not. Uh... I'm going to loot the Shadow Chest first, and then I'll probably go Dune Ridering. Ceiling of Flesh? Floor of Flesh? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's got, like, five egg eyes this time. Or maybe it's only got one segment. But that one segment is all of the segments. Yeah, the wall of just flesh that you can't even beat the seed. You can't get to hard mode. You just can't fight the wall of flesh. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's find out right now. I got no money. I got no cash. No, he spawns from the right side. He's got the regular uh, for the worthy master mode health. His eyes are even smaller? Those look even smaller. Alright, let's die. I think his eyes are even smaller. Yeah, those are some really small eyes. Imagine it's like Skeletron, but it spawns imps instead of bone casters. Oh god. Yeah, I imagined it. I don't want to imagine it anymore. Yeah, so, uh, since Lava Slime spawn near the middle of the Underworld as, like, the beginning slime, uh, that means Lava Bats have taken over Lava Slime's drop lava when they die. Or, sorry, Hell Bats. Lava Bats probably do it, too. Can't wait for second phase wall. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You reduce all of the, the things to zero, and then the mouth and the two eyes pop out as the true mouth of Cthulhu and the true eyes of Cthulhu. And you just have to fight them while you attack its core. Your very original idea. I'm going to go find the, the loot first. Okay, Flame Lash. Huh. 
What is that? Oh, that's just a piece of grass. I'm excited to see the Dark Lance, because I know that got a, a revamp. Also, if you didn't see earlier, Lava does an insane amount of damage on contact. Okay, Sun Fury. Still the... That looks to be the Sun Fury I know. Another chest. It's over there. Okay. And I already feel like I'm going to accidentally summon Queen Bee when I'm fighting the Wall of Flesh. Okay, Hellwing Bow. I don't know. Maybe we end up using the Hellwing over the Phoenix Blaster, depending on how difficult the uh, Wall of Flesh turns out to be. I'll keep it open as an option. I am kind of liking the idea of just beating the whole game today. Which means I'd have to probably restart the stream and start again at 10 p.m. Okay, another Hellwing. Wait, why? Why what? Uh, yes, if if I stream for more than, I think, 12 hours, YouTube no longer archives the stream. I believe it's 12 hours. There we go. It's got to have some effect on him. It inflicts Shadow Flame? Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. I think leaving stops the Lover from spawning Queen Beaks. I think if you're not nearby when it breaks, it won't spawn. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, am I missing something? This feels like just the Dark Lance that's a little bit faster and has a debuff when it hits. I just want to see, like, am I missing something or is that just what it is? The Shockwave is the spike thingy? What shockwave? I'm not noticing any kind of projectile or shockwave or anything. It, it got a visual revamp. That's cool. A bit increased range in the shadow flame is the glowing spike at the end. Okay, I see. I just wasn't sure if I was missing something or if that was... It, it does seem to have gotten a speed buff. Yeah. I need money. Badly.
That's not very much money at all. Give me an Unreal! There we go! Alright, I can work with this. There we go. Rain. I can work with this. Yeah, I mean, Dark, Dark Lance is fine, I guess. I'm not that big on it, though. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure, Zerhop. I mean, I definitely got bad modifiers. It hasn't just all been good modifiers. I think I know what I do. I think I tear this place up with dynamite. It's a very lovely biome, but... Uh... I need space. And I can't get it on the surface. It's very intentionally meant to be difficult. Uh... It seems there's, uh, it doesn't take many of the easy or nice things from some of the seeds. There are some. Like, you still get red potions. And the mining speed changes. And stuff like that. But largely, it does seem, uh, to ignore some of the nicer things. I just need the space. Rest in peace, cool ash biome. Uh, I've seen, I think, three or four golden slimes. I've gotten a lot of money from golden slimes. Probably like two or three platinum combined. getting a phone call. No, I'm not. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so I think we continue this bridge back to spawn is how much space do I am I gonna need for the wall of flesh I mean it's not hardcore so I can afford to you know underestimate and then just make it bigger later
ton of wood though. I should have bought a builder potion. That would have been a good idea. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, silver chests... Uh, yeah, we saw the wall of flesh. It was very, very, very small. Mimic. There we go. Mine gold's not bad. I guess I'll need this a little bit deeper. Well, that's not too much of an issue. We need to drop Shadow Chest loot after Skeletron? Yeah, it could be cool. Yeah, it is quite nice. Uh, however, on the flip side, Andre, uh, Hellbats do release lava on death. So you win one, you lose another. I mean, in hindsight, that might have been a change they made, but... I mean, they implemented it before For the Worthy was even, like, a, an idea that they had. That was back in 1.3. Yeah. And, I mean, originally it was in... Like, it. they implemented it as a reference to the way Lava Slimes used to be. Because they used to just drop it on death, and I guess they removed that, and they're like, you know what, kind of like that. And they went back and added it back in in expert mode. Alright, um... I don't have a huge amount of sand. I could get... Interesting. The Dryad does not sell Purification Powder. I don't really care too much about a stopwatch. I guess I'll buy it. Yeah, no brick layer. Oh yeah, I wanted to get a uh, builder potion. What am I missing for a builder potion? I don't have moon glow. I haven't found moon glow anywhere. Damn it. And I didn't get moon glow seeds either.
guess we're just stuck doing this by hand then. But that's why in the seed the tax collector spawns on world gen because there's no be there'd be no way to purify the tortured soul. That is true. That is I was wondering why I saw a tax collector. That would make sense. It means I'm gonna have to have a corrupted Dune Rider bridge, which isn't ideal, but Oh well. Does it rain in this seed? I think it does. The demolitionist mentioned, or he used his dialogue that indicated it rained earlier. But I haven't seen any rain on the surface. He said like the wet beard thing, which he only says when it's raining. What's the new seed? This is the Zenith seed. It combines every other seed. Like the Zenith. Combines all the swords. Alright, we're doing rider up here. Take a flat ride. My NPCs are just fucked. <laughs> uh, they're gonna be right in the line of fire. No, no, no. The seed is get fixed, boy. The it's- it's right there in Cyan at the bottom of the screen! Rest in peace, plants. I think I'll just say whip to all these plants. I mean, I just need this space. What's new in the update? I'm not really sure. I will say, uh, I am playing the constant seed, Sunflower. Because the Xenon seed includes the constant. So you can stop asking when I'm gonna, when I'm gonna play it now. Somebody was. I thought it was you. Maybe I'm just remembering somebody else. And I am getting a phone call now. Give me one sec.
Okay, I'm back. That time I actually got a phone call. He saw the stream and panicked I'd been streaming non-stop? Yeah. And why would I stop? It's game to play. I don't play it. What did you miss since you left yesterday? Uh, we'll post Skeletron getting ready to take on the Wall of Flesh now. Uh, Skeletron? Uh, were you here for the Blaine, Mia? I don't remember. When was the last time you were here? Yeah, I didn't notice any differences to King Slime. Uh, they're aside from just the regular four the worthy size thing. You left just after the first time I died on the surface due to darkness. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, what happened? Um, I... I killed the Eye of Cthulhu, the Blaine of Cthulhu, uh, Skeletron, and King Slime. The Eye of Cthulhu, uh, was just a random spawn when I killed it. I killed it on the surface. Uh, in its second phase, it had this new attack where it spun around and reflected projectiles and spawned Servants of Cthulhu when it did it. Um... The Brain of Cthulhu looked like regular for the worthy Brain of Cthulhu, except that it, um... It reversed gravity in its second phase. Permanently, with no way to undo it. Skeletron. Um... What's Skeletron's phase one? Right, Skeletron in his first phase... Uh, seemed to be immune to damage and reflected projectiles when he was spinning. Maybe he wasn't immune to damage. Maybe it was just projectiles he was immune to. Uh, but I wasn't able to damage him because I only had projectile weapons. Uh, and in his second phase, uh, he spawned dark casters around the arena. Uh, that would attack you. And we found... The left side of the world is entirely crimson. The right side of the world is entirely corruption. The jungle was there underneath a living tree. We found the underground desert, which was not corrupted, thankfully. We'd gone down to the oceans. We made Novena underground to fight Skeletron, because we couldn't do it on the surface. Um, we explored the whole underworld. Uh, we found two pyramids. One on either side. We found the temple, which was near the snow biome. We got a pylon in the snow biome. We rescued two town slimes. Uh, one of them came from King Slime, the Nerdy Slime, and the other one came from, um... What you do in your Steel Soul one? You're getting Shade Cloak right now? I, 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 I mean, I don't know what you've done. I don't know where you're in the game. Getting Shade Cloak isn't, like, a super definitive thing, because the progression is kind of... You know, there are different times you can get it. Let me just recall home. What am I doing? Yeah, we got, uh, so Slushington III, who was in the dungeon, we had to rescue him, uh, and there was also, uh, Stevenson, the nerdy slime, who dropped from King Slime. And right now we're building a Wall of Flesh arena, and I'm planning to Dune Rider the Wall of Flesh. So we're getting ready to line it with sand. I'm going to need to go collect sand. Hollow Knight's got a bit of a, um... Flexible progression, in a lot of ways. Uh... I mean, have you gotten all the movement accessories? If you haven't got all the movement accessories, I would get the movement accessories. Crystal Dash, Double Jump... Um, I guess Ismus tier. Never hurts. Easy enough to get.
In two dark spells, Isma's coiled nail, tram pass, and close, close to max HP. I would get max HP. Uh, I'm not sure, Mia. Because the problem is... The amount of damage things does really discourages melee. Like, even if it's... Like, when you're getting hit for 200-something damage per hit in free hard mode, like... You can't melee... That just doesn't work. Uh, you can, it's just really difficult. Yeah, I think I'll try this lava to this lava and see how that feels as a wallowiner. You know, it might not be enough, but this isn't hardcore, so we can always just get more arena. We die, we just come back and make it bigger. Um, I would say I could make a Knight's Edge, but I haven't found jungle spores anywhere. Um, like at all. I haven't even really found like a jungle anywhere. I'm just gonna lower this to the ground here. Don't try to get them. Is it really difficult? I wasn't planning on it. Because I don't really need jungle spores. I have found the snow biome. It was in the crimson. Uh, I did see the jungle temple here. I'm gonna die. Okay, no, I have knockback immunity. Good. Oh, so it's not the bees ruffles. The jungle is just the not the bees contribution. The beast do like 60 damage? That's normal. That's just for the worthy. Click through block bridges. I don't know what you mean. I'm not seeing smart cursor work. I mean, I know you can change it in the config file, right? But doesn't seem to be doing anything here. These are planter boxes. These aren't blocks. They function like platforms. Yeah, there was a. You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna see if there are floating islands. Yes! Blessing from the heavens? Oh, it's a painting. You need to be careful about the top of the world is the problem.
I'd really like some balloons. I heard that. Interesting. They went back to, um... I thought they might have. I thought they might have. They went back to Lucky Horseshoes being the floating chest loop. At least in this seed. Because when I didn't see them in the underground chest loop, I was figuring that they would be back in the floating islands. And they are. Any changes to Star Fury? I'll check. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. I was look. I can't look at the mini-map is the problem. I really want a bundle of balloons. So I figured projectile might be a bit faster. Maybe. Doesn't look too different, though. How many more keys do I have? I have two more keys. What the fuck, man? What? Sure, I- sure. I don't even know what... No, oh, hold on. No, no, no. I detected that. I detected that. Must be back this way. Oh, there it is. A celestial magnet. Interesting. Well, that's that's for mages, and mages are losers, so. I wonder if that's a universal change. It's fine, we're at the edge of the world anyway. Well, I don't like the change because it... If it... I don't like the idea of diluting... The loot pool. For floating islands? That's the main thing I don't like about it. I don't like the idea of being like, ah, yes, uh, the. There are now four items in floating island loot instead of three. So, are these floating island changes universal or are these specific to the seats? Did they, did they go back to Fledgling Wings not being in outside of Journey Mode? And the Lucky Horseshoe being, uh... 
the floating island loop? Or is that one of these seeds that's just going back to the way that was? And similar thing with the celestial magnet. I miss you, Phoenix Blaster. This is a double... Oh, it's not? Maybe it's just... Oh, uh, hang on. We gotta... Gotta go up. You know what? Let me just... Yeah, yeah, that's the top of the world. No, 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 no. Man, you really... It's really hard to stop yourself. I guess I could use a double jump near the top of the world if I, instead of reversing gravity. I'm out of keys anyway. I don't know why I'm still looking. Whatever. 300 feet clouds? Uh, I need sand. And best source of sand, I can just go blow up a bunch of sand over there. It's going to be crimson sand, but whatever. So what I'm concerned about is Plantera. Right now. That's... That's what I'm concerned about. I get Golem. Golem's right there. Plantera? I, I haven't found a jungle. Mindlessly fish for the entire stream. Although we certainly wouldn't beat the game anytime soon. I wouldn't mind a yellow horseshoe balloon. To avoid the annoyance of having to get all the balloons. Oh. Is this? Hang on, this is crimson mud. Maybe to get the jungle, I have to purify the crimson with the contaminator when, um, hard mode comes? Like to get the large amounts of jungle grass. Can rain underground? Must just not have noticed. Well, that's two thousand sand. We can get a lot more sand than that, though.
Well, I, I found an actual sky lake, Andrew. Like, I mean, if I wanted to fish, I would just go to the sky lake. I found two of them. There's one way over there and one over here. But, like, it's just really slow to do that. And I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Realistically, I'm looking at fishing for like two or three balloons. Oh, you're assuming there's going to be an off stream period, Andrew. I feel like that's enough blocks. In combination with the sand I've already got. So I'll make the sand in the middle. Real sand, so it doesn't corrupt this area. But I'll have the outside ones be uh, from sand. Accessibility settings to auto fire all weapons. I don't see accessibility settings anywhere. In general. Oh. I hate it. It's slower than spam clicking? No. It's actually faster. Because it, it does it at exactly the frame it becomes available. God damn it, you can't... I hate this. I hate that you can't block swap flowers. You have to destroy every single one by hand. Which means it's going to take like an extra hour to build. I hate whoever designed this. I hate whoever's choice this was. Because now this is just a... The lossal headache. I mean, this magnum is always better than Mega Shark. Uh, no, I don't think you could before, Zerhop. But you can't even break them! Like, you can't attack to break flowers, you have to swing your pickaxe. Uh, yes, the face monster moves faster. Much faster. Oh, wait, they drop lava. You need to remember that. Uh, 
If I sand on ceiling and have it drop down. Uh, maybe, but the problem is I can't actually keep an eye on things like that. Yeah, I probably will just get a faster pick. It will help. It's just really annoying to have to do. Shouldn't have to do it. Should be able to just click on it and have it work. I wonder how we we'll get the chlorophyte. I don't need chlorophyte. It's not like I'm really gonna make anything with chlorophyte anyway. I don't really care about life food either. I mean, 400 HP, 500 HP is basically the same number anyway. Just get silver. It's better like this, but it's still really annoying to have to do. They regrow so fast. They're just super active online today. Uh, I found one explosive bunny, Mia. That was it. It was a while ago. The issue with this is I have to deal with Kramera during the Wall of Flesh fight now. There's no purification powder. I can't, uh... I can't just purify this with a dryad. What did you miss? What changed? Uh, when was the last time you were here, Luna? Or were you here at all? Now yeah, the proud owner of 14 spores? Nice. I own one spore. I was playing it yesterday. Um, 
So I'm playing the Zenith Seed, which is a seed that combines all the other seeds, including the special seeds in 1.4. It changes a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, I mean, this is... It is drunk. Um, it's a lot more than just drunk, though. Because it's got For the Worthy in there, too. And it's also got Not the Bees. And it's also got, uh, Don't Dig Up, which is Upside Down World. So you spawn in hell, and the whole thing is topsy-turvy. Uh, it's got no traps, though. Traps everywhere. It's got Celebration Mark 10. Honestly, there's just so much going on here. It's, it's really hard to describe. Alright, well, we're almost done with this half of the arena. The other thing is I could probably use this as an arena for the mechs. Could you watch it for yourself? Watch what? I mean, it's, it's difficult to describe just because there's so many different things going on. Rewind? It's up to you. I mean, there's a lot. Uh, and it, I didn't really have a better idea of what was happening earlier. But you could watch me stumble through it, at least. Died of traps a bunch. So far, we are post-Skeletron and planning to fight the Wall of Flesh. I'm building a Dune Rider Sand Bridge. Because I don't know what to expect, and I want to be cautious. And I'm hoping that uh, Dune Rider Bridge will be enough. Luna, don't tell me. I want to find out when I get there. What's more fun, telling me that the Moon Lord has a rainbow laser, or not telling me that it has a rainbow laser, and then having me get there and seeing the rainbow laser? Joke, joke, joke. I don't believe you. I mean, I fully believe that he would have a rainbow laser. That sounds completely in line with what's been going on with these seats. That's the thing, I don't know if it's real, and that's why fake spoilers are bad. Fake spoilers are as bad as real spoilers, if not worse. Alright, well this half's almost done. This mirror are annoying as hell. No, fake spoilers are as bad as real spoilers. Uh, yes, it is. Oh no. Why? Because they're functionally identical. Like, it makes no difference whether or not you know what's real or not. The difference is I don't know what's real or not. So a fake spoiler, as far as I'm concerned, is exactly the same as a real spoiler. Also, because saying fake spoilers is going to get people saying spoilers, and somebody's going to be going to think they're a smart ass and say a real spoiler and say it is a fake spoiler. Just don't know. 
because then you get people going, oh yeah, we're going to say a bunch of fake things, then we're going to throw in a real one alongside it. And no, don't do that. Yeah, uh, the, the Chimera will get really big. I'd see a Luna. Oh, I can't wait to be done with the Wall of Flesh. I really hope I get a Contaminator. You'd be fine with fake spoilers? Well, I'm not you, Graham. I don't really care what you're fine with. Bad vibes. I just don't want you guys spoiling things, and I don't want you uh, making uh, fake spoilers either. And I want to be very clear about that, because I'll be lighthearted and chill with a lot of things. I don't want you doing that. All right, we're almost done with this half of the arena. How to get the town slimes? Uh, I found two of them. Uh, one of them came from King Slime, and the other one I rescued in the dungeon. Uh, it didn't start with Brain Luna. It, YouTube might just not have the whole thing. Sometimes it, it only goes back a couple hours, and it has to take some time to get the whole thing under control. Okay. Let's watch our speed. That's the Dune Rider boots I know. What the hell hit me? Underworld Cactus? Underworld Cactus. Well, it's a cactus in the underworld, so as far as I'm concerned, that's an underworld cactus. The problem is I don't have enough- I don't think Hardened Sandstone triggers Dune Riders. I think you need, um... Hardened Sand- uh, a raw sand block. Also, it's like... Almost impossible for me to get large quantities- or it's comparatively very difficult for me to get large quantities of sand. Because I can't purify sand. So I would have to scavenge it from the underground desert, which we're obviously streaming in 1080p in this in the future. Uh, 
Um, I mean, the main reason I don't stream in 1080 is because I've been doing simultaneous streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Which I'm not doing today because my internet was dying this morning. Um, and I, I can't handle two 1080p streams at the same time. Alright, well, we're just gonna walk straight through our, um, straight through our house. House shapes? Well, that one of them's a T-Rex and the other one's a guy. Okay. We talk to you. Sell. 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 And make another, uh... Back down. Uh, make another mining potion. Oh, I need food too. That's the other part. Yep. I don't know what you're getting on about, Mia. I mean, they're fine. Imagine if the Wall of Flesh regenerated 1,000 HP for every NPC it kills and it renders a half your arena useless. I don't want to imagine that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly fine not imagining that. Wall of Flesh, but when you get it below half HP, uh, it turns into Skeletron Prime Wall of Flesh, Mecha Wall of Flesh, and it just destroys every single block it touches. With its mouth, it eats them. That's when the true mouth of Flesh comes out. All right, see you, Luna. You just don't understand architecture. You're just privileged, and you're used to living in a house. You're not used to having to... Uh, you know, deal with whatever you can get. You know, I quite like happiness not being a thing in this seed. I'll be honest, overall, not huge on the happiness mechanic. It's fine. Like, most of the time, it ends up just being upside. But I also don't really care that much. And it's nice just not having to worry about it and just being able to put NPCs wherever. Yeah, exactly. You're not coming over here saying that the house isn't structurally sound. You're saying it's not well designed. That's... that's different. You know, I'm open to criticisms on the... the structural integrity of my houses, but that's not what you're complaining about.
I think I'll probably go mine some meteorite and get some meteor shot before I uh, try the wall. I think having some piercing would be nice. And I'll probably use the hell wing at the beginning of the fight. Maybe I just use the hell wing though. I don't know. I don't like using the hell wing. But I feel like I might need to use the hell wing. But the eyes are also smaller, so the hell wing might not actually work out very well. Because I might not be able to hit them. But I think I'll use the Hellwing at the very least to clear through the Hungry, because I think that will be more effective than the Phoenix Blaster. But I think when it comes to the eyes itself, I might need the ability to aim, because they're very small. Alright, we're getting there. Move, please. There we go. Builder Potion really would have been nice, but I just have not found any Moonglow. Okay, we're almost at the second lava lake. Can somebody double check? Is it 12 hours that YouTube stops archiving streams? Don't get infuriated. Just simply don't be mad. It's 12 hours? Okay. Be silly the nightland multiplayer world doesn't exist and if they did exist there certainly wouldn't be a house for a merchant inside of it i've never played multiplayer Get out of here. Yeah, I just need to ingrain it into my mind that Hellbats drop lava in this, uh, in this seed. It feels very odd, but I just need to get used to it. I'm really excited for the hollow to spawn, and I really hope the hollow actually spawns in like a V-shape. 
and exists in the world as a place. Uh, I'm not sure it will, though. But I hope it does. It's going to work out to be almost half of the world. Which I hope is enough. It is for the worthy brain, though. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, right, that's the background object. Not for the worthy brain, for the worthy wall. Yeah. That's even harder to hit. A little smaller. Where's my Hellwing go? There it is. Why did I not? Oh, right, I have Dune Riders on. I don't have the, the jumpy jump boots. I do wish I could have could have gotten purifying powder. Would have really been nice. Man, not having Spectre boots is really throwing me off. Hang on. Last of the sand down. Whatever, that's fine. That's close enough. That's close enough. Okay, so before I fight the wall, I wanted to. Um. Get potions. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'll start with mining meteorite. Where did that meteor fall? It fell... Over there, which is like the halfway point between... What's the seed? The seed is Get Fixed Boy. You can see it on the bottom there. Of the screen. What are you trying to type that it deletes? Like what? That's odd. I do wonder if I can do my destroyer setup with uh, the stuff in. I'd be interested to see that. Magic cons to the edge of the world, let the destroyer come up, hit it with a long range blast. I might give it a shot. Right, it's low gravity, so the slime map doesn't even... Ugh. I probably get, like, pixie wings, I feel like. From hold mode.
it's not that bad, Mia. I, I'm, I, I'm sure you'll think it's fine. Like I didn't even, I didn't even build it. Somebody else built it. Oh, several somebody else has built it. Uh, well now I'm dead. Ah, uh, so that's nice. I don't have a potion of a turn. Then bring one. I left in my chest. So yeah, uh, rip me. Am I saying that makes it sound way worse? It's fine, it's just, just, just a house. I right, fuck it, I'm not mining this meteor. I, just, I have meteorite. I got, I have 65 meteorite, but I looted shadow chests. What? Get some meteor shot. Okay. Get some potions. Alright. Regen potion. Swiftness potion. Iron skin potion. Make an outreach potion. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Titan potion's not bad. Sure, I got the stuff to make it. Why not? Right. I'll take a life force potion. Life forces are good. Heart reach. Why not? Cream soda. Better well fed buff. Sure. Get these out of here. Band of regeneration. Dune Rider boots. I'm gonna go reforge these Dune Riders. Okay. I'm gonna start out. Do I have a merchant? Dude, where is he? Oh, wait, he's in the snow biome. I moved him. Get these out of here, I don't care. Hellwing. I am going to give this a genuine attempt. Okay, maybe not like right now though. I got hit. Let me, uh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know how to do this well. Potion of return. Now the traveling mode. Here's what we do. Probably should buy that. Can I scrape together any money? Okay. Took all of my cash, but I'll do it. Okay. Out of here, Mr. Face Monster. Nobody likes you, nobody wants you. I don't want the hell wait. 
It is summoning imps. It is. It actually is. Maybe it isn't. No, it is. It definitely is. It is summoning imps. Okay. I hate that I have to do this, but I need the DPS. Which means I should have taken an obsidian skin. God damn it, I'm gonna die. Okay, well, I know what it does now. Um, I need my vertical mobility. I didn't have the Spectre Boots because I had Dune Riders on. Uh... I'll make this swap for the time being. I probably don't need to wait for the guide to respawn. No! No, just get an Imp Statue, Mia! Have you heard of an imp statue? Uh, no, that, that, that's been in for a little while. What's the seed? It's in the bottom of the screen, in cyan. Big woods, blue, right in there. Get fixed, boy. Let's try to get the guide to respawn. I don't have a bed here anymore. And I'm thinking maybe I just... I think I have an idea for what I could do. I will say, uh, the one thing I did not ever think the Wall of Flesh needed was more ads. There's never been a point in time where I was fighting the Wall of Flesh and went, you know what? The Wall of Flesh needs more enemies. It doesn't have enough. Oh, shit. I see. Yeah. Just a little bit too much. That's fine. We can fix that. That's why the guide's not respawning. Good enough? Okay. Maybe we'll get that potion overturn set up. Gotta say, not very excited about this wall of flesh. Uh, not a fan of the imps. Imps are like the one thing that I absolutely hate showing up during the uh, wall of flesh fight. Because they teleport in front of where you're running. And it's awful. And it's miserable. And it sucks. Uh, so him just spawning a bunch of them is really annoying.
I'd really like the guide to respawn. Preferably soon. You know? Sometime soon? Maybe? So I can actually fight the boss? Maybe? Anything? It's it's still fine, right? It's not occupied? Yeah, the house is fine. We just have to wait. Forever. I mean, I got it like a quarter of the way dead, right? Like, if the imps weren't there, we probably could have done that fine. But I shouldn't have the vertical mobility, because you usually don't need vertical mobility, but with imps cutting you off, you have to move vertically. Because you don't really have any choice. There aren't really, not really much I can do in terms of getting better weapons either. I mean, there's like the stow cannon, but I'm not gonna do that. There's way too many farming stows. And I really don't think the Hellwing works well uh, when the eyes are that far apart. Because the Hellwing's whole thing is that it has the spread and it can hit multiple eyes. But if you're just attacking one target, I don't think it's actually very good. Well, it's almost morning again, so we can almost have the... Try to have the guide spawn again. here? Yeah, she did. I think getting the obsidian skin will help, because part of the issue is the imps caught me on fire. Well, it's morning now, so we just have to wait for the guide to respawn. Any day now. Any day now. Any, any, any day now. Please? The least you could do if you're gonna make a really difficult seed that requires you to kill the guy to spawn the wall of flesh is like, make him actually show up so that you could fight the boss you wanna fight instead of just sleeping in a bed all day. Cause nobody likes that. Maybe if I do this. Maybe for some reason he can't show up in that house. I don't know. But he should have shown up by now, I'm pretty sure. So. Maybe he just couldn't show up in that house. I don't know. Drink. Drink. What are you doing? Where did that thing even come from? Picked up money? I just need to... That thing... What? 
Oh, imps have faster fireballs, too. Not only does he spawn imps, imps also have faster traveling fireballs. And they're really fast, too. God damn. Kind of insane. Am I going to need the entire underworld as an arena? I don't know if I have enough space. He's summoning so many imps. What the fuck? Like, how are you even supposed to combat this? And I don't have any money, of course. Because I bought that fishing pole. Maybe it's because I'm too far away from him? But that doesn't make any sense. I'm not even far away from him. I... I don't understand how to combat this. This is like, actually... Not plausible. Because he's spawning, like... Seven imps? At a time? Maybe not quite that many, like four or five imps at a time, but each imp teleports around you? Uh... And very quickly shoots a projectile that does like a hundred damage? Multiple layers of platforms? Maybe. But that still doesn't raise... Like, the biggest issue wasn't running into the imps. Like, the imp contact damage wasn't that bad. The problem was them shooting me. Because not only that, but, like... In order to have the damage for this, I'm going to need to go... I'm going to need to go across, like... The entire underworld with a platform. I don't even know how you do this on like a small world. Like it actually doesn't seem possible. On on a small world. I don't know, I might, honestly, I was, I wanted to kind of just marathon and do the whole thing, but that's not going to happen with the Wall of Flesh like this. This requires an insane amount of preparation, like, probably like three or four hours of just terraforming the underworld, I feel like. And I don't want to do that on stream. I don't really want to do that at all, but I especially don't want to do it on stream. I mean, he was at like a third of his HP when I got halfway through my arena. I need this to be like two or three times as large. And I don't really see any reasonable options for how I would deal damage faster. Like, I, I don't think B nades are going to be more effective. Uh, and I especially don't want to fight Queen Bee. 
it kind of felt like maybe he was spawning imps to punish me trying to run away. But then I got closer and he was still doing it. I mean, it feels like it'd be pretty reasonable to do with, like, a Stow Cannon. But the amount of Stows you would need for the Stow Cannon is, is kind of absurd. So I don't know how to combat that other than just make an arena across the entire underworld. What is it awful? It's tail like having to do that is just tail. I could get a balloon, and I could improve my mobility that way. I could potentially get a bundle. I get lightning boots, which aren't, like, fantastic. I don't even know if an anklet, like, exists in the world. I have to imagine there are IV chests somewhere. Uh, but I have to go find them, which would be annoying. Uh, I could... Get Wrath and Rage Potions. Give me some damage. I could... Well. Could I do that? Hang on. I could become a mage? No. Could that work? I would it I have an idea, and I will acknowledge that it is a terrible idea. Just horrend- bad, very, very bad idea. Really, really bad idea. But it is an idea, which is better than what I'm working with at the moment. What's the idea? The idea is we call in backup. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not here. I'm not here. Don't worry about it. God, you are fast. I should have bought a potion of return. Damn it. Hang on. Go the other way. Where is she? Oh, she's coming. She's coming. I can hear her. Yeah, she's coming. I'm 
I'm as far this way as I can. Okay. We got backup now. Look, there's no way this works. But I want to give it a shot. Come on, no, no, no. Hit the, hit the wall, though. Hit the wall. You got bees. You got bees. I know you got bees. Show me your bees. Go. Spawn your bees. What are you doing? She's not spawning bees. Why is she not spawning bees? I don't know, I feel like the only way we get this done is I have to spend, like, several hours terraforming the rest of hell into a flat arena. I, I don't see any other way this works out. What, the seed literally called not the bees? Where are the bees? Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the stream here, because I... I just need drastically more space than I have. I don't think there's any other way this can possibly work. I was thinking about it, Ruffles. But I have to imagine they nerfed hives. More than they already did. I feel like that's kind of a last resort thing. Okay, yeah, I think I'll end the stream here. And... Just try to... Terraform hell, I... I don't think I have any other choice. Is... Those... Imps, I mean, I don't know how to deal with those. Because you can't dodge them. And I also can't kill them in time. Because the rate that he spawns them at, like, if I kill them... Wait. Yes. I know exactly how we deal with the imps. Do I have a mechanic? I don't have a mechanic. Okay. We wait for a sec. We get dozens of imp banners, and we plaster the entire underworld with imp banners. Which I guess again is something I could, I could do off stream, but because I mean it's it's it's, it's gonna be me sitting there swing, swinging a Moomasa, just killing imps. It's gonna be really boring. But I think that's I think that's how we deal with the wall of flesh, is we get just an absurd amount of imp banners, line the underworld with it, and kill him that way. Because then it's just for the worthy wall of flesh with intermittent imps. And the imps shouldn't be very dangerous. With the with the banner buffs.
And they'll also die a lot faster. Okay, I I think I need to do this off stream though. I don't think this is gonna work out here. Ten hours though. Ten hours. That's not that's not that's not. That's not right. Okay. I will be back tomorrow, I think. I don't... I won't be streaming super late, so I might start early to stream throughout the day. Um, And I'll try to get the Wall of Flesh Arena in a position that I can kill him. I think the only way I'm going to be able to do that is I gotta farm imps. And I gotta... Plaster the underworld with banners, and then I also have to make an arena that spans the entire underworld. I think that's the only way we get that done. Ah, uh, but yeah, it was fun. Ah, uh, yeah, see everyone tomorrow. Bye.